What you didn't know. Three, two, one. And your mic's not on. Ah, <laughs> thanks, Dan. Thanks. Sorry, Adam. Sorry. I've only been doing it 12 years. <laughs> 12, 12 years and I'm still making those schoolgirl errors. Morning, everybody. It's Friday. Friday. It's a Friday the day. Friday. It's Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> it's a Friday. Um, calm Go down, down. Al, calm down. <laughs> oh, look, it's beautiful, Charlie. Good morning, That's Al. why I'm so excited, you know. Oh, it's nice, it's nice to be wanted. <laughs> oh, you definitely, definitely morning. are. I was just chuckling with Charlie. I was like, I, I laughed at your VT. Not you personally, Charlie. <laughs> That's I'm okay, inside. I'm used to that. And, but the fact that, you know, doesn't every girl have a massive gas canister <laughs> in the back? <laughs> It's ridiculous what size, do you use isn't that it? gas canister for? That's my soldering, so that's the torch I use. So the little mini handheld ones for quick jobs, but I use my big one for a lot of melting down and that sort of thing. Yeah. So you need a lot of gas. Yeah, you, well that's the thing with the little torches. You you end when you do it every day, you go through it so fast and I was ordering crates of little uh. it was like starting my own like uh, lighter filling shop. There were so many of them. So says, I'm just going to have to get a big canister and it's actually more cost effective. So, there you go. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Not ideal. So that's why right. she's got a whopping great gas <laughs> canister in that <laughs> VT. I was like, that's oh, classic Charlie, that is. We've got a super Friday. Lots of goodies. Lots Loads of goodies. of amazing goodies. I was having a peek at that bangle you've got over oh, there. Oh, oh, this bangle. Yeah. This amazing bangle that mm. is being launched at 10 o'clock, your deal of the day. Is it the first time we've ever had black Guatemalan jadeite, but faceted? I love this bangle. I want this. It sparkles from everywhere. It's very beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. It's unbelievable, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And, and I and I can wear this, so it's one of those ones which is a bigger size. Sometimes they're quite small, yeah. aren't they? Whereas this, <clears throat> easily, I think it's going to fit most of you. Um, yeah, 10 o'clock. We've got 74 if my numbers oh, are right. Oh, right, okay. So it is obviously going to be limited, but actually, for what it is, that's a really good number. Yeah. It's a really good quantity. Yes, we're all admiring that, and it, I can confirm it is totally natural. So at 10 o'clock, we are going to be joined by the fantastic fantastic Dave in fact let's have a little look at today's menu um what's coming up your eight o'clock hour jewelry makers all the early bird deals and your early bird special is about silver plated culottes they are I'm gonna say <coughs> excuse me probably the most in demand finding of the moment would we all agree oh definitely yeah yeah definitely it's a what a heart, a flower, a star, and a what? Shell. There we go. That's what I missed. That's well, what I missed. Well, the are shaped. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. So they're decorative collots as Who well. Who knew? Who knew? Can you, do you want me to show you? Sorry, because you can't really see from that. Grab one of each. Righto. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I didn't so, know they made them with shapes. That's amazing. Well, I think I can't remember ever seeing them yeah. before, Charlie, with shapes. So this might well be a first. Here we go. I can get them all out for you. There's the, there's the shell. Flower. Oh, they are cute. There's the star. Oh, I like the shell. There's the shell. And then here. Ooh, ooh. Ross is buzzing today. Isn't yeah, he? Ross is excited about these. They're so popular. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. And there's the heart. Can you see it? Oh, that's oh, cute. Oh, look at those. That is <laughs> I might just leave them there if that's all right. Because then you can see them. You can navigate around that, can't you, Dan, with your exceptional camera skills? Um, so they're in the early bird hour right now, so you can shop ahead on those. They're in item number one, as you, I can see you already are. You get 40 pieces. Oh, amazing. Very good. Um, <clears throat> yeah, how many do we have in total? 250. Oh, that's a good quantity then, that's but they'll still quantity. sell out. Um, then at nine o'clock, well, I'm going to make my way over to gorgeous Charlie, who's going to show us, uh, talk to us all about floral settings. Yeah, there's some lovely ones. They're quite, um, they remind me of Pandora a little bit, actually, yeah. don't they? Yeah. Um, and some of them are Only got... better. Oh, of course, yeah. of course. And they're, they're very well made, actually. Um, I had lots of fun setting those. So you've got teardrop uh, flowers and you've got marquise flowers. So we'll walk you through the pointy bits. The pointy bits. The pointy bits. Are How the bits. you go about gem setting? Yes, that's right. right. And quite often, we all we can all do the circles, but a lot of people steer away from the points of stones. Yeah. So I'm going to walk you through that, and make it nice and easy with a few simple tools. 
get get you started on a new medium and get yeah yeah amazing yeah. absolutely i mean that is that is jewelry that you would expect to see in any oh jewelers. on the high street yeah definitely you would see that and think oh i'd have one of them wouldn't you? yeah exactly yeah. but at a fraction of the cost but they've got an amber one Ooh. yeah is it amber it is amber isn't it i'm sure uh, it's it looks amber. like amber Oh, or no, it's tourmaline? not. It's multicolored tourmaline, even rarer. Forgive me, that's even nicer, isn't Amazing. it? Amazing. Amazing. I can see the Sleeping Beauty turquoise. I can see the oh, peridot. I can lovely. see the opals. Yeah. Oh, like and tanzanite. And the tanzanite. Oh, so they're at nine o'clock. Then at 10 o'clock, as I said, we've got lovely Dave joining us in the studio. Um, all about that wonderful type A black faceted bangle amazing first of its kind then at 11 o'clock we're going to be talking about your beautiful master healer that is the clear quartz um we've got a lovely selection of your clear quartz strands and then at 12 oh look at that there you go just one mm. little uh, little teaser there yeah, just to whet your appetite full of sparkle loving that adam thank you very oh, pretty. Bicombs, aren't they? Aren't they stunning? Love a bicomb. Yeah. Um, and then at 12 o'clock, we're going to be doing some wonderful me me metal smithing. So I'll get my words That's out. That's usually my job. <laughs> metal smithing uh, with Charlie, where you're going to walk us and talk us through some tools. We're going to talk you through some tools, and they are staple tools. They're really good for if you um, are thinking about dabbling with metal smithing but maybe haven't dared yet or if you've got a torch and you want yeah. to do some soldering but you haven't quite worked up the courage to do it hopefully the things that we'll be talking about and showing and demonstrating will encourage you to give it a go what's the contraption at the front of the desk oh this yeah this nifty bit of kit here so it's like a third hand but times four there's four different ways you can and you can remove them as well so you don't need all four but if you've just started soldering you try you've you've gone past the simple soldering stage and you want to maybe do double settings or okay. things with multiple pieces that's going to really help you on your journey we've got 150 of those oh that's great yes it's got, solid it's heavy my bag was heavy this morning i bet it is yeah um, the clocks, by the way, on pre-order are absolutely flying. You get 40 pieces. Just over 10% has gone like that. Just since we've, it might not sound like much, but if you think about it, that's over 25 out of the 250. Yeah. Um, and we've only been talking about it for the past, what, couple of minutes? We've seen a glimpse. A glimpse. A glimpse. Yes, we've only just teased you with it yeah. just slightly. Um, so I would encourage, if you need your collots, we've never done them, to my knowledge anyway, um, in a design, if that makes sense. They've always been kind of just for Just rounds. simple, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm loving this. Um, so shop ahead on those. And as always, get your text messages in, lovely jewellery makers. Tell us what you're up to. This weekend, have you got any plans? Have you got any plans this weekend? It's bank holiday, isn't it, It actually? is the bank, oh yeah. Kids have broken up. Oh yeah, a half term. Um, let's bring you some. Ooh, that's a lot of gemstones right there. Whoa. 250 centimetres. This is actually taller than Ross. It's two and a half metres. That's mental. It's about what, 6'2"? You're about 6'2". He hasn't checked, he says. Um, I mean, I'm five six, and I'm fairly sure you're shorter than me. Yeah, I'm five foot one and a bit, and you ain't that much bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, are you taller than me? You're five, five foot seven and three, three quarters. quarters. It's oh, important you are that extra bit, isn't it, Ross? <laughs> you are five, five seven. seven. So you are taller than me. I used to be 5'7". I swear I'm shrinking. Well, I must be shrinking. It does happen, yeah. Yeah, I'm shrinking. Yeah. I've lost an inch. You've lost an inch. I have. <laughs> <laughs> Comes with age, doesn't it? How about some beautiful dolomite? Again, totally natural. You're getting 250 centimetres, jewellery makers. Yeah, definitely taller than Ross. It's gone! How much was it, Ross? It's a belt. <laughs> <laughs> It's a pet, 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 They're great behind there, right? I know, isn't it? I love them. You are a right laugh, you are, boys. I love it. No matter what they say, you know, useless, lazy, they can't say that we don't have a laugh. I hope they don't say all of those things, by do. the way. That's what they, they say upstairs. upstairs. 
Oh, yeah, they, they can call us all the names, but they can't say that we don't have a laugh. There you go, we do, we do, we do. I noticed Wayne was in here first thing this morning. Yes, I was are. like, you all right? What are you doing up so early? He's like, I couldn't sleep last night. Yeah. So, like, oh. so he's here already, Wayne. <laughs> he is here. Although I have to say, Wayne's, uh, um, he's, he's in my definite good books. Not that he's never not been. Um, he's, yeah, because he's sorted me out for Sunday. He's yeah, I'm not in on Sunday, Ross. I'm in what, I'm out of yours. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful crystal clear courts are you upset with me ross for having sunday <laughs> off he's like guess what al what, what who adam's gone yeah you'll be all right you got dan you got lauren you'll be fine you'll be fine <laughs> that's very honest of you dan <laughs> we've just deserted ross for sunday Oh, he'll be all right. He'll get over it. It's a pound. How on earth is this a pound, Ross? Know. How on earth? If you love your clear courts, make sure you're watching at... What time was it? 11. 11 o'clock. Um, well done, everybody. Hello, Anne. Gaynor. Hello to you, Maya. Carol, Janet, Angela, Elizabeth. Another Elizabeth. Uh, Derbyshire, Joanne, Caroline, Andrea, Lisa. Hello to you, Melanie, Rachel. Morning, everybody. Oh, I'm excited. It's the Friday vibes. I love Friday. I think it's my favourite day, to be fair. Yeah? Yeah, it's just exciting. rounding all your jobs up through a week. We yeah. make a point of not working on a weekend unless we absolutely have to. Yeah. So, it's yeah, it's my favourite day. I need to adopt that mentality a little bit more. Just I'd, try and wrap it up. Yeah, wrap it up and then get, yeah. Then yeah. you can actually chill over the weekend. Yeah, because yeah. otherwise it just blurs, doesn't it? Yeah, it Before does. you know it, the year's gone. So it yeah, does. My parents and... used to do that. Oh, used really? to be really good at doing that. So, yeah, they do everything they need in the week and then Cramping. the weekend is just downtime. Yeah, I need to be better at that. Um, how about some? I don't see any. Oh, yeah, I do. Is it in this pot? Oh, yeah. How good are these? You could set them into things like your resin. Um, you could glue them if you wanted to. Um, now, they're undrilled chips and nuggets. You could have them in a nice little decorative bowl. Oh, yeah, you could, yeah. You could. Guess what? It's a burnt. It's a pound and they've got... It's a burnt. <laughs> well done. And, I mean, the little pot itself should be more than a pound, shouldn't it? Well done, everybody. <coughs> <laughs> Shall we do? I haven't seen these before, hence my vacant look. Um, where was I then? Where was I on the launch? So you could turn a brooch into a pendant. Okay, so that's these. Is that, yeah. How do these work then? So if you have a brooch with a long pin, you put the pin through the tube and then you connect oh, it back to the brooch. Clever. Oh, and then that's a bail. Genius. And then that, that goes in the opposite direction. Does that, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you, Mark and Lindsay were trying to figure these out. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, and then this one goes in the opposite. I, I, I gotta be honest. I would, I gotta be honest, <laughs> I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been able to figure these out either, I wouldn't have known, but now I do. So you put the pin of your brooch through the tubes and then it's a bit, then it's a pendant. You've got them both ways, that's so clever, I love it. So clever. Genius. Do you know, I would have pulled this face, do you know when you're trying to figure something out, you'd be just like that. I'm not going to lie, my face did the same thing. <laughs> it's not the most attractive, I don't get it. My face mostly, mostly through all of my maths class. <laughs> At least you were in your maths class. <laughs> <laughs> that face was, a, was frequent. Have you got it, L? No, <laughs> never. Um, anyway, how many do we have left of these? They're only recently launched. They're, well, they're a new finding, aren't they? That's mm. really clever. Yeah. Um, you might have, I don't know, a brooch within your jewellery box or maybe something that you've inherited. Yes. Um, and maybe you're not a brooch wearer. So this is an alternative, just literally. So where, where the tweezers are is the bail. So that's where your chain goes through and then you attach your brooch to it. Genius. Well done for figuring it out. <laughs> well done. How many have I got, Roscoe? 22 left. So they were popular on launch then. That's five pound each. 
Out of the 260, 22 are left. Oh. Guess what? They don't stop there either. Wow. Amazing. Such a clever idea. I'd love to have one of those brains that came up with things like this. It's come, it would come in handy, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I do like that. That's lovely, especially when you've got um, plated brooches, you know, costume yeah. jewellery ones that you've been passed down to you and you can't melt them down and can't, um, yeah. like an heirloom thing. That's a great idea. They're yeah. very fashionable brooches, yeah. aren't they now? So, yeah. I wish I'd I have to up snap it away. <laughs> I'm sure you could. No, I really can't. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm really not great at coming up. There's a gap in the market for this. You know, I'd like to be you know, like that, the little umbrellas you used to have in your in, in your cocktails. Yeah, I love those. Yeah, yeah, I love those. Wish I thought. Do you know what would be good in that cocktail? Yeah. A Probably. little umbrella. What? Yeah, I know. Who who do you? <laughs> <laughs> and I bet that person that invented the little umbrellas is very rich. Cat size on the roads. Oh yeah, yeah, genius. Yeah, my husband says when you hear do 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 do, yeah. wake me up. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Do I have to? <laughs> <laughs> for 99 jewelry makers for the two that's two pound 50 each i only had 22 left though so and they are solid sterling silver yeah so these are your brooch converters that's brilliant very clever you've got to snap them up haven't very you? very clever um yeah the team figured this out well done <laughs> so you had what brooch converter and then you had to go from there see what see it. but you got there in the end um, they're on the verge of selling out. Mary's got a few of these. Well done, Mary. Getting five. Margaret's got two. Five's got two. West Midlands has got two. Carol's got two. Cheryl and Pamela. Um, Annette, hello to you all. There's lots of people still dialing through. Don't be shy. Get your messages into the studio. We're going to have a super Friday. Yeah, we will have a giggle, won't we? I can guarantee you that. We always have a giggle. Never a dull day. Never Do you know, I'd just sell day. them on. I would yeah. sell them on as they are. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, because yeah, people, people go, oh, yes. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's amazing. Yeah, got like loads said, of brooches. I've got, some, I've got brooches from yeah. my family that yeah. I never wear. No, they're tucked away in a box yeah. that never to see the light of day. Amazing idea. Yeah, this, it's a nice way of actually enjoying those pieces of jewellery. Um, yeah, I went to, I've just, you know, just general chit chat now. I took my um, little girl and her best friend to um, a, a tribute Taylor Swift night last night. It was very good. She was dancing. It, they, oh, she was giving it proper, proper welly. Yes. No, no. So, you know, because you know, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I saw it on Facebook and it was like £24. So I was like, this is going to be rubbish, isn't it? But £24 was just to get in. <laughs> I didn't realise this. And then, <laughs> then it's actually, it was pretty expensive. So I got like whacked with a massive bill for the dinner. But it was all worth it because the little girls properly loved it. They had a blast. And, and yeah, they're all giving it all the Taylor Swift. Shake it off, shake it off. <laughs> At the beginning, they're doing the little shy dancing, you know. And then come the end, they're giving it slaps. <laughs> It was so cute. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was really good, Russ. But it didn't cost me 24 quid. Closer to 200 all in with the, <laughs> with, with the train tickets and everything. And they don't even eat that much, do they? The tiny little that, that's girlies. That's the thing. I wouldn't mind so much, but they didn't eat their food. Oh. They, were, uh, they were just dancing <laughs> most of the time. Um, no, it was good. Um, well done, everybody on those. Yeah, and, and I didn't know I knew, knew as many Taylor Swift songs as I do. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. Were you oh, throwing some shapes out? Yeah. You were? Good. Yeah, you good, good. Yeah. Have a little dance. Yeah, of course. I was probably like, whatever, every so often would go, eye roll and <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so embarrassing, mum. <laughs> um, have I got? I have this gorgeous, yeah, um, inspired by the B B Tiga, Bottega earrings. Ooh, sounds um, intriguing. Which is about... Eight hundred pounds. Lots of celebrities wearing Bottega. 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 I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, there's lots of dupes out there, but the dupes that you're seeing, um, or the ones I've actually got a pair of dupe earrings, um, but they're base metal and they irritate my ears. Right. Um, haven't had the opportunity to get the matching pendant yet. Yeah, this is everywhere at the moment. I think there was the likes of Hayley Bieber wearing it. Mm. Probably a Kardashian or two. Probably. Yeah. Um, but it's just this really lovely, simple, curved drop shape now if i turn it sideways can you see how you've got that illusion bail yeah i like that it's nice isn't it just imagine that suspended from a chain yeah i love that really love simple that. Yeah. it's everywhere at the moment by the way those batiga batega whatever it is 
potato potato. <laughs> um, Close enough. Yeah, it, they're about eight hundred pounds <gasps> if you want those earrings. Oh my gosh! I know, and they do them in silver and they do them in gold. Yeah, they're about eight hundred quid. Crazy. Uh, it's still the same silver, you know. Oh yeah. Now, how many do you have of these, Ross? Seventy. Okay. Oh, here we go. That's it. They're all over the catwalk, weren't they? So, yep. 2023's most impactful jewellery trend is already here. There they are. What do you reckon? Is it Bottega? Bottega? Um, told you they'd be a Kardashian. Told you so. Stars like Kylie Jenner, Hailey Bieber, Dua Lipa, love Bottega, uh, drop it, what's that? Vanitas drop earrings. And Amazon sells a striking similar pair for a fraction of the price. They are beautiful, aren't they? They're really simple. Um, again, celebrity wearing them. Don't know who that is. That looks like, is it? No, that's Mich not Hayley Bieber. Michelle Keegan, maybe? That yeah. might be. Do you know who I think that is? Cheryl Cole. She oh. I think yeah. that's Cheryl Cole wearing them. Just, is it oh, just yeah, Cheryl? Is it just Cheryl? Oh, sorry. Okay. Right, right, okay. Uh, Bella, Bella Hadid, Kendall Jenner. Every it girl is currently obsessed with these statement earrings, the next art, uh, PowerPoint says. Usually it's the latest it bag or a buzzworthy shoe causing a frenzy on the fashion scene. This season, the Bottega Venita drop earrings are a must-have item on everybody's shopping list. Um, and uh, Gabrielle Waller goes on to say, we have received well over 100 requests for these earrings. Uh, global personal shopper for celebrities like Hailey Bieber and Khloe Kardashian, aka the queen of finding in-demand, hard-to-source fashion. She tells Vogue, although that is not uh, unusual for one particular piece, for example, the Hermes, what's that? Something from Hermes. Um, and the Chanel quilted loafers um, reach far beyond that. It is a, light, a time frame, sorry, in which we received those requests. It turns out the eager demands of the newly dropped jewels poured in quickly within an impressive 48 hour window. Oh. Gosh, that I mean, 48 hours and it's getting you know notice. It's the simplicity, though, I think. It's the yeah. fact that you can literally wear them on every occasion. You know, if you go to Bottega, and just as I said earlier on, the prices of these, £860. I mean, um, I don't even think they're solid gold, you know. I think they're actually gold-plated silver. Oh. I think. Um, here you go. Drop golden earrings from Wolf and ba Badger, £696. Um, Pariah, there we go, £460, which are nice, aren't they? Monica yeah. Veneda are doing a version for £175. Um, go back to Bottega in enamel and they're still $850. Um, don't, uh, run, don't walk, there we go. Um, viral chunky earrings will save you over £600 and they're bound to sell out. I mean, those are obviously like a, um, a dupe of them. Um, in precious metal, but again, oh, you are talking, uh, you're talking about the same sterling silver that we're using. Who do you reckon this is? I don't know, she looks quite tall for it, Cheryl, doesn't oh, she? Oh yeah, maybe. I love that summer dress. Maybe lose the wrap around jumper. I like jumper. that outfit. Uh, yeah. The hat with the flip flops. I think it's very cool, that outfit. Earrings look good, don't the they? The earrings, you notice the yeah, earrings they though, pop. don't you? I don't know who it is, but she looks very elegant. And that, that bloke behind is, you know, paying close attention, isn't he? Is that security? Do you reckon that's security? <laughs> Maybe. Just, an, an you just in demand. <laughs> We'd doing? all be doing that, wouldn't we? <gasps> uh, yeah, she looks incredible. <laughs> so we've got just under 70 of these. Um, so they could... Oh, is it? It's Kendall Jenner. Yeah, yeah right, I want to okay. guess that. She's always with that hat on. You can see it without that when she's not wearing the hat. Does it look like Kendall Jenner? No. Um, anyway, there we go. Oh, well, they, that's hence the height. They she's... might be it earrings, but they're, they're never going to go out of fashion, are they? No. They're just not. I know they're big right now, yeah. but you could wear them well into your hundreds, couldn't you? Yeah, And absolutely. they would still look super stylish. Absolutely. I love those. And same applies with the pendant itself. Mm. You know, this literally just fed onto a chain. Yeah. Or if you wanted to, if you do silversmithing, if you wanted to turn these into earrings, there's nothing stopping you doing you that as well. Um, big investment of your sterling silver, as you can see. You've got a gram and a half of precious metal. Um, <coughs> illusion set bail, so that it will literally look like it's almost floating, I guess, on the decolletage itself. Yeah. £24.99. I mean, one of the hottest looks of 2023 stroke 2024. I'm mm. still seeing, yep. you know, those big drop earrings. It's not base metal. We are talking solid 925. 
This hasn't been on air since when? November. Wow. When I remember, because we had the privilege and uh, um, pleasure of launching these, and they went absolutely crazy, jewelry makers. So um, I've got just under 70 available. Now we're going to do a massive closeout deal. I've got no idea why these haven't been on air again since then. Um, we're not closing at the next price tag. Yeah, Charlie, would you go? Would you turn this into a pair of earrings, or would you go with three and make the full suite? I would make the full suite and then I'd be really, really greedy and order more and do a few drops Ooh, spaced with like maybe some jade or something. Yeah, I know. Get out of the way. Get out of yeah. the way. Charlie's coming. <laughs> He's got a better idea. Can you imagine like if you that. bought seven of theirs? Oh. oh my God, it'd be a car, wouldn't it? Yeah. So yeah, not here it won't be. No, no, exactly. Yeah. That's the difference. Um, lots of you getting involved. Nine pounds and 99 pence. Um, Wait, 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 that's purple. It's not red. It's going again. We took this lower. Really? Okay. You're the boss. I do as I'm told. <laughs> do you? Mm, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Got to rebel occasionally. Yeah, every so often. Yeah. Keeps on his toes. Yeah. All right, Roscoe. Going even lower than 9 99 That's why so many people are multi-buying. I reckon Yorkshire's going for the sweet. I reckon Fife and Lanarkshire might be thinking either gifts or maybe that pair of earrings. Oh, um, Michelle. Ah, oh, who? Humes. There you go. She, from, from, she's on this morning, but what, uh. what band was she in? S Club. There you go. Oh, the Saturdays, yes. Was the Saturdays, wasn't it? No, okay, might be getting that completely wrong. I'm so cool. Um, <laughs> I don't have a clue, Elsie, you know more than me. <laughs> no, we're just reeling off girl bands. <laughs> Seven pounds and 99 pence jewelry makers. Close out deal for you all. Make sure you are checking out. See, it's the Saturdays. Oh, is it? Is it? They're having a right debate in there, no, aren't I know. they? <laughs> all I can hear is it's either S Club Juniors or it's the Saturdays. What do you reckon, Dan? She's in the Saturdays. She was in the Saturdays. I was going to say, that's a definite answer, isn't it? There we go. It? Dan was a fan. Dan was no, a fan. No, 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 no. Oh, which one? Anyway. Uh, Which one? We're, we're halfway there. Who, who um, the sing a Saturday song. Somebody know a Saturday song? Oh, I don't know the song. Lauren, do you know a Saturday song? You can't think of any, aren't you? What? Uh, Ross will know. You know one? Come on. Yeah, I'm sure they did. They were quite good, the Saturdays. I like yeah. the Saturdays. Um, there we go. Anyway. <laughs> Can't think of one song off the top of my head. This is love. You have to sing it, Ross. <laughs> oh. oh, go on then. They had a song with Flo oh, Rida. Yeah. Did a cover of just... Cover of Just Can't Get Enough. Just Can't Get Enough. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. There'll be people shouting at the telly, weren't they? Like, how do you not how know do these you not songs? Know? <laughs> or they're going, stop talking about the Saturdays. <laughs> because, oh yeah, ever sit down with your ego. I remember that one. Yes. I know that one. I do know that one. And that you're a superstar. That one. <laughs> we're taking you this far. I can't sing for toffee. Oh, no, you uh, can't. I love sit it. Down with your ego. That's, I know that one. <laughs> uh, anyway, back to the Bottega earrings. That photograph literally took me down that rabbit, ra rabbit hole. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. They had a song called Work. Yeah, I, I won't sing that one because it's a bit promiscuous. Yeah, oh. I do know. I, I know that one. They're not talking about go to work. They're talking about something else. Um, Seven ninety nine. <laughs> yes, Adam, it is. Yes, it is. There you go. You got it in one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Close out deal opportunities. Do you want to see these up at the ear? Then we'll move on. Sorry, Dan. I've probably made this really difficult for you now, haven't I? If I do it that way, that way. Dan's got skills. He yeah, he's got it. camera skills. Dan, Dan can do it. Oh, yeah, they'd be lovely in the ear, wouldn't they? They're very elegant. Very nice. Yeah. So if you wanted to turn them into yeah. audience, you could. 
Well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Sit down with your ego. Um, <laughs> let's do an old make up. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay. Gorgeous, Dan. You know what I'm going to ask you for, don't you? This would be perfect with your clots, by the way, that are coming up Ooh, as your yeah. early bird. Perfect. Remember when we are talking about any variety of jade, any location, thank you, my lovely. Um, it is translucency and obviously the color, how fine that crystal structure is. Um, you know, if it's kind of opaque, if it's a little bit mottled, then your crystal structure of your jade's quite coarse. And that's fine if that's what you're looking for. But the most sought after, the most valuable variety is translucent and not mottled. Something like this. Um, now, I can confirm that this is totally natural, type A grade, Guatemalan Olmec jadeite, the only place in the world that actually produces this beautiful Olmec blue. Um, and I can also confirm the lost treasure of Guatemala, like I said, rediscovered in the 1980s. The mining has um, ceased, and that's because of that Mayan mask that has been um, unearthed by archaeologists. So they have temporarily, hopefully, actually um, ceased mining of this gem now there are only two opportunities remember what stanley chu said the future is guatemala we know that the burmese miners um, after 800 years is now mined out we know that kotan jade is on the verge of being mined out so the future is literally guatemalan jade however look at that goodness me um the operation is far 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 smaller than that of burmese jade so my my suggestion would be if you love it, then get it get it early because the price will go up, especially, well, it has gone up ever since sort of the um, Burmese mine closed. It'll most likely go up again, I should imagine, after the Kotan mine closes as well. That is all natural color. And we're actually looking at one of the rarest colors in the world. If you think about it, flora, fauna, gemstones, very little actually has got this beautiful teal. Very few. I'm not saying none, because I know there's some birds, but very few things exist with this teal blue color i didn't know that i learn something new every time i come here it's a lovely tone to transition into summer yeah. isn't it oh yeah yeah and it look even better on the decolletage as well Ooh. you know not that i love i love olmec um with rose gold i mm. think it looks absolutely beautiful with rose gold now we've got two available jewelry makers and even here at 999 look i'm not saying that's not a, you know considered purchase but it isn't when we're talking about the quality of the jade that we're looking at right now um and the fact that the mine is closed you know so who knows when it's going to reopen obviously this is a fairly significant find um that mayan mask it's something we know very little about that civilization now there's only two so we're going to go straight down to your amazing price tag jewelry makers i mean for me not that put it on a beautiful clasp you've just made the most perfect jade necklace remember what stanley chu said as well there's only one thing more valuable than a bangle and that is a match strand i've got one of these left now so make sure you're checking out just one you've got your five way split payments there as well if you want to uh um if you want to take it make it sort of more manageable more affordable um not percent interest look at that 59 pounds and 80 pence um there's only one available marishka you've got yours congratulations my lovely it's absolutely beautiful I'll leave it with you because there's only one available. It'll be available for what another um, 25 minutes on your screens. Um, if you are going for, if you love that look, you're thinking, actually, Ella, I'd really like a nice long line graduated necklace, then we've got just the strand to go alongside it. So from your eight mil to your six mil, I've got, did you say four? Four of these available. So yeah, if you wanted to maybe not with that graduation, Definitely, definitely. It would be a so You wouldn't need a class then, would you? No, no, good point. Just be over the top of the head. Oh, nice and easy. Yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous. Again, look at that amazing colour, that really distinctive as well. Once you've seen Guatemala and Jade, you never forget it because it is so distinctive. You'd be forgiven for confusing maybe your Burmese and your Kotan and your uh, Canadian Jade, but I think Guatemala and Olmec Jade is so distinctive and unique and it only forms in this color um, and only in this place, this one location on, uh, on our planet. So 140 carats, you can see again that fine crystal structure that I was talking about a few moments ago. Um, 
not coarse, you haven't got mottling, it's not opaque, it's got a beautiful translucency. Jewelry makers, heads up, I've only got four. We're gonna do this in one price crash. It's a full 38 centimeter strand. Cast your mind back to when we first launched Old Mac Jade. You used to get little parcels, like four, four rounds, you know, because that's all we could get, basically, and they were more expensive. Are you ready? There are four left. You have a minute on screen though at this price because we have gone far too low. Oh, goodness me. Yeah. Do you remember when we launched Olmec and we used to bring you like packs of four or five? So let's say that. And they used to be in a little dish, didn't we? And they were about this price. Honestly, that's what we could get at the time. And let me explain with the difference. Our buying power has grown. Obviously, relationships yeah. have been built since then. Um, we buy bigger quantities across all the different channels as well. So now, and by the way, they flew out at that price tag. That's still a great deal. Now you're getting a full 38 centimeter strand, not the four or five beads that we originally launched them at. Um, we could sell this probably 10 times over. So many of you have it in your basket. Dorothy and Elaine, you've done it. I've got West Midland, Stella, Carol, Ella, Dorothy, Jane and Devon. Um, new customers on the phone lines as well. Um, you can get it home for £25 today on your 0% interest. Um, I'll hold it on screen for literally five more seconds. I've got one left. Well done, Ella. Well done, lovely. Congratulations. Something that would go... Oh, it would go beautifully um, with your old mech. This is the last and the only strand of Mozambique mm. Amazonite we have. Can you believe that's Amazonite? That's stunning. It's insane, isn't, isn't it? it? This parcel, it started off with the Peruvian variety and we can't get that anymore because David Yeoman's okay. bought it out. Right, um, okay. And of course, the three, four figures. So we can't go there. We did find one acquisition in Mozambique that is um, of similar quality to the Peruvian where you've got that beautiful translucency, that amazing colour that's all natural. But do you know, have a guess how much we actually managed to buy? This one strand. Oh, really? Yeah. We had <laughs> how many, how many uh, at the beginning did we? 50. We bought 50 of this one strand. Normally here at Jewelry Maker, we would bring you eight, six, four, all the different sizes. Yeah, yeah. Um, millimetre, that is. We had this one strand. It's insane quality and it's natural. It's so vibrant. When you think of Amazonite, most of us wouldn't immediately think of this colour. No. It'd be softer, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. more pastel. Yes. More opaque, yeah. not so translucent. This is, if you were hypnotised by the Peruvian de uh, deposit, that again, we can't get any more. It's, it's, we believe it's exclusive to David German now. This is the only place that we have found, the only acquisition that we have found, which is of that quality. Um, we bought as much as we could, which was 50 strands of the one that I'm holding. I have five of these available within the vault. Once they're gone, they're gone. They're insane quality. Um, I'm amazed I've still got them, to be truthful. We're going to do this in one price crash, and then we're going to put a 60-second clock on your screen to close, because there are only five. They're already over-allocated. I mean, you're talking about summer. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. It does look yeah. like it would glow in the dark. Do you know what I'd like to see? Like a pink silk mm. knotted in between. I Good think that would be shout. really nice. Yeah. And then wear that to a nice barbecue or a wedding. We've got a minute at the... Oh, so low. So low for what we're looking at right now. This is... I don't hesitate saying this at all. This is some of the best Amazonite I've ever seen. Oh, without a doubt. And yeah. probably will ever see. You know, and I've seen a lot of Amazonite in my time. It's everywhere at the moment, isn't it? Remember, oh, actually, Roscoe, as we're holding this strand, now would be a perfect time to put up Louis Vuitton because this is of the same quality that Louis Vuitton are using in there. Um, Louis Vuitton have just announced that they're using Amazonite and it's this grade of Amazonite, you know, that translucent variety. And you're talking 10 figures. Easy. 10 figures, sorry, five figures. <laughs> For the long line necklace, it's 31 and a half thousand pounds. Eight, Here we go. Is it eight pounds? That's now, is it? Yeah. You guys have a massive buying power compared to other suppliers. Yes, so to we be do. only a able to get hold of fifty is quite a statement. Isn't it's it? quite big because you yeah. also imagine these are beads. Yeah. You know, Louis Vuitton uses a fraction of the carrot weight that yeah. you've got in this one strand. Yeah, I bet. Um, I've got one left. Well done, everybody. It's insane. 
Yeah, it's the same quality that Louis Vuitton are using in their um, colour blossom necklace. Oh. Um, amazing. Well done, well done, well done. Ooh, this would go beautifully with that necklace. Same gemstone. This is for different location, but again, you can see the quality. Amazonite forms in different places around the world. But again, you'll see the quality of this one. Oh, it go beautifully with that. If you've got that strand just. Solid 925 sterling silver in your beautiful slider bracelet. Look at that. Oh, all that beautiful luster on your box link slider. And then, of course, if I just move this round, and you see you've got the jump rings there that you attach to. Who would like sterling silver, the gemstone of the moment, Amazonite, for under £10? Me, please. Me, me. Yes, me. Yes, yes. Two, two yeses here. I have one. Or three. Three yeses from, from Danzig <laughs> getting involved. He's like, I, he's like I, I don't want your yeses, I want the customer's yeses. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. That's how it is, is it? I see. We have 24 available. If there's enough of you there, we will take it under £10. Oh, well, right now. Oh, it's the clock. Not taking it under ten pounds. There's not enough people there. All you need to do for Ross to justify that price drop is join us on the web. Pop it in your basket. And if you're not happy, then you don't have to check it out. It is solid sterling silver. I remember bringing slider bracelets for the price that we're suggesting. Natural. Mm -hmm. Quality Amazonite, look at that glow. All for under £10. But we do need to see you there. At least another 10 people with it in their baskets or on the phone lines. 30 seconds. There we go. We do need to see you there and we will take it under £10. I mean, a slider bracelet is still such a popular design. I was just going to say that because everyone can wear them, can't they? There's no clasps, there's no nope. fiddling about. They're absolutely stunning. And it's the gemstone of the now, so you can't really go wrong. It's the fastest make you could make. And yeah. it'll be an easy seller as well. Absolutely, because it's yeah. one size fits all, isn't it? Yeah. Again, you can see the quality of our Amazonite jewellery makers. I mean, that's brave, isn't it? For, for a little old jewellery maker to show their slider bracelet and then show Louis Vuitton's Amazonite. Oh, and yeah. Say, yeah, yeah, yours is as good. It is as good. That's the reality. I know theirs is in gold. I know it's got a couple of diamonds, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about yeah. the actual Amazonite. Under £10. Oh, that's good, isn't it? For the slider bracelet alone. And you're right, it's such a quick make as well. Perfect for gifts if you don't know people's sizes. Yeah, easy one. Yeah, great stocking fillers, that sort of thing. Yeah, I'm a sucker for box chain because it catches the light, doesn't yeah, it? It's like I love water. Box chain. It's probably love my favourite, it. I think. Yeah, I think chain. it's my favourite too. Mm. Yeah, definitely. And it rolls against the skin really nicely. It's lovely. Gorgeous. Yeah. Well, you've got like a mirror of luster with every yes. square, haven't you? Yeah. So, yeah, beautiful. Um, how many do we have, Ross? 24 available patricia and mave and deborah and lynn and suzanne and judith and there are multi buyers judith's got three lynn's got two um i've got west midlands judith in west midlands dorothy ted hello to northamptonshire andrea patricia hello to jane and amanda in oxfordshire and cornwall and warwickshire morning everybody happy friday yay Friday. yay county durham wait i can't see county durham oh yeah jane and county durham sorry Sorry, Jane, I didn't see you there. You've just checked out as well. Uh, and Warwickshire, what are you up to on the weekend? Do you do anything special? Do anything nice? Anybody getting the barbecue out this weekend? I know it's been a bit cold, but look, I just uh, provide an umbrella for my husband. As long as it's not thundering, we're all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just stand, stand, <laughs> just stand and nice and warm. Look, you're by the barbecue, it's all good. I do love the smell of a barbie going. Makes you hungry, doesn't it, when you when you smell your neighbours doing it? And I, and I love it when you've 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 made loads and you've got barbecue food in the fridge yeah. that you go back to. Yeah. Oh, I might just go and have a sausage. Yeah. You know. Cheeky chicken. Cheeky <laughs> little chicken drumsticks. Now look at these. Your beautiful caged pearls that are oh, oh, they're like little bells. You get a set of three of them. They also remind me of snowdrops. Um, 
No, hang on a minute. We're at ten pounds each, and that pearl literally moves around in there as well. Isn't oh, that gorgeous? I like that. Isn't it lovely? And there's a suite of jewelry straight away. Yeah. Straight away. Um, okay. That's ten pound each. That's a lovely seed pearl, genuine culture pearl, not faux. Gold plated nine two five sterling silver. Again, just popping those on a pair of shepherd hook. How mm, lovely would they be? Easy. Bridal jewellery. Yeah, or a bolo necklace. Oh, and it's nice. like asymmetrical. Yeah, definitely. I'd love nice. that. Nice. There's so much potential because there of is. the size of these as well. If I put my hand, hand behind, you get an idea of perspective. You know, how about having a couple of them like in amongst a tassel? Oh, yeah. Or at the end of a chain or yeah, something like that. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, how many do you have, Roscoe? 50 available opportunities. Don't forget your early bird jewellery makers as well. All about those collots. I tell you what, says Ross, how about five pound each for the pearls alone? See, oh, is, it, is it a set of three? Set of yeah, three. All three. You oh, get all three. Oh, that's amazing, isn't it? That's good. You went Welsh then. Yeah. <laughs> you sounded proper Welsh then. That's amazing, <laughs> isn't it? My husband's in Wales today. He's <laughs> got to Cardiff. Oh, I love Cardiff. Love if we see enough people, we will take these under Ooh. 10 pounds crazy for the silver work yeah for the seed pearls the, that's the thing it's quite hard to get hold of those tiny little pearls it is. isn't it now especially non-drilled ones yeah it is gold plated yeah. 925 and um, we're not talking about faux pearls and you get all three of them yeah we said it we'll take it under 10 pounds for you this morning jewelry makers um remember 14 minutes to get hold of all of these deals. So make sure you're checking out your baskets and make sure um, if you are in desperate need of the finest clocks that I have seen, then they're your early bird this morning. Um, in 28 seconds, we're going to take it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it under £10 for all three of them. Not drilled seed pills, which are... Oh, gosh, how, how often do we see them on our screen? Never. Never, never, never. Um, and then you've got all that gold plating, sterling silver. Again, there's a suite of jewellery. Not everybody wants the big carrot white pieces, do no, they? No, definitely not. They're not every day. And that elongated twist will extend your neckline, won't it? It's, do it's you know your very... neckline's apparently one of the most um, um, seductive part of our body? Is it they? really? That's what I read. I Is that why like vampires go for it? Maybe. Uh. I'm not sure. <laughs> I have no apparently idea. our necks are very Who attractive. Knew? Would you? Dan's nodding. Oh. Do you... It's a sense thing, isn't it, really? Well, if you're nervous, you touch your neck. No, apparently, apparently like, it's like a... I'll double the time. Like, no, no, go on. No, go on. Is it? Yeah, apparently, or if you're like, you know, if you're like... Yeah, it's because it's like a vulnerable spot. A vulnerable... Like, yeah, that oh. would make total sense. Some say someone... Do you know, I notice I've got a habit whenever I'm on the phone, I do this. Whenever I'm on the phone, like, you know, if you're FaceTiming someone. It's like self-soothing. Maybe. It's like I'm stroking myself on the back of the head. I don't know. <laughs> I was talking to my brother and he was like, why do you always do that? I was like, what? And he's like, do this. I'm like, I don't know. Self-soothing. That's what that is. Maybe. Gotta be. Uh, 9 .99. Well done, everybody. Beautiful. For £10. Gold-plated 925 sterling silver. I think I'd multi-buy on those. I'm imagining like a, a few of them on the end of a yes, chain. Yes, yeah, we're on the same page, definitely. And the, the, the pennies really are out there. I yeah. can't believe how cheap they are. Could you even make them for that price? No. And you wouldn't know. There's no point. There's no point. The time and effort it takes to solder that jump ring onto that twisted part. Yeah. Uh, yeah, nightmare. And you've got to have the setup. I mean, the tool this afternoon would be brilliant to try and attempt making something like that. But for for, for that size and for encasing the and you've got to pearl, go plate it. Yes, exactly. That's not cheap. No, it's not cheap plating in no. house. So yeah, get, snap them up at snap that price. Snap them up while you can. Definitely. Three pound thirty-three each. Oh, a charm bracelet. You could have oh, loads, nice. couldn't you? That'd be great. Quite anklets. Moroccan. Ooh. Oh yeah, just in time for summer. Yeah, I was going to say, it's wedges. the only time of year that I oh, wear anklets yeah. in the summer. It's the only time I get That's my ankles great out, actually. Shout. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm gonna, must get the ankles out then it's summertime. <laughs> but yeah, just one on an ankle. That would be bracelet. cute, wouldn't it? Really on a pretty. Quick chain, maybe. Love yeah. it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, don't forget your early bird, they're coming your way. Oh, we're doing it now, sorry. <laughs> we're doing it right now. <laughs> 12 years, I've been doing this for 12 years. Um, okay, we've got, you get 40 pieces. These will sell out. It's an absolute guarantee up next. I'm just putting these on the board for you. 
because we've brought you culottes and we said at the beginning of the show that the a culotte what a genius invention this is um it's one of the probably the finding that's the most in demand at the, at the moment here at joy maker and obviously i know the uh, our lovely office team will probably be able to confirm that um because they've got it there on the computer screen but it makes complete sense doesn't it i mean a culotte if you are for example i'm i'm not great with using things like french wire yeah or wire guard wire guardians are a little are, are a bit easier for me but with a culotte you don't need it because they're basically like a little clamshell aren't they with a loop at the bottom and i think i'm describing this right so you can can you see in between i'm just showing you the flower um just in between there's a very 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 small little hole can you see that just by my fingernail. So if you imagine you've knotted pearls, whatever, and you bring that thread or the silk through, tie a knot, close your clamshell, and then that's perfectly finished. You don't have to knot directly onto the clasp itself, because if I turn it around this way, you've got this loop that you can then attach to. It also eradicates any possibility, you know, like um, if you were, knotting directly onto a jump ring for example and it's a it's an open jump ring of that slipping through mm -hmm. or it fraying or yeah. anything like that it's such a genius genius invention yeah the plot yeah i agree because i'm strong hero it, it is and we've always to my knowledge anyway brought you clots whenever they they're on air they sell out understandably but they've always been sort of the plain rounds you yeah. know like a bead yes yeah. For the first time, to my knowledge, and I don't know if Carol's had them, but to my knowledge, first time we've actually had them in a decorative design. They are absolutely amazing. So have I described that right, Charlie? Perfectly. Yeah? Perfectly. If you were, if you hadn't knotted before and you, you didn't know what that was, I think you described that very, very well. Oh, yeah. thank you. You're so they, you can see that, that little hole a bit better on the shell. Can oh, you that's see? so cute. So, so you put your thread through there, tie a knot, Obviously, use your, your tools rather than what I'm doing. You very gently close that down over the knot. Like that. I mean, obviously, you would do it better than me. So close it down. And then I've done it wonky there, but you get the idea. And you've got a clamshell rather than having silk exposed. So clever. You know, we had turtles on yesterday. They would be so cute oh, to go with the little yes. turtle charms, wouldn't they? Amazing. And we had bees the other day, so you could have your, your flowers for your bumblebees. Oh. Couldn't you? They, you know, wire guardians, fantastic. Well French done. wire, traditional, fantastic. Yeah. I struggle with French wire because I can never get them the same length. Yeah, and they kink. And they kink, yeah. yeah. So this foolproof yeah absolutely foolproof definitely and it's decorative you're basically turning what would be like i don't know a knot basically yeah. turning it into part of the design of yeah. the piece of jewelry we have 250 of these available um they're silver plated as well which again we've normally only ever done the 925 so again helps you with your budget mm. sorry if i confused you now all good um here you go so there's those four can you see them there's the flower. This one's the star. Can you see that? Then you've got the shell and then you've got the heart. We're at one pound per calot, which is already apps. If I put my hand behind, can you see them better there? There you go. We have brought them in packs of fives and tens, haven't we? In the past. So that, see that little tail almost, the heart showing it nicely. You just cradle that round, don't you, to yeah. attach to your clasp. That's right, just a little loop over, yeah, roll it round. You are not paying jewellery makers £39.99 today. It's your early bird. Start this show as we mean to go on. Start the weekend as we mean to go on. You get all 40 with this one purchase. Do you want to see another price that we're not stopping at? But this is where the hive of activity starts on the web and on the phone lines. Precious metal plated, genius invention, the clot. 
not stopping there. That's already way less than one pound each. Exciting. It, it, it is. It's about the finishing. And do you know, if ever I buy a piece of jewellery, the actual clasp, that's where I gravitate to first. Obviously, the design will draw me in, but I will look at how is it finished. How is How well is it made? Yeah. Yes. Because I don't just want to wear it once. No. I want this to be a piece of jewellery that I can wear on regular occasions. That's right. So this is, is going to guarantee longevity to your designs as well. And it's oh, yeah. not just bracelets, it's necklaces as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. A, a multi-row. Oh, know, yeah, lovely. Can, yeah. Beautiful. Um, the phone lines, the web have gone crazy. Precious metal plated, you are getting all 40, which is a big quantity. Normally, normally pack of 10, isn't Yeah. It? Normally? Yeah, pack of 10, possibly. They are flying. I knew they would. It's got to be the hottest finding of the moment. You have got all 40 of them. Shall I show you around them a little bit more? The heart's really pretty. Are you ready? How about per calot, there's your shell, 50p per calot. And you'll need what, two? Yeah. In the design? Yeah. One on each end. One on each end. There's, oh. Middle clasp. There's the star. Can you see the star? I love that. So gorgeous. We had 250 of these, but they're absolutely flying jewellery makers. Good luck to each and every single one of you. Um, yeah, if I can, please do have a little look at the web and the app because there's no queues there. Uh, there's a little bit of a queue forming on the phone lines, but I haven't said that. Our call centre are amazing and they're keeping up with the popularity of these. Carol, Angela, Alison, well done, multi-buyers. Susan and Brian, multi-buying. Uh, Mary and Jerry. Hello, Kathleen. Um, hello, might be an obvious question, but do you close the loop with pliers? Yep. Yes. Yeah, and you can use your needle nose pliers or your little looping pliers if the smallest size fits in there. Yeah, definitely. You can actually, you could probably do it with a decent pair of tweezers and just roll it over. So don't overthink it. No, it is. Here we go. It's and, and you, here we are, Kathleen. I'll show. I I haven't got pliers here, but yeah, you would probably curl it all the way around. But you get the idea, don't you? So curl it all the way around, not just double it over like there a bale. But again, that's how it'll finish. Does that make sense? Yeah? And then your bead will be here, if that makes sense. Yeah? Because you can just about see the little hole at the bottom of the heart where the silk is going to come through, silk, nylon, whatever it is you choose to use. But again, it's just closing it up nice and neat. Some people, some designers I know put a little bit of glue in there. You don't have to. Yeah, yeah, you can do. So, but again, and then just attach your bale to where I'm holding it with the tweezers. So clever, aren't they, Kathleen? We're at 50p per calot. The phone lines, the baskets have gone crazy. I'm not surprised. We're not even stopping there though, jewelry makers. We never were. That was never, never our closed price. Um, minute clock on your screens. You get 40 in total, 10 of each design. Um, amazing. Absolutely amazing. The core screens have gone completely crazy. And it is about how you finish. They will, oh yeah, they'll disappear anyway, but I think they'll sell out today. Um, you know, I don't, I, I'm not averse to having exposed silk, however I would prefer it to be tidied away. Yeah, I agree. It's the longevity, like you say, isn't yeah. it? You want to make sure it's secure for a long time. I've got to say, though, I've never seen, never mind jewellery maker, I have never seen shaped collets with any supplier before. True. I mean, I, maybe you guys have, but I've never seen that. That's really special. So it's a, it's a selling point. You know, point it out to your customers. Absolutely. Yeah, the definitely. attention to detail yeah, of, of your designs. You know, not even Louis Vuitton used them. That's the thing. That's the thing. 1999, but we're going even lower, jewelry makers. There's a whole heap of multi buyers, and and I think we, <coughs> I think we'll be right in saying they will sell out today. So that's the tr that's the issue our buying team have, is we see something amazing like this. They'll buy 250. They'll be gone in one show. Yeah, blink and they're gone. Yeah, I'm glad so I don't get do them when job. you see them. Don't expect them to be a repeat um, item. Mm. 16 pounds and 99 pence only yeah hats off to the man that invented the collots why are they called collots i don't know i don't I'm know sorry either. i don't know that one susie may now maybe but I'm not sure because to me collots are trousers yes yeah and i don't suit those no i don't either no i don't know we're both a bit me. too short for them aren't we yeah yeah i just look a bit dumpy in yes those. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm kind of umpa lumperish. Yeah, I don't <laughs> yeah. see them at all. It, it, they kind of look. They, they kind of look like it's just my trousers are too short. I've got the wrong size. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, Sixteen ninety nine. Well done, everybody. So umpa lumperish. <laughs> um, make sure you check it out. Loads of you getting multiples of these, and you get forty of them. So that's amazing. Oh, there's loads. Yeah, loads and loads. You'd be making for days. I always scrambling around for one. You know, I'm oh. always looking for the one. But with that, yeah. you've got loads. Can I also make a suggestion that if you wanted to do, say, like put a tassel, they're great to attach tassels to as well, where you just use one. Brilliant obviously. idea. So in amongst your beads, if you can imagine like a long line necklace, in between a knot, you could put a clot and then you could have your tassel suspended You're from that. You're a clever that. girl. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but I have my moments. <laughs> I didn't think um, of that. More than half the stock's gone. We're going lower. Ooh. We're going lower. This is the thing. Right now, our buying team are going, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> He says, what, 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 what? We're reactive. We can see you all there with it in your baskets. 19.99 was 50p each, and that was our instruction. However, we don't follow rules, do we? We've established that. We all know that, don't we? Friday. It's Friday. There's and no rules. Ellen Ross. <laughs> yeah, exactly. More Ross than me, to be yes. truthful. Yeah, we just follow the lead, don't yeah, we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's, you're, you're the, um, what, how do you word this? You're the, you initiate it, Ross. Yeah. <laughs> that sounded wrong but you know what I mean <laughs> you know what I mean uh, <laughs> 16.99 is already an absolutely amazing deal but we're going lower we had 250 everybody pays whether you're your first person or you're the last person everybody will pay that final low good luck everyone again the call screens have gone mad I've got four rows of names right now it's like virtual supermarket sweep, isn't it? Yeah. It's like everyone's gone, let's have them. I've always wanted to have a go with that game. I would love to. I, sh I, I really want them to bring that back. Yeah. I would go on that. And me. Oh, I'd so go on that. I reckon I'd be quite good at that. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah. Do you know what you do? Take off the supermarket sweep jumper, wrap it round two trolley handles, and then you've got double the load, haven't you? I don't know if and you're do allowed like to this. do that. Yeah, do right. I don't know. <laughs> don't know. Just shove things in. Down. Love it. Yes. I'd Get be good them. at that game. Yeah, me too. Bring, they need to bring back game shows like this. They should. That'd be great. Fun. Yeah, love it. Supermarket sweep. Uh, 14.99 jewelry makers. Um, guest designer Mark. I didn't know this. He signed. He signed us both up, both up to bargain hunt. Never. Yeah. Oh, that'd be amazing. You'd be really good I'm, at I'm, that. I'm, I'm excited about that. I hope that they oh, take Mark. Oh, I hope they do. Oh, you'll Mark have to tell us that. all so we can all watch it. Yeah? I, don't, I mean, I don't know. You have to ask Mark if anything's actually come from the Oh, I think when, when it comes through, he'll be letting you know and you'll yes. be letting us know and we'll all yes. be watching it. have to do the kick at the end. Yeah. Yes. yes. You made a tenner profit. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not in the minus yeah. <laughs> yeah make sure you check it out look at those call screens everybody i told you a collot was one of the hottest findings on fire yeah they're flying out the door you've got what just a couple of minutes what i do these are coming Ooh. up as a star buy just after the break these are meter long length sterling silver chains that's great and can i just say super heavy as well heavy right. heavy heavy gram weight coming up after the break you've got the hammered and then you've got the oval we have 90. oh so um so what what is it two separate auctions one auction stay tuned <clears throat> no that makes no sense sorry ross has just told me the price of these I, so much so i'm not going to tell you it's ridiculous do you want me to that's ridiculous. Surely that's a huge gram weight. Okay, hang on a minute. You get both two meters less than 20 pounds. Oh, that's silly, isn't it? It is silly. Yeah. Right, one minute and then we're going to be diving into a break, jewelry makers. These are coming up immediately after the break. Everything will disappear from this, uh, from the 
um, web page that's been brought to you this hour. So make sure you do check them out. Um, these collots will disappear. You're, and plus, you'll probably miss out, to be truthful. And there's so many people multi-buying on this. We've got Charlie's gorgeous projects coming up after the break as well. We're going to be uh, dabbling in a bit of gemstone setting, which, again, I think these chains will be perfect for. And, of course, any questions that you have, do text us because we are live here in the studio. Don't forget, at 10 o'clock today, Jewelry Makers, we've got that beautiful, brand-new Guatemalan Type A faceted bangle, the first of its kind. Um, that's being launched. I've got about 74 of those. But check out your baskets on your amazing collots and every other item that we've brought you so far. Star by immediately when we come back with that gorgeous, or these, I should say, two uh, meter long length chains. It's going to be awesome today. It's Friday. We've got the Friday feels. So get yourself excited. I'm going to make my way over to Charlie and we'll see you in two. <laughs> Hi Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie. I'm back with you this Friday, Friday the 24th, and I'll be with the lovely Elle and the fabulous team. At uh, nine o'clock, we have got some beautiful floral pendants. I'm going to be walking through how you go about setting those. And then at 12 o'clock, we have so many goodies. It's all about metal smithing, forging metal. Uh, so we've got lots of hammers, steel block. There's a new tool as well, a new tool that will help you um, if you're uh, soldering at the minute, and you're struggling to get everything set up, this is gonna be really useful for you. Um, so I really look forward to sharing all that with you guys and I hope you can join me on Friday. See you then. Very excited to be joining you on Friday for the launch of something truly quite remarkable. Jada is a gemstone, as we know, that has been traded and used for thousands of years in the Far East. And we talk about carving Jada, you know, cabochons or unique carvings. It's a gemstone that has never or will never usually be faceted. That's because it's not known for its luster. To have that level of purity where you can get sharp, defined luster bouncing off the surface hasn't ever really come to light. There is a new find, however, in Guatemala from this new incredible source. It is known as Imperial Majestic Black Jadeite that has the luster and the finish because of its atomic purity uh, akin to that of a black diamond. This bangle is going to blow your mind. It is black, but it appears monochrome because of the white light bouncing off the surface like a domino effect. It is fasted all the way around. A normal jade bangle takes about 10 hours to put together. This takes over a day and you're gonna see why. And I cannot wait to bring this limited edition opportunity to you collectors. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you're all well and having a good week despite the dreadful weather we've been having. I'm here to tell you about my next show which is this Saturday the 25th of May. I'm going to be joining the lovely Elle, Ross and the team and I'm here to tell you about my two project hours. In the nine o'clock hour I have been really spoiled. I've been given a bundle of 12 strands of birthstone gemstones ruby, sapphire, tanzanite, amethyst, my stone, even moonstone, which I've not seen for quite a while. Beautiful, beautiful bundle in the nine o'clock hour. And then at 12 o'clock, many of you may have seen my video that I posted at the beginning of the week regarding my 12 o'clock gemstone. Wow. Avocado, Alashan, Agate. The most beautiful, sublime pastel green I think I have ever seen. We've got two project kits, both containing sterling silver spacer beads. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm really, really excited to share this with you. And also in the 12 o'clock hour, we've got something for you gents. That's all I'm going to say. So that's this Saturday, 25th of May. Join myself, Eleanor and the crew. I cannot wait 
to share this with you. Okay, do you know, every so often a component comes along and you just think, okay, stick a clasp on it, job done. Easy money. And yeah, look at, look at the end result. Yeah, lovely. If you want to break this up, if you wanted to use the individual links, obviously you can. If you wanted to maybe put, I don't know, a couple of, uh, couple of inches and some opera Ooh. length earrings, whichever. But look how lovely that is right there stylish isn't it of the now everywhere at the yeah, moment yeah aren't they? very popular you can see why yeah absolutely now i have 90 available opportunities you get both and both are a meter in terms of their length and we have you did hear it right promise these the two of them for under 20 pounds the paper clip chain which is basically what these are aren't they yep yeah is not a new trend it might seem that way which is definitely what i thought but it's actually a trend that dates back to um well probably about the best part of 100 years Whoa. it was coco chanel that first invented the mm -hmm. first paperclip chain right and jackie o saw it right. went oh i like that yeah um couldn't get hold of one actually was keeping her well i imagine her team were trying to keep an eye where you know where where they all were and she ended up getting one from um, an auction house in fact let's talk about this because this is you'll find this style everywhere at the moment um and these aren't my words it's an article written in 2022 and it says perfectly trendy get on board with paperclip jewelry remember when you were bored in homeroom clearly an american article um and you strung together with uh strung together with paper clips from your pencil case to pass the time or maybe you gave them to your friends to cement your friendship either way paperclip jewelry has come a long way um, they are now the trend, so get on board. Whether a single strand or layering, paper clips have reached a new level of chic. Look at the, the necklace that she's wearing. I mean, you could recreate that. We've got carabiner necklaces or yeah, padlocks. Yeah. You could literally recreate that said look. I'll go on to say, um, the style revamped. Whether this trend takes you back to homeroom and makes you nostalgic for the style of the 80s. Oh. Uh, the paperclip necklace may be trendy, but it's anything but new. Created by Coco Chanel and made famous by none other than Jackie O herself, paperclip jewellery is actually a classic masquerading as a trend. Paperclip necklaces have come a long way since you strung them together as a kid. Available in both yellow and white gold, as plain paperclip chains and even accented with pearls, paperclip pieces need to be part of your fine jewellery collection. After all, if Jackie O and Coco Chanel approve, how can you go wrong? I mean, Agreed. exactly. There's, your arg there's no argument now, no, is there? Don't. Um, and you can see the photograph. That's the sort of what, what is thought or often uh, spoken about to be the original paperclip uh, necklace. But it's perfect, isn't it? Because you can attach to it directly mm. if you wanted to. It's almost on and off a ball at the same way, in the same uh, um, way. Now, these are flying. I've got just under 100 of these, though. You get both, which are a meter long in length. Just the potential. I can't believe that we're promising these under £20. Here we go. Reese Witherspoon's go-to necklace is perfect for layering. And I found five similar styles. You can see you're wearing a... Oh, look at the little doggy little as well. Pooch, yeah. Uh, five similar, similar styles. Why are you sat on the floor, Reese? I was thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this is a lady that wears Van Cleef as well. She's got style. Yeah. She has got style. But you can see it in that photograph. Her pooch is very cute, isn't it? 
He looks a bit serious, doesn't he? Like he's doing all the work. Yeah, what, what do you want now? You want to take another <laughs> photograph? Get on with it, will you? Um, oh, but there she <laughs> wearing her beautiful paper lit design. And again, that's so simple. As a jewellery maker, that's an easy piece to create, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, definitely. There's a huge length as well with this. So you can do a full suite just with the one chain. Yeah. And going back to the um, little article you read there, reading between the lines, I would say it's not going anywhere anytime no. soon, is it? So if you haven't got on board yet, you might as well now because it's not going to disappear, is no, it? No, no, exactly. <clears throat> you know, we bring you, you could make a charm that's on and offable, couldn't you? Oh, yeah. You know, you can have, wear it one day, not the next, yeah. keep it as a chain. Layering, I find so much easier with a paper clip chain as well because they yeah. don't get tangled i was just gonna say that yeah i agree yeah because they roll together at the back yeah. don't they but with the longer links it, it kind of inhibits that from happening it does I, I've, I've been useless at layering until a paper clip actually came uh, came into sort of my wardrobe because like i said they tangle uh, they bunch together yeah. and then they become quite uncomfortable whereas with one with these they don't because they are that that much bigger we've got 90 or rather i should say we had um, if I just turn this round to show you as well, but you've got masses at the back here as well. You know, if you're thinking, oh, I like that look, I might just go for that. But then at the back, you've got the matching bracelets, haven't you? If you wanted to, you could easily customise it to have, what, two necklaces, two bracelets? Probably definitely. even more, depending on how long you want. Your earrings. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You'll create Loads masses with these. Oh, easy. Precious metal plated, again, the biggest, probably the biggest paperclip chain we've ever actually done. Uh, paperclip necklaces are the fashion uh, packs fave style of jewellery right now. Absolutely, that's Glamour magazine. And that looks like it's a Monica Van Ada necklace there, which will cost you three figures. Now, we have made a price pledge, pledge haven't we? Those of you that weren't with me in the last hour might have missed that price pledge. Let me just say, I'll just tell you. Under 20 pounds for the two, that's two meters of silver plated paperclip chain. I love it. It's a crazy price. Isn't it, it is a crazy price because a meter will, you can make a lot with a meter. Oh yeah, easy. Well, you could do your earrings for 20 pounds and that's it, it's paid for, then, paid isn't for. it? Everything else after that is profit. Yeah. If you sell. If you sell. If you were to go into somewhere like Monica Veneda, how much would an 18 inch paperclip chain be? Is it going to be 20 quid? No. No, definitely not. First price crash, jewellery makers. First. We could have stopped at 24.99 and said, oh, that's your first price crash. First price crash, immediately under 20 pounds. I have 90 available, or had. Yeah. Half the stock have gone. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, because they will sell out. I'm, I'm so certain of that. You've got to remember as well, silver plated, you go to Missoma, that's exactly what you get in. Oh yeah, I mean, Coco Chanel have done plated stuff too, haven't Absolutely, they? So, it's precious know, metal it's, plated. Exactly. But by the way, Missoma, you're talking three figures. Oh, easy. And Coco Chanel, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Um, but yeah, like the silver plated, that's the thing. They're not charging 20 quid and you're not getting two meters worth. We're going even lower. Kathy, Dawn, Rosita, Cheryl, Janice, Sandra, Maureen, Honor, Catherine, uh, Jennifer, Mandy, Norman, hello to you linkage are getting two another mandy linda suzanne joan kathy wiltshire new customers mave and rupal and london i can't keep up we had 90 that's not going to be enough to go around especially as so many of you are thinking well at this price i might as well multi-buy because look, look you take what do you reckon three three links if i move my hand down a little bit three links i mean how lovely are they in earrings you could make masses of those oh, couldn't you easily yeah easily and because uh, you actually have that open link, it's super simple to create those pieces of jewellery. You're not paying 19 99 today. Star buy. Not just because they're beautiful, but also because the deal is mega. There's loads of profit in that, isn't there? That's £7.50 each. It's just, it's just bonkers. £7.50 for a metre. I, I mean, what, what can you buy for £7.50 when you go to the shop? You spend at least a tenner and you uh, eat it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you, know, you go to somewhere like, I don't know, 
new look or Dorothy Perkins or Marks and Spencers oh, Marks and or Spencers, something yes. like that. You're talking more than what's on your screen for a pair of earrings, aren't yeah. you? Um, and you can make full suites of jewellery and then some. Make sure you're checking out because 90 is not going to be enough to go around. I can say that. Over half the stock has gone already. Uh, Glamour magazine go on to say the jewellery you choose is such an expression of your personal taste. Although there's one jewellery trend that seems to unite every style tribe right now. Uh, and that's the paperclip necklace. We're spotting the traditional stationary staples glowing up, um, sorry, glow up, adorning the neck of every influencer around. Beyond whether you're a fan of gold or silver, um, if you're a minimalist or love to layer, paperclip necklaces are a versatile addition to anyone's accessory arsenal. Um, that's the thing they they are literally absolutely everywhere and if if this is this ugh, get the words out if this is the first time that you've seen it you'll see it everywhere now um i love it it's it's what it is quite modern i think even though it's not actually a modern design yeah that's it it's 100 years old but yeah it will be still fashionable in another 100 years um and it's ageless isn't it yeah well it's like that what you that comment you said about the Bottega earrings you know they're always going to be on trend aren't oh, they always yeah they'll never go out of fashion no um seven pound fifty each that's ridiculous isn't it we had 90 make sure you're checking them out i might have to add some get some of these today I love that look. I love that look. Do you know, it'd be quite nice to just twist one, just to throw a bit of a curveball out there yeah. and reinvent the look of it. Nice. You, you could change it up as much as you want, or not at all. Yeah, at it's quite price, a flexible though. piece, isn't it, that? I'm with Lincolnshire and Carol and London. I would be multi-buying on this because I think this is the perfect opportunity to really embrace that layering. Is that four metres then? Four yeah. metres a chain, that's a lot of chain. No, 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 is no. right, no? So, hang on a minute, you get two metres with your purchase. So if so, you get two lots. If you get two lots, you get four, four metres. Oh, sorry, so Lincolnshire's getting eight metres. Yeah, ooh, eight clever metres. girl. I mean, just think at how much you can actually get for that. £7.50 per metre. It's a massive deal, this. Isn't it? You could use your clots with this, by the way, if yeah. you wanted. If you, if, you know, if you don't want to use jump rings, you could use the clots. I've got 20 left on the nose. One's textured, one's smooth. What are you doing, Roscoe? One minute clock, he says. I'm going to give you an extra saving. Ah, oh, there's my chance of getting these flying out the window. <laughs> I mean, that in a nice long line bracelet. For a metre, you can make, depending on the size that you go to, about eight, about eight, is that right? Six? Yeah. How, how many how many inches are in a metre? How many inches? 40 inches. Well, then it's two extra long lengths, isn't it? Definitely. How many can get out? How many bracelets can you get out of this then? Say seven inches, because you've got to add your clasp as well. So, rock six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. Yeah. Eight bracelets. Yeah. 16 in, 16 total. in total for 14.99 like you said it's bread and butter isn't oh, it oh easy money easy money if you sell definitely and they are silver plated mm. precious metal plated the hottest trend and that's that was those are my words those are the words of glamour vogue yeah you know yeah. so many different uh, um, publications talking yeah all the big, all the big magazines Going a little bit lower though, jewelry makers, the final 16 opportunities. You get two meters, that's ridiculous. That's that's amazing. Six pound fifty per meter. Yeah. A lot, no brainer that is. You're that's not gonna sell a bracelet for six pound fifty. It's gonna be at least three of that, isn't it? Yeah. I know it's plated, but that doesn't matter, does it? No, like I said, you just go Masoma work with yeah. plated. That's exact, um, but Masoma, you're talking three figures. Yeah, you're doing no different to the big houses. No, absolutely not. Um, okay, make sure you're checking out everybody again. The call screens has gone crazy. Uh, Tina's got two, Suzanne's got two, kathy has got two, Mandy's got two, Tanya's got two. Uh, there's Rosita, Janice, Sandra, Maureen, Honor, Catherine, Jennifer, Norman, Mandy. If you're not in now, you are most likely gonna miss out. Um, you have to be quick. Because there's people on the phone lines. Ooh, it makes <coughs> sense to double up because you're not going to have this again. It's just going to go in and out. It'll go on what we call a shift report, and they'll try and buy it again. Right. Okay. But it's not always possible. Yeah. Especially at prices like this. Yeah. It's you know how often do we repeat items? Not always. I quite always. often have a look to see if you've got, and I always miss it. Yeah. Always miss it. You guys are so fast out there. I would definitely double up. On you this. can you can wish list. 
uh, yeah. which is a fantastic service that Jewelry yeah. Maker has. If you miss out on the original auction, if for whatever reason something falls back into stock, then they will give you a call. Our amazing team will give you a call and say, oh, you wanted this. Do you still want it? Because there's one available. And you can go, yes. I've got a few things in my wish list. I oh, hope me. they call me. Oh, me. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Wow. Right, okay. Where did I put that? Um, <laughs> let, oh. Hang on, I'm just it's a good size bust, that bust. It you is like a it? big, that's the thing, I've got to move it because that is a big bust. There we are, right then. Now, are we ready for Charlie's amazing projects? And you know, if you were, you've got six different designs of which you can choose. If you've never done gemstone setting, and you mentioned this earlier on Charlie, some people will shy away from the, like, the drops and the marquees. Everybody or, setting shies away from that because it's like the danger zone the point but there's actually no once you've worked out the mystique behind it it's yeah. actually quite straightforward and after after the first couple of goes you'll you'll be off running so these are and i know it's quite wrong to say because they are beautiful they're really good practice pieces because there's six i think there's five of one and six of the other so you'll once you've got once you've got the flow of the first two mm. everything after that follows so if you can double up that'd be really good for you because if you made it yourself it would take you so long. Mm. And then if you make a mistake with the first stone that you set, you're going to be devastated, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. But they're so pretty. And your confidence would go then, Yeah, of course, it? of course. We all we all have made boo-boos. Um, but hopefully, I'll be able to help you uh, with the tips and we will be able to get you through it without any hiccups. Um, amazing. So, obviously, you've got your demonstration. Each of these projects comes with the mount, so the sterling silver mount. And then you get the collection of gemstones that are calibrated to go with this with the mounts as well. Also, um, we actually have the gem setting tool pack. This is as rare as hen's teeth. Um, there are only 40 available. Whenever we bring this to air, it sells out. Always. So it's on a it's in a jeweler's roll as well, which I think is so great. It's you know? neat. It's tidy. It's great for travelling if you do do workshops or anything like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or if you haven't got very much space, you're limited to how much stuff you can have. It tucks away in your bag. You don't even know it's there. It's no, well. exactly. So again, folds over so it keeps all your tools all nice and uh, protected. Um, would you mind, Charlie, talking us through what each of these tools does? Yeah, okay, so we'll start on the left. So there you've got your prong pliers. Oh, sorry. Um, they are good for, you'll need them with this um, with these settings to lean back your prong. Mm -hmm. And if you make a mistake, you've closed it down, you've closed the prong down onto the stone, but the stone shifted, you can use those pliers to lean back again and, and, and alter it. So they're different to your usual pliers. Is it because it's almost got that like kind of dinosaur nose? Yeah, that's right. It's almost like a like a beetle's like a beak. claw or something. Yeah, like a yeah. beak. Yeah. And if you notice when you look, you might the camera might not pick it up. There's a there's a semicircle on one side. Um, I actually use them the wrong way around. So I like to use the semicircle on the rounded tip of your uh -huh. prong, whereas usually they would rest against the prong. We'll talk about that later. Okay. Um, next, just slide that one out for me, I'll please. Uh, that's your, another prong pusher. Yeah, so that you can use that to push down your prong onto your stone. And if your prongs are, um, you typically you'd use it so the prong would sit inside the V, but if you've got really short prongs, just turn it on its side and you can use it the same way. There you so go. Handy. That's a beautiful tool, actually. It's got no sharp edges. It's polished to perfection. Yeah. Really good bit of kit, that one. Amazing. Your next up. Your next one's your square pusher. So again, you can do your bezel um, setting with those. They're fantastic. And again, you can use it on your prong too. Um, and if you do castle gate settings, which is like um, broken up bezels, mm. they're really good for that. Um, and they are factory finished. So with that one, I would just buff the edges just to make them nice and soft. And away you go. Okay. Ergonomic handle, so they fit nicely in your hand. Yeah, nice wooden handle yeah. with those as well. Next up then you've got ooh. A another bezel pusher, but you, it, you'll roll it um, okay. and roll. What, like this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I literally was taking a stab in the dark. No, no, you're right. Yeah, you're ah, right. Okay. That's that's really handy, especially if you're doing like really big 
um, cabochon stones okay. or like squares they're quite handy with that um, your curved burnisher now that's great for getting in little nooks and crannies especially if you've got multi-set stones so lots of stones clustered together that little curve is going to help you roll your if you do tube uh, work with tube settings that'll and this that polishes over. doesn't it very po yeah polishes burnishes the edges straight again same thing just a straight version a straighter of it. Version of. But really well made. There's no sharp edges. You're just ready to go. Fantastic. Now, um, 49.99 is not your price. And you've got what? One, two, three, four, five, six tools. Seven if you include the jeweler's yeah. roll as well. Yeah. Um, another price. 19.99 i find it amazing that jewelry maker can do professional tools for less than 20 quid it's madness isn't it those pliers should be 20 pounds because they are a specialist pair of pliers they're not just bogo standard chain those pliers that you can pick up anywhere no they're quite important yeah actually. and when when i was in the jewelers and i used to see you know them repairing pieces mm. whichever it might be you know um it was exactly the same tools that i see here at jewelry maker oh yeah exactly yeah. the same tools you're not paying 19.99 i only have 40 though so if you've never stepped into the world of gem setting this is something we would strongly recommend do you know at that price you could just buy it and sell it on for three times the price if you look at other suppliers they're really, really expensive and they don't come in a jeweler's roll either usually you have to buy them one at a time so it's the fact that you've got a full collection there is really good uh, starting point for you for 14 pounds and 99 pence it's amazing. Each tool, I, like you said, the pliers especially, I would expect to pay more than that. Easily. Because easily. really, like with tools like this, once you've got them, you're not likely to need to replace them, are oh, you? Oh, no. No, definitely not. I mean, I've had mine since we started the um, competition, actually. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you buy them from other suppliers, the little cap that holds it all together flops off really quickly. Mine are brilliant. They're really, really? good. Yeah, really well made. There you good, go. Good, solid tools. Only 40 available though. Rosina, Gail, Linda, Tracy, Gary, Margaret, Ray, Teresa, Christine, Marishka. Again, there's lots of you getting involved. Um, yeah. You I, could I, just I, buy and sell them on. Yeah, I that agree. Price, it's you could. Silly, isn't it? Yeah, you really could. I think, you know, I'm not um, an accomplished jewellery maker, but every so often, you know, sometimes when like a, a prong works loose on your rings mm. or oh, on yeah. your jewellery, I'll, I'll occasionally... That's going to save you a fortune. Yeah, because I had, uh, um, yeah, exactly, before I had these, you'd have to go into a jeweller's and pay for yep. it. And they charge a pretty penny yeah, for it, don't this they? this is it. I mean, to be fair, they've got overheads, they've got staff, they've got all sorts of costs. But yeah, if you can fix your own jewellery at home, you'd be silly not to. Exactly. For £15. Hello, Miss Janet. Got this set. Amazing quality. A mega fab price it is indeed. I wonder, can we do a little bit of maths? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Say seven. Forty, well, that's £2 each. £2 something. £2.14 each. £2.14. Do you see where, where, where I'm going with that? £2.14 for the roll, £2.14 for the pliers, all those tools, £2.14. It's just laughable, isn't it? It's, it's amazing. It's a wise investment for pennies. Yeah. Really. Unbelievable. Well done, everybody. Again, make sure you're checking out your baskets on that. Okay, Charlie's beautiful projects. Now, again, you get the mount, which is a, a pendant mount. You could be a charm if you wanted to. Oh, and yeah. Customize. Um, and you also get the calibrated stones, so you can choose your favourite. With each of your purchases, oh my goodness, Charlie. Oh, I think you might have both sets there. Yeah. Here we go. Thank you. Look at how beautifully illustrated these are. So if you have never done gem setting before and you're thinking, I don't know if I've got the ability to, stick with us for the demonstration. But also, you get this with your project purchase um, that's available on Dispatch of Your Order. And if you forget anything, you've got it there to reference. Oh, easy. Yeah, definitely. And um, I mean, if you if you signed up to a jewellery training programme, you could be looking at £70 a month. You know, really? it's a subscription fee and you'll learn one thing at a time. Well, I mean, that's invaluable then, isn't it? Yeah, really? absolutely. Yeah. You get these for free. Yeah. But you can keep literally in a, in a folder or whichever. Now, this is available. This comes with each and every single one of your projects. So, um, okay, I'm going to start with the Sleeping Beauty. Mm. So there it is um, as a complete. That's stunning. I know, isn't it lovely? Yeah. December's birthstone, isn't gorgeous. it? Gorgeous. And of course, Mind Out, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise was Mind Out in um, 2012. So to be bringing it... 2012, that's 10 20, years, isn't it? Oh, more? 10 12, 12 years. 12 years oh. ago, yeah. 
Um, and yet we're still able to bring you that and still to this day thought of and considered to be one of the finest uh, turquoise mines in the world. Now we are going to do this in one price crash. You've got a beautiful colourless zircon in the centre there. So, um, and again, Charlie will talk you through how to actually create this lovely piece of jewellery with, with your gem setting. We're going to do it in one price crash. How many have you got, Roscoe? 60. Okay, that's not that many. Sleeping Beauty Turquoise is always and still so, so, so popular. So popular. I mean, that's a piece of jewellery that you could put on and never take off. Oh, and everyone's going to know it's that gemstone as well. What? I'm fairly sure in the past, just to throw this one out there, I have brought you individual Sleeping Beauty Turquoises for that price. Just one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's due, isn't it? It's, it's, yeah. it's a stone you can't get anymore so yeah that makes oh, gosh, sense in tucson the price of sleeping beauty turquoise it really hit home to me how good our sleeping beauty turquoise prices actually are there, wasn't yeah it? amazing real amazing. eye opener amazing exhausting but amazing and, and then an education as well yeah I massively 19 pounds and 99 pence you get a gram of stuff for that for the mount ross in fact haven't we done mounts for that price um, now again, you've got the different gemstones. So you've got tourmaline, tanzanite, opal, and peridot. Um, they're, are they all available on pre-order? All on pre-order. So do shop ahead on those. I'll keep you updated on the um, availability of them as well. Charlie, what are you going to show us, darling? Well, I'm just going to walk you through what you do with these prongs. May I pinch one, please? Of course. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they were going to send me another one down, but I haven't seen it. <laughs> I so couldn't find it in the these, box. That's all good. So, I don't need the So, when you come to these mounts, I've made a giant setting for you just to, uh, hopefully you'll be able to see it a bit better. It's too right. There Is that we are. in there? Yeah. Okay, so on your um, pendant, when, you, when it arrives, I'll just flick that loop over. When it arrives, you might need to put your stone in. When, when mine arrives, some of the center stones were already set, um, so I didn't have to do that, but some of them might need doing. So just inspect your settings and just have a look and see how much material you think you might need to remove. And you think, well, how, how do I figure that out? Because the setting is beautifully made and it's flat backed, you can assess it from the back. Mm -hmm. So you'll actually be able to offer your stone up to the setting and where you have your points meeting, you'll be able to see, oh, well, actually, I only need to remove a tiny bit of material to be able to get that stone in. So what I would do is tackle the center stone first, because once your center stone is set and, and rounds are quite nice and straightforward, once you've done that center setting, you don't need to adjust the claws on the outside. You don't need to move them. You may need to remove a little bit of material, but you're not gonna push the stone, push the prong out of the way. So really what you're working with is the outside prongs. And on the marquee stones, they're, they're a V shape. So, and they're quite dinky, aren't they? Um, where this V shape is, it already has that point for your uh, marquee stone. And if, you, if you're thinking, well, which one do I start with? You could start with the teardrop one, so we'll grab that one, because there's only one point. So what you'll do is you'll lean back the outside prongs and you may not even need to remove any material at all from that inside prong. So when we've looked at it and we've assessed and we can see how much material we need to move. Uh, sorry? Just oh, sorry. Just a little bit, there you go. So I'm going to draw it for you, just because you're gonna see it more. Sorry, guys. So with your, let's say you've got your, you're gonna start with your teardrop one, okay? So some might be really quite shallow peaked, okay? So you're going to remove, here's your prong, you're going to remove a very tiny portion, okay. and that little tip is going into that hole. Okay. So when you've got some, say you're doing your marquee swan, so obviously they've got the pavilion as well, haven't they? And you've got the girdle. So some girdles are really chunky, and yeah. then other girdles are really narrow. Mm -hmm. And you're going to, there's the um, crown, there's the table, and you've got your prong here. Some you may need to remove loads of material, and I'm going to show you that on the um, example setting that I've made. And then others, you'll only need to make just a tiny, tiny little dot. So it really isn't that much material that needs moving. So 
when you look at your marquee swan, now this I'm afraid is a is a whopper of a setting. So um, for this one, I'm going to pop a lavender jade eye in it. Um, and what I've done is I've got prongs that are really quite chunky. You might be better on the front one, Dan, my love. If you can see, oh, there we go. Can you see just how much material I've removed oh, yes, from here yeah. and this side here? Loads of material. I would say I've removed 75% of that prong. And when you look at it from a different angle, angle, there we yeah. go, it's hollowed out. So I've literally removed all the material I can possibly remove to be able to get my stone in. Obviously the tiny stone here. You'd sit it in. With your um, fancy tools, you want to use your lovely pliers. Once you've made some adjustments, we'll go back to that in a second. You've got your, your little beak and you would rest that, we'll do it on the little one. You would rest that just underneath. Let me move that one, sorry guys. And you're going to, now there's the, I don't know if you can see that. There's a little groove on the inside. Now, really you should use them where it's resting against the prong. So the groove is inside the prong. Um, so rather the prong is inside the groove. I actually use it the other way around because that little bobble, if you need to, if you push your stone down, so you've got your stone here and you push your prong over and it's not quite right and you need to re-lift it, that little semicircle is just going to catch underneath on the prong without touching the stone. You, it's going to slide over the surface of the stone and you would lean that back just enough to allow you to drop your stone into that seat. Now, when you come to doing it, you really, I would set these with a heart burr. Now, a heart burr is a bit of a diamond shape and it replicates the same shape of your, uh, the point and the girdle and the tip of the stone. So, but you can do it with round burrs. So I would take the smallest burr you've got and I would go in straight into the tip, dead center, and I would also check how, how thick that girdle is. So if you need to, if you've got a really meaty stone, you may need to go in with the one burr and then draw it down. Mm. These are so dinky, I'm so sorry. And that drawing the, the, burr, the round burr down and removing that metal inside the setting, and it is literally the tip. I turn it that way. So here, this little bit here, Sometimes the bellies of the stone are really meaty. So you just need to remove that little bit. And by removing that, you can slot your stone in. But if you think, oh, it's not quite right still, it's too rounded, take a drill bit. Now your drill bit has obviously got a point. So you can recreate a uh, heart burr by using a round burr and a drill bit. So you'll use your round one first, remove as much metal. You can turn your setting over and check your stone again and make sure it fits and then flip it back over again and go back in for the final removal, the final little bit of removal, go in with your tip. Now I use, a little bit of photographer's black tack on a nail and, I, and it doesn't really work very well here for me. But when I'm at the bench, it works great. And the other reason why I use this is once you've removed all the material inside that setting, you've got burrs in there. Mm. So to save yourself time or if you haven't got an ultrasonic, quite often I'll do a bit of work, chuck it in the ultrasonic, come back, do it again, and it takes forever. But if you use a bit of black tack, a bit of blue tack, whatever, and run it around the inside of your setting, oh. all that material is gonna be on your black tack. And it goes in your scrap box. Yes. So you can weigh that in, and once it, once it's full of silver, and I mean it will be really full, it'll be, the whole thing will be silver and it won't be sticky anymore. Um, you chuck that in your scrap box and it'll go in the, in the melt when you refine it if, with your dirty scrap. Um, but that is really as easy as it is because after that it's just practice. So obviously with your teardrops you've got five, with your marquees you've got six. When you come to doing it, because it's got a flat back, um, you, can, you can support it however you like. If you need to, uh, I think, Claire had some white morph, we yeah. also had some setter's pitch, all that sort of stuff. You can embed it in there. With the um, with the teardrop ones, obviously they've got the bail and you think, well, that's gonna drive me nuts and it's gonna get in the way. If you have a block, 
or a chuckle wood or whatever it is, hang it over the edge and it's not gonna get in your way then. And it won't disrupt how you set it. Now, when you come to pushing your prongs over, you can use, obviously there's a couple of different options and just use whatever you feel most comfortable with. But I would use my square pusher and I've rounded off the edges and it is simply just a case of nudge, nudge. You're not doing anything with those central um, prongs because they're nice and straight and you're closing it in towards the center stone. And it is literally that simple. Wow. Yeah. And look at the end results, jewelry makers. The and the same applies stunning. regardless of each stone. Yeah, so obviously you've got your um, teardrop ones, which have got a flat bottom. So if you're thinking, well, which one do I start with? Start with a teardrop. But what I would say is order one of each because you've got one tip to practice on your um, teardrop ones. But obviously you've got five goes at that. So there's mm -hmm. only five goes. But obviously there's six on this one. So you've actually got 12 prongs to modify, which is good practice. Yeah, absolutely. It's all practice. That's it's, all stone setting is. Especially, especially at 19.99. I mean, again, for the mount alone or for the for the opals, in this case, we've got the opals on your screens. Look at that. Those opals are mega round. Aren't there. they? Aren't they just, I know it's a favorite of yours as well, Charlie. Oh, yes. Um, now we've got, so that's with a lovely little flower. One that is proving incredibly popular. Yeah, obvious reasons. Um, is of course the tanzanite. Now, do we have many of these, Roscoe? 30, okay. Only 30 available opportunities. Tanzanite's this wonderful cornflower blue color. Remember, one locational and you will find tanzanite on the high street. What you definitely won't find is tanzanite of, on the high street of this grade for this price. I could say that categorically, really. I walked past the jewellers the other day and saw some sterling silver tanzanite pieces and they were high three figures. Oh, easy. High three figures. Um, yeah, because the quality of our tanzanite, I mean, you've got to remember back when we could, you can't do this anymore, but we used to go direct to the tanzanite mine. Oh. We used to buy it from predominantly D block, which was all artisan artisanally mined. That's closed now. That that one. No. Um, so we obviously, you know, were able to sort of cut costs significantly. We've just brought you Sleeping Beauty turquoise, mind out, Tanzanite, one locational, Ethiopian opal, all for under twenty pounds each. I know it's 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 almost embarrassing isn't it because well, it's not one pennies. of them should be that price oh no not one of them at 60 pounds no definitely not and if you look at it from rather than a jewelry piece as a practice piece what you're going to learn from that 20 pounds mm. plus your toolkit so 35 pounds what you'll learn from that you'll carry with you forever so it's an investment for not very that's, much isn't you know, it that's a really good point charlie you get you can get the toolkit yeah one of your projects which comes with the instructions all for 35 pounds today oh, it's, that's crazy yeah it's almost that's, it's, it's a business oh definitely in the making definitely it cost that, it was an investment for me to learn setting like this I it bet. wasn't 35 pounds plus uh, instructions at all no I, I bet. didn't get the mount I didn't get the stones I didn't get the tool I, it was literally just a lesson yeah so, absolutely. yeah very wise investment well, let's bring you the tourmaline, which is, I, I, again, it's one of my favourites. I love this one. I love tourmaline for all of its complexity. Um, and the fact that you are basically getting a, a kaleidoscope of colour yeah. um, with the tourmaline. So, I mean, look at that. You've got um, the olive greens. You've got some beautiful, almost like golden hessenite colours. It's not hessenite, it is tourmaline. You've got pink tourmalines in there. And again, it's all totally and utterly natural. Love that absolutely love that now the stones um are your pear cuts so they have the pavilion on the underside but you can see the end result following Char charlie's instructions if you've got your toolkit yeah what an amazing journey to start on what okay i don't understand 16.99 i mean you elsewhere training program you don't pay 17 pounds for instructions on how to set stones professionally no. you don't but can I also just say as well, for that mount alone at sixteen ninety nine, oh, yeah. I mean, that's a zircon in the centre. The mount on its own, we've done mounts. I remember sort of when gem setting was the, t the, the medium of the moment. It was still very much is, but in particular, when it was first introduced yeah. here at Jewelry Maker, I suppose. Um, you were buying mounts for about that price, and then you'd buy this gemstone separately. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's it. You've got your, I know I'm sorry I keep saying it, it's a practice piece and I know it shouldn't really be reflected like that, but it's invaluable for your future progression. Absolutely. Um, and like you say, you wouldn't get the stones with it. You wouldn't, the, you, you're kind of held to ransom sometimes, aren't you? And you, ha you have to spend time searching for the stones course, that are going to fit yeah. the mount that you've ordered, say. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's, a, it's a very good opportunity to learn. And at the end of it, you have something very beautiful to wear. Well, it's just over £3 per tourmaline and your sterling silver and instructions for free. It's crazy. Isn't it? it is crazy. I don't know anywhere else that can compete with that. And can I just point out the bale is beautiful. Mm, it is beautiful. It's got like, it's like this peeled fluted. back. Yeah, it's fluted. lovely. Like a champagne flute. Beautiful. And finally, on to the Peridot. This isn't just any Peridot, though, is it? Am I right in saying that's Jilin? It looks glows, like Jilin. It? it does. Oh, I love that. Stunning for spring and summer. Yeah. Springtime vibes. Absolutely love and it. And of course, August, August babies. babies. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you, when you, if you think about gifts for your August babies, mm. what, is lovely, what a lovely motif. Oh yeah, definitely, and it suits everyone, doesn't it? And I mean, if you're feeling really adventurous, um, and if you if you do do a bit of stone uh, soldering, you could detach the bail and yeah. solder it to a, a ring shank, yeah, or a or a cuff, or make it as a charm. It doesn't earrings. have to be. Ooh, cute! They'd be nice little earrings, wouldn't they? That'd be lovely. And again, double the amount of practice because you're making one for each side of your head. So yeah, that's that's a that's a good way. Absolutely. Yeah. So you get all of the calibrated. Peridot's, you get the bale with with a genuine zircon in the center there. You get Charlie's handwritten instructions, not literally handwritten, but you know, written by yours through. They're hand tight. Yeah, hand tight. <laughs> um, floral gem setting. You get all of that education and knowledge. Have we got quantity? 50. I think this is going to be one of the most popular because, you know, we're definitely feeling summery now, aren't we? Oh, no. Peridot is always yeah. one of those gemstones in the summertime, I think. Yeah, definitely. And it suits, it definitely suits your skin when you've got a tan, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. £14.99 pence only to get hold of this. Make sure you are checking out your baskets. That's absolutely beautiful. Um, look, and again, I'm not the most accomplished jewellery makers at all, but even I've had a dabble of... Oh setting. yeah, don't don't be frightened of it because at the end of the day you've got five more to go. Yeah. So yeah, just give it give it a go. Absolutely. Amazing. Make sure you check it out mm. your baskets, everybody. Incredible. And if you do have any questions for Charlie, um, do make sure you text in. Charlie, I'm just looking across at that ring. Wow. Oh, thank you. Is that coming up in the twelve o'clock? Like is this one of the things you could do with that amazing yeah, tool? Just with just some with oh, some can very you, can you slide yeah, that? Of course. With First, some... I want to have a. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it's cute. I isn't it? love it. I mean, oh, my goodness. Don't get me wrong. You don't have to be that extravagant. Thank you, Ross. You can just make it as a, a wrap ring. So, I've obviously soldered the backs and soldered three together. But you don't have to do that. It's literally a simple case of whacking it with a, bit of ha with a hammer. Get oh, a with a hammer. my goodness. Charlie, you need to show me how you... I love that. That's awesome. It's quite architectural, isn't it? Yeah. Quite modern. Edgy, yes. That's so cool. Oh. I love that. Absolutely love that. Adam likes clean lines then. He likes clean lines. Is that silver? Yeah. It's gold plated sterling. Gold plated yeah. oh, I love that, Charlie. That's awesome. Um, okay. Remember, coming up in a few minutes time with the wonderful Dave at 10 o'clock, we have the first of its kind, oh. the most exceptional, faceted, type A jade out bangle. I hope the Wi-Fi is working because I want one. I know, it's insane oh. that is. There Even are seven Wayne was drooling, yeah, wasn't he? Yeah, it's, it's, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. That's common with Wayne. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Wayne, we love you. Do you know, I like, know I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> we came in the other day, I was like, I was listening, I listened to a show and I was like, oh. You know, like, what did I, did I, did I accuse him of dribbling? <laughs> um, yeah. It is absolutely beautiful. Now this, Hasn't been under lock and key by the management. This has been under lock and key by Ross. He's been waiting for the perfect moment to introduce this to the show. 
Now I'll tell you, uh, honestly, Lauren put it down next to me and I was like, I went, <gasps> yeah, you know, you know that immediate reaction that you can't hide. Firstly, 10 to 13 mil. High, no, rephrase. The highest of lusters. If you are, oh my goodness me, these are crazy. How many, 20? I, I, I want. No, we need. Yeah, need. We need, need. these. I can't emphasize enough. These are the highest luster pearls that quite possibly have ever been on jewelry maker screens. Do you, do you agree with me? I would definitely agree. You know when a pearl, firstly, okay, I'll come back to the luster, but you know when a pearl, when a white is so white, it's borderline blue, yeah? Mm -hmm. It's that. This is so pure white that it's borderline blue. Luster of the five virtues is the most important, AKA how reflective it is. These are the highest luster pearls I've ever seen. I hope our graphics reflect that. As you can probably gather, this is my first experience of them as well. Seriously. They're insane. There's 20 available. Not that with a blue silk. Oh. 10 to 13 millimeter. But again, so white they're borderline blue. I'm gonna hold it up. Do you see where I'm coming from with that? And so reflective, they're almost mirror-like. I'm gonna just steal them off this bust for us. Yeah, I do. I, you know, Adam's like Elle wants to try them on. Okay. Oh my goodness. There are only 20, so they're uber exclusive. OMG. Yeah. I want oh. them. You're right, Charlie, I need them. There's no words, is there? No. Except I need. Need. Yeah. Seriously, the highest luster I've ever seen. And you're not quite seeing the... the no. The bluish, like, colour, but it is there. Yeah, definitely. When you, if, you, if you're lucky enough to get them, uh, when you see them with your own eyes, ugh. You'll so be blown pure, away. So from there, maybe a bit more. So pure, you know, like snow when it's that white, yeah. it looks blue. That's what these pearls are. Oh my okay. goodness me! Good luck, everyone. The graphics are about to become live. There are twenty in the world. That's it. That's twenty purchases, or maybe less, if people want to multi buy. Hello to you, Belinda. Wow, they're so white. They almost don't look real. Absolutely. Yeah, they're so pure, aren't they, Belinda? They're incredible. And I've not seen these before. They've been under, loss, uh, under uh, lock and key by Ross. He said, I've just been waiting for the perfect opportunity. He said, you didn't want it to be, you didn't want these to be rushed in our show. So, um, you know, and sometimes, yeah, I get that. You know, it's, it's actually having that right. We've got those pearls that maybe we'll show when we've got. You should be given the time. Yeah, yeah. I agree. But also another reason, there are only 20. That's it, there's only 20 available. If we'd have promoed them, which we yeah. do, and they deserve the promo, they'd have been gone in seconds. Absolute seconds, my goodness me, they're amazing. Sorry, I'm just looking all the way around. Here we go, you can see that graduation. Imagine them in bon on Bond Street. Imagine them at Place Vendôme. PLA, wouldn't it? Yeah, um, I'm going to show you something as well, jewelry makers. You know those 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 big pearls that that we brought to air that sold out, the really big ones. Um, I bought my mother-in-law. I bought them for my mother-in-law for her birthday. She went on. Um, I don't know what train it was, but it was a posh train where they had food. Oh, okay. With her with her girlfriend. Like an experience. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like the Orient Express, but not the Orient yeah. Express. Um, oh, she... Anyway, where they all dressed up, and I, yeah, and and Deb's. Um, knotted them for me and I bought a gold class for her as well. She looked incredible in them, absolutely incredible. I'm just thinking along the same lines, literally knotting these, put them onto a gold class. We don't sell gold class here at Jewelry Maker. We should, this is why. This is why. 
I mean, at four thousand pounds, that's not un that's not unlikely for pearls of this grade. No, definitely not. Remember, remember that video, and it's about three minutes long, so I won't, I won't bring it to air just yet, but remember that video of Dave talking to the lady in Hong Kong this year about freshwater pearls, and she was saying, oh, big size, white, white, blue, you know, almost blue, and she actually says, like South Sea. These are the most like South Sea I've seen. And, and the wholesale prices were more than what's on your screens. The next price drop, is also not where we are closing. There, this conversation. He's, she's talking, she's offering uh, freshwater pearls, but she references like South Sea, and they were all thousands. We're at 200 and nine, that's wholesale by the way. We're at 299 and we are not done. Not stopping there. There is, did you say 20? I know I've said this multiple times, but genuinely, it is our greatest strength, isn't it? Yeah. Our pearls. I get very excited about your pearls. Mm, me very too. Very excited. And these are heirlooms of the future, aren't they? Oh, without a doubt. To be able to say that you can hand on pearls like this, oh. that are this high luster. Luster is the most important of your five virtues, you know? Like in diamonds, you've got what? Uh, clarity, colour. Um, carrot weight, but the most important is cut because you can have the best possible diamond. If it's not cut well, then it's a ru rubbish diamond. Yeah, yeah. You know, in in pearls, it's not about size, not even necessarily about the colour. It is about the luster because you can have you can tick all of those boxes, but if it's not mirror like, then you it's a meh pearl basically. Yeah. You have the most beautiful strands. You can tell in my voice, I'm super excited about this. I might be joining you, Janice and Hazel, um, and Sally and Lynn. You're not paying two nine nine today. We've been saving this for the perfect opportunity. We're not even stopping here. I've got twenty available. Oh, I'm so tempted yeah, to get my phone. I know. I'm so tempted to get my phone. Ten to thirteen millimeter. Oh, look! Unbelievable. Just stunning. At 249, we know we can't replace them at this price. We went, like I say, we royal we. Our team went to, Dave, Jake, went to Hong Kong, not just about buying, I'm sure that was obviously one of their um, um, hopes, but more to get footage like this so we can actually pass that message on. See this, that, that handful that she was picking up there? How much were they, Dave? Thousands per strand. Thousands oh, yeah. per strand. We're at 249 and going even lower. No disrespect, and I love these two, but your generic freshwater potato pills that you might even they would be more than what's on your screens right now. In fact, oh, considerably yeah. more than what's on your screens right now. There is a reason why pearls, you know, they're everywhere in terms of the glossy magazines, lots of big celebrities obviously absolutely Met loving Gala. them. They were all over all the Met over Gala. All over the Met Gala, yeah. yeah, red carpet, absolutely. But if you notice, they're, they're a bit... Uh, um, light on the high streets and even the mm. high-end jewellery um, like your Yoko of London. It's because the world absolutely adores pearls and they have never been more expensive than they are right now. Thanks to the efforts of our amazing team, the likes of Dave, who quite literally travel around the world to source opportunities like this for you, we are able to continue to bring these deals, but not indefinitely because we're not exempt from those price increases. We're at what? One nine nine. There's one more price crash. But you've got one minute at this next price crash. We're gonna dive immediately into the break for that incredible, one of a kind opportunity, that beautiful bangle. Any day of the week, Ross, to be honest, because of the fact it's so white, it's almost blue. I would say any day of the week, 499. We're going lower, but for one minute. Norma. Janice, Hazel, Lynn. Oh, I'm going to get some of these if they're available in the break, Ross. There is a little queue on the phone lines. 
beautiful, beautiful ripple pearls. I've not even mentioned that. I've been talking about the luster of nine, that beautiful blue. 179, that's probably one of the best pearl deals I've ever seen. On split pay. Yeah, and on split pay. On pearls. Yeah. No other supplier does that. Uh, do you, we've seen a lot of pearls in our time. Yes. How amazing that we can say that. And not to sound complacent. But you know when you see a pearl strand and it makes you go, wow, look at yeah. that, it's almost blue. Yeah. It's almost blue because it is that pure white. Um, or if you, if you have like fresh bed linen or something like that, mm. it's almost blue. And then you look at the lustres and my goodness me, that's like literally mirror like lustre. That's the reaction I get from this jewelry makers. Yeah. Um, you've got 20 seconds, make sure you're checking out 179, one of the best deals I've seen. The most unbelievable and the first of its kind that I recall anyway, I'm sure uh, Dave will confirm that. The most incredible type A black jadeite bangle. Um, there's two ladies here who are definitely interested in getting get involved on that welcome dave after this hello everyone it's mark here i hope you're all well and having a good week despite the dreadful weather we've been having i'm here to tell you about my next show which is this saturday the 25th of may i'm going to be joining the lovely l ross and the team and i'm here to tell you about my two project hours in the nine o'clock hour, I have been really spoiled. I've been given a bundle of 12 strands of birthstone gemstones. Ruby, sapphire, tanzanite, amethyst, my stone, even moonstone, which I've not seen for quite a while. Beautiful, beautiful bundle in the nine o'clock hour. And then at 12 o'clock, many of you may have seen my video that I posted at the beginning of the week regarding my 12 o'clock gemstone. Wow. Avocado, Alashan, Agate. The most beautiful, sublime pastel green I think I have ever seen. We've got two project kits, both containing sterling silver spacer beads. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm really, really excited to share this with you. And also in the 12 o'clock hour, we've got something for you gents. That's all I'm going to say. So that's this Saturday, 25th of May. Join myself, Eleanor and the crew. I cannot wait to share this with you. to be part of an unofficial world record attempt and amongst the largest number of people making jewellery at one time. On Friday the 31st of May at 10am, Jewellery Maker will be holding the world's biggest make-along, where over Zoom you can join fellow jewellery makers of all abilities as we attempt to break a world record. Whether you've never made jewellery before or it's your favourite hobby, you can join us. All you have to do is sign up via the link below. We will send you an email with the Zoom link to join us near the time. Go to www.jewellerymaker.com for inspiration and of course, how to sign up. See you on the 31st of May for the world's biggest make-along. Very excited to be joining you on Friday for the launch of something truly quite remarkable. Jada is a gemstone, as we know, that has been traded and used for thousands of years in the Far East. And we talk about carving Jada, you know, cabochons or unique carvings. It's a gemstone that has never or will never usually be faceted. That's because it's not known for its luster. To have that level of purity where you can get sharp, defined luster bouncing off the surface hasn't ever really come to light. There is a new find, however, in Guatemala from this new incredible source. It is known as Imperial Majestic Black Jadeite that has the luster and the finish because of its atomic purity uh, akin to that of a black diamond. This bangle is going to blow your mind. It is black, but it appears monochrome because of the white light bouncing off the surface like a domino effect. 
It is fasted all the way around. A normal Jada bangle takes about 10 hours to put together. This takes over a day and you're gonna see why. And I cannot wait to bring this limited edition opportunity to you collectors. What an, in, what an honour, I have to say, to be joining you, Dave, in this opportunity. And can I just say, wow. Yes. So the, the honour is all mine. Um, I'm, I'm thrilled to be here, to be joining you guys. But this is a, a, a commission that we're thrilled has arrived because, as many of you will know, the situation in Guatemala is pretty dire right now for, for producing yeah. jade. Um, it's not depleted, it's not exhausted, but because of that unique discovery at the beginning of the year with the ancient uh, Mayan king's tomb being recovered, um, they have paused all mining in the Montague yeah. Valley, which is a, a real concern because those are the only two loca locations in the world. You've got your Guatemala um, and Burma. Burma's mined out and Guatemala, you know, is mined out right now. I mean, it's not producing and hasn't been uh, this year. Mm. We don't know how long that will take. There is still no clarity on the situation. So okay. the reality is, at least for for the the immediate future, the price of jade is just not not uh, relatable to us. We we can't, we haven't been able to place orders now. Usually we place orders every month. Mm. Since uh, February, we haven't been able to place a single order. No the material that is coming in was obviously priced prior to that. Uh, um, you know, acquired prior to that. And a lot of the vendors, as I mentioned a couple of times that I've joined you recently, have kind of cancelled orders. Right, and the reality is. It's not so much that you know it's in bad faith. Of course, we've paid deposits, but the reality is, they they offer to us at a different price that they offer to the market. We have a long-standing relationship with our vendors, and and they're okay with that. That like, look, you pay this price, the rest of the market pays a different price, and we'll just make it work. Um, now, when they cannot replace the jade, they have to look after the clients that are paying the higher prices of first, course. right? You know, once they've said, look, we're not going to. Once, once we can start mining again and there's a, a steady influx of new jade, we can go back to supplying you at the aforementioned prices that we've done before. But as it stands right now, a lot of orders that we even placed last year, they're, they're basically pausing. They're saying, yeah, we know you paid the deposit. We're happy to give you your money back. Mm -hmm. We're not saying we're not going to deliver it, but we're certainly not going to deliver it until we can start replacing the material. Yeah. So there was a real concern that we wouldn't be able to bring you this opportunity. Uh, we have been able to but the quantity has been affected. Okay. So this was, this is a huge launch, an incredible launch. You're going to see why. And we wanted to offer our collectors 200 of these. Yeah. And we placed an order um, and placed the deposit and terms of payments were in place for a 200 quantity, which was absolutely signed off at the time. They had enough rough to be able to do it. But the reality is they haven't been able to replace that rough and there's other people that they've had to look after as well. So as a goodwill gesture, they've, they've supplied this opportunity to you guys but we don't have 200. In fact, we don't even have 100. We've got 75. Wow. Okay, yeah, this, is, this, this was a really exciting new find um, last year. We're talking about a, a new discovery of top, top gem jadeite from Guatemala. If any of you subscribe to the GIA or keep your eyes peeled on their website, in the last two months, they've written two new articles about the Guatemalan jade. Wow. It is truly, you know, Word climbing spreading. up the rankings. Yeah, and, and it's, it's, the, the Chinese have known about Burmese jade since the 70s and 80s, and they've carved it and cut it for the rest of the world. They've exported it, but they've always seen it as inferior to Burmese, which it was. Um, until they started finding the good material. And that good material only really started coming into the market about a year ago. Mm -hmm. So you took ice jade, you, they, the GIA wrote uh, a month ago about the, the black jadeite that is coming out. Now, in Guatemala, they refer to this as, it's from one mine, but they refer to it as the majestic imperial black wow. jade. And it's a, a unique type of jade because with jadeite, we always talk about the carving. Jade art is always carved, right? Yeah. So we see the dragon, we see the pixu, we see the phoenix, we carve bangles, um, we, we produce kind of master carvings, and then you've got your cabochons. They never facet jade. No one facets jade because it doesn't have any luster, right? It doesn't uh, uh, behave with the light like a gemstone with a, an incredible polish, with, you know. Like a diamond. Exactly. Like mm. that, that adamantine luster, that vitreous luster that we get from a diamond where the light hits it. Think about the, the finest black diamonds out there. The light hits that and it turns the surface of the gem white. It's like monochrome. Mm. It's like this domino effect of light flashing off the surface. You'd never get that with jade until they found this material. Mm -hmm. And we're about to offer you guys today a faceted 
jade art bangle. Now, a normal jade bangle takes about 10 hours to produce, right? It takes 10 hours of, of you know, laborious, time-consuming work, has under a 10% success rate. This takes about a day, I mean, literally uh, about 24 what, hours. per bangle? Per bangle, so about 24 hours. That's Obviously, they wouldn't do that in a day. It would take probably two days of work to produce one of these bangles. Wow. Because it takes 10 hours to just get the shape and then applying all these facets in yeah. this uniform nature and applying a very sp uh, special polish, a polish that we don't see on any other jade bangle, yeah. to produce this. And the light bounces off it, the way the light behaves, it, it looks like a black diamond bangle, which you know, you're know you never gonna see a wow. black diamond faceted bangle, one solid incredible diamond. Well, this is even rarer. Yeah, in fact, I'd never usually do this, but because we only have 75, I'm gonna do a, a talk about this incredible discovery, about what's happening. But before that, I'm actually gonna show you this because there is less than half of these available than we wanted. Take a look at this. This That's is 100% natural, type A. There's no uh, wax applied to the surface. There's no uh, uh, resin applied to it, even though the light is bouncing off yeah. these unique, incredible hand uh, faceted bangles. You can see it. It, it is that domino effect. Of Do you know, I can see why it takes so long, Dave, because, yeah. you know, just to actually draw or sketch mm -hmm. that mathematically yeah, exactly. precise and, and angles. It's a new skill set for the guys in uh, the Far East because they're used to just doing carvings. Yeah. This, you know, if you had a diamond, black diamond big enough, this in Antwerp, Mumbai, Surat, mm. you know, it, it's second nature to those guys. Mm. But this is on a gemstone that is harder than stainless steel. Yeah. They've got to carve a bangle for one, which is so challenging. And then to apply those uniformed, incredible, like you said, mathematical facets yeah. that tessellate together perfectly and allow the light to behave like this. Now, Many of you will know that black jade eye, it has become a real challenge. We talk about the Burmese mines being mined out in 2020 or de depleted or exhausted, however you want to refer to it. The uh, black jade eye was exhausted long before that, right? It's, it's a very small proportion of jade anyway. And as you know, it's not so much uh, black, it's 99% tone green. So it's mm. an oversaturation of green mm. that allows the jade eye to, to look black to the human eye. And it's because it's spent three times longer in the ground forming. So, uh, you know, at one point in its life cycle, when it was in the ground, it would have been a bright imperial green boulder. Yeah. And then the, the, the inky nature of the color, the chromium, seeped through it. And it's got more and more saturated, more and more saturated until it's turned black. Now, this material commands some of the biggest premiums, especially today in the market. And this is an article that I found about black jadeite. And they say it's a must for any serious collector. Mm. Jadeite collectors worldwide eagerly search for the elusive translucent black jadeite mm. as it's said that no serious jade collection is complete without this rare and fascinating jewel. Black jadeite of the translucent variety is perhaps the rarest colour of jade and instantly becomes the favourite among all who own it. Um, the problem with this material is it doesn't, it doesn't form in huge boulders. Yeah. So that's why we very rarely, if ever, see bangles. I mean, faceted bangles are on another level entirely. Sorry, uh, Ross, I don't know if the clicker is uh, not, thank you. Um, so they, it's known in Manma when it was first discovered as the shadow of the successful man. Oh, this is, trans yeah, but I love this. With a strong enough light source, you can see the hangover of its past, that wonderful imperial green. And they say that it's been known by many to bring wealth and prosperity to its owners. It's also referred to as mok choy or Mexican green in China. And this rare and mysterious stone has been shrouded in mystery uh, you know, since it was first commercially recognized during the 90s. So it's only been around since the 90s, this material. Wow. It had never been discovered before that. Gosh, with all those years yeah. of, of history. Yeah, thousands of years. In the 1990s, 1990s is when they started finding this material and when it was recognized. And they called it inky jade when it yeah. first hit Hong Kong. But it does form in some much smaller boulders like this. So you couldn't get a bangle out of that, no. as we know. Um, so bangles are very rarely attempted. Also, one, because of the, the waste, but two, because you just don't simply get the rough large enough. Even the GIA talks about the jade art omphacite uh, mixture, which is that fine crystallization. Mm -hmm. And they say the single rarest variety of jade art is mok choy jade. It was only discovered along a, a river in the Kachin Hills in the 1990s, and it's the only area it's ever been found, and it was mined out by 2010. Wow. Um, this is a special blend of jade eye. It mixes with uh, the, the rare mineral omphacite to create a super fine grain jade eye. When this is translucent, it's actually more valuable than imperial green jade eye. And the GIA literally had to redefine their jade eye terminology to encompass this ultra rare material.
Okay, they, they had to go right. You got jadeite, nephrite, but when you get the that ultra fine crystallization, much imperial jadeite, by the way, is a mix of omphacite within it as well. And and they they said omphacite. We know omphacite. We know jadeite, and they've been considered very easily separated with gemological standard testing. But this new material that was discovered in the 90s challenged that because it fused, it mixed together, and it allowed the jadeite to to be, to, to form atomically really really pure wow. so it wasn't so much a, a carving ornamental stone it was translucent it was incredible it had that unbelievable wet look finish and they're saying um the gia literally released this by the way this year all stones coming through the lab that appear to be jade are being tested uh, with the, the the raman methods as stated earlier much more data and research is into this issue is forthcoming and then they say at the moment we see three options it's the gia we either call these stones omphacite according to their mineralogical name. Two, we expand the gemological definition of jadeite to include the peroxide, which is omphacite. So they're saying this is now going to be kind of called jadeite. Or three, expand the term jade to encompass more minerals than just jadeite and nephrite because this is mixed. Predominantly, it will be 90% jadeite. By the way, we're not talking about the, the gem in the studio today. We're talking about the ultrafine omphacite jadeite. That yeah. they're talking about that's only ever been found in Burma. Yeah. Like, although you can find, well, you can't, but although you can find like, grey and, and kind of mottled black jadeite and have been able to find it in Guatemala, pure black, you know, the, the shadow of a successful man, the inky jade, that has only ever been recovered from one deposit along a river in the Kachin Hills. And it was only available for 15 years, 90s, okay. mined out by 2010, 20 years uh, at best. And I want to keep going through this, if I may. Sorry, Ross. Um, so now this material, because it's only ever been found in Burma, and we know Burma's done, they command huge premiums. $30,000. $30,000 for that piece. Um, this piece here, $12,000. Wow. And then you, we, I've shown this before, but I want you to understand what you're looking at. There's a reason that is 375,000 pounds. And it's about three inches. And it's an incredible bear catching a salmon, but you see the purity of the jade. Yeah. It's almost translucent. It can't do that without mixing with omphacite. No. You know, become pure transparent, uh, which is the top portion. Then you see that unique inky jade there. Then you see the host rock, and then it's on a silver stand as well. This is what jadeite usually looks like. And this is, we have found this material in Guatemala. We've sold it to you guys from Guatemala mm -hmm. as well. And it's, you know, uh, even, even the seller is being really up, up front there. They're saying, there's two certificates indicating that the jade beads are natural, untreated and unenhanced, but they shift from a greyish colour under strong light or sunlight to a black in normal light. So it's that grey black material. If you want pure, what we call omphacite black or piano key black, that's what you're looking at. Eight beads, two and a half thousand pounds, because it's that piano key yeah. black. This is me talking about essentially the crystallization of jade, which is what we call fue shue. You know, that, that material is when you get top water, you get the, the, the purest crystallization of jade. And usually that's reserved for your imperials, your yeah. lavenders, maybe sometimes your yellows. You don't usually get it with black jade. Out. Today you do. This is um, atomically as pure as it gets. If it wasn't as saturated as it was, it'd be practically transparent. Wow. Um, and you, you know that because of the way the light behaves on the surface. And then what kind of price point would that be? Well, yeah, exactly. We've never offered an omphacite jadeite. Bangle and and uh, in Guatemala, this new find sent the industry into like a tailspin mm. because all of a sudden the material they lost in 2010, they're finding, they're recovering in Guatemala, and they refer to it as that majestic imperial black. And if I could just borrow the clicker, sorry, Ross, I just want to show um, everyone again. This is what jade out from Guatemala. We talk about a contemporary view. They show the the kind of jade that was found there. This is when. By the way, the Chinese still looked at this material and said, yeah, it's inferior. You can see why. You're not getting imperial greens. The black has like pyrite in it. But then this happened. Um, this is from one of the mines. There's several mines along the, the, the Montague Valley. And they say majestic imperial jade. It's a new discovery. Iron oxide brings the dark green to black jade, chemically known as uh, chloromelanite, and it is found only in Guatemala. So whereas with the jadeite that was found in the 90s in Burma, was omphacite with jadeite, but it had a chromium responsible. Yeah. In Guatemala, it's iron that's responsible. Wow. And he's giving us a far finer polish. And this is what our good friend Bernard had to say about it. This new discovery of black jade in Guatemala is unique to this area, so you could never even find it in Burma. The color is caused by an oversaturation of iron, not chromium, and that's never been recovered from wow. Burma. 
They call it majestic imperial jade, and it's not possible to produce a bangle because the size is so small. Yeah. This jade out has the highest luster of any jade because of the such fine crystallization. It is commanding very high prices here in China because it's usually very small. Um, some prices per carat are just as high as imperial Burmese, but the overall price will never be in the millions because the size can't be found. So yeah. when it was first discovered, he's literally saying, yeah, yeah, I'm seeing cabochons, I'm seeing beads. And the price for those is in line with that of imperial Burmese jade eye. Mm -hmm. But it will never break world records because we're never getting big sizes. Mm -hmm. They even said at the, the first point that a bangle is not possible. And you can understand why when we placed an order for 200 when we were able to do it, we don't have 200 today. No, yeah. Because of the prices that they're paying for it and the prices that we agreed on it and signed off on and, and paid the deposit for, they said, look, we will send you a small amount of these. We can't offer you this because there is that new mine, the majestic Imperial Jade discovery from Guatemala or any jade from Guatemala for that matter that everyone's excited about. The IC jade that the GIA are writing about, the Omphocyte jade that the GIA are writing about all in the last six, eight weeks. None of it is forthcoming. None of it is, is available right now. It's in the market. Like there's, there's a, maybe a ton of material in China, but they're worried about replacing it. Because the reality is, as I said, there is no clarity on the situation. So if, they, if the government came out, the Guatemalan government came out and said, in two months you can resume mining, we'd yeah. have 200 here. Yeah. But the government is saying, we don't know. Like, first of all, it started as a, a, a tomb that we excavated. We found an ancient Olmec jade mask. We found, you know, old 2,000-year-old currency. We found all of this incredible mm -hmm. data, this history. But then as we've continued excavating, we found, um, you know, a settlement. Wow. Yeah, like a kingdom essentially. And they've got to keep going out and out and out in stages. And I, I'm not an archaeologist, I'm not a geologist, I don't know how long that takes. But there is a, a level of kind of nervousness in the industry. Of because course, we're like, yeah. We're, hold and on. it's history, so yeah. it's, it's not this is be the rushed. This is the last source. Yeah. Just to put it into context, um, I've just seen the impact that it has when a mine disappears, right? So I've just seen a red diamond sell for a world record mm -hmm. right on the weekend. Yeah. We've seen the same with pink diamonds. Why? Because the Argyle mine's gone, but Angola is still producing incredible colored diamonds. There are uh, amazing colored diamonds coming out of South Africa. There is still hundreds of, of diamond mines, millions of, of carats mined every year. It's just the, the major source for the color has, has disappeared, gone. right? Yeah. As it currently stands, there is no mining activity of jade iron. So imagine, think about the, the impact that, um, you know, uh, the, the Argonne mine had on the diamond industry. Imagine if they said all diamond mining is done. We can't find a single diamond. What would happen to price per carat? Can diamonds? you imagine? Yeah. Can you imagine? We've yeah. seen like a thousand percent increase in uh, 27 years on pink diamonds. Yeah. They've gone crazy. Yeah. And they keep going up. I mean, in the last. 13, no, sorry, the last 11 years, the price of fancy colored diamonds has doubled. Yeah. Doubled. I mean, a gentleman bought the red diamond that I saw sell. He bought it for $2 million in 2013, wow. and he just sold it for 4.2 million. Wow. 11 years, he's made $2.2 .2 million uh, on a 1.5 carat diamond. Wow. And uh, it was public auction. It's not like anecdotal, the information is out there. That's just one mine disappearing. Mm. There is literally not a single mine that is active right now for jadeite. And I've got, and thank you lucky stars, and as I said, this year you're going to see a real shortage of jade eye because we haven't been able to buy since February. We still have some orders coming in. And even if they say tomorrow, okay, stop placing orders again, it takes three months to come through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so not, it's this not year a, you are, you are actively going to see a shortage of jade eye on Jewelry Maker. And yet I have this bangle available for anyone who wants it today. Do you know, Dave, when you were saying earlier on as well, and, and, and I knew it took 10 hours. Yeah. Do you know what I didn't know? That to, to, to carve a bangle, and that's just a normal yeah, yeah, bangle, yeah. I didn't know less than 10% is successful. Yeah. So that's a huge risk yeah, so it's about, on something that's not coming from Yeah, the it's anywhere between 5 and 15%. So I say 10% as, yeah. as like straight down the middle. Yeah. But when, you're, when you have the addition of faceting, it's far lower. Yeah. So it's actually lower than 10% when you, uh, it's the same with um, intricate carvings when we have the dragon and the phoenix yeah, bangle. Yeah. So when we talk about the, the, the 5 to 15% success rate, that's with the standard cylindrical carved bangle. When you add in faceting or you know, external carving, you, you're Amazing. much f closer to 5%. The, there is 75 of these. It's the most limited jade out bangle I've ever it's offered. Incredible. It's the first time we've ever offered faceted. It's the first time I'm going to introduce you to the majestic imperial black. 
I'm going to give you a 30 second clock. I know there's going to be at least 200 people that want it. And I also know I only have 75. We're going to start the clock. Thank you very much, Adam. And uh, I just urge you, I'd encourage you to be as fast as you can on this auction. It's absolutely beautiful, Dave. Absolutely beautiful. I agree. Do you know, and, and, and let's let's be realist here that 75 is an amazing quantity. Yeah. You know, because this is an auction piece, isn't it? Oh, 100%. Have we ever seen anything that. like this before? No, I mean, faceted. That's type A, 100% natural. It's not heated or coated. It's not uh, dyed. It's not polymer impregnated. And, you know, jadeite actually doesn't look like that, usually. No. It Normal jadeite have doesn't have luster like that. No. We talk about the wet look, sure. We talk about, you know, crystallization. But this is to the nth degree, yeah. where, where it's crystallized so fine that it behaves like a black diamond. Yeah, this is the one to own for any collector today. Absolutely, totally agree. Like I said, there was a lot of interest um, among members of crew for when sure. we saw this for yeah. the first time. Because it, it, it's the first of its kind, I think. Uh, well, it is, it is. I mean, this was only discovered, first collected on the finance multi-board. Remember, I've only got hazel. 75. You have that wet look finish, but you have this most incredible luster you have faceting on this jadeite bangle oh big collectors securing yeah i mean we knew the, the first collectors that would be in that that's the way to do it and i appreciate you not hanging around today or not wasting time 10 percent of the stock's gone um this is what's going to happen with this rupal well done maxine well done hazel well done patricia well done um, royston well done congratulations we've got people within their baskets i'll tell you right now with the response we've had to this with how exciting this opportunity is baskets will miss out today yeah it's not even a case of we're not going to do that call where we go look check out your baskets make sure you check out baskets it's just checkout time yeah everyone don't, don't is wait. checking out just unbelievable dave yeah. phenomenal it, it, it is so we we don't have 100 we don't have 200 it is a very very limited opportunity and um i hope to have 200 of these but we don't we still haven't. amazing yeah to have we've got the about 50 we now we've okay. got about 50 now we had we started with 75 um welcome and, and good morning to everyone tuning in um over the moon that you are managing to get involved those of you that miss out i apologize i will strive next year if the minds are active to get another one of these for sure you know another commission i would love to bring this back offer you this opportunity again but for those of you that are acting today you're guaranteeing this in your family's heirloom collection. And I guess when the mine does reopen, Dave, yeah. maybe a trip to Guatemala? Oh, I'd love to, yeah. I mean, we, we, we need to go out right there. right now, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. We'd love to go out there. We'd love to see this legendary single locational gem now, which is what we can call Jada. It is single locational. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I cannot get over the fact, uh, the, the way the light is bouncing off the surface of this material. I never thought I'd see the day. Never expect that from Jada. That's insane. Right, I'll give you a 30 second clock. Well done guys. And the multi buyers, that's probably the smartest way to do it. You know it's gonna be a jewelry maker price, um, but you also know that this is it and it's going to be a very fast auction. It is, it really is. Again, that, that precision. Yeah. Every, there's no room for error with something like this. I Absolutely mean, to a certain not. degree, I'm no expert, but to a certain degree, I guess with the carving, you know, if you make a, I don't know, a wrong move it yeah. be corrected hundred percent in the artistry. but with this you know one facet is out of line it's going to kill the whole aesthetic of, of, and, of the piece. and you'll spot it won't you yeah. because of its simply i say it's the simplistic. way the light illuminates uh, each and every one of those facets yeah, and do you know what you can feel it as well jewelry mm -hmm. makers when i'm not literally rolling my wrist you can feel the yeah you can feel the quality of the facets oh my goodness me okay well done Congratulations. Let me start you off at ten thousand mm -hmm. pounds. It sounds crazy, but we're talking about a jadeite bangle. Yeah. We're talking about a jadeite bangle that, that the rest of the market hasn't really seen right now. And we're also talking about this new discovery, the majestic imperial, the black material that, that is faceted for the first time. The first time we're offering you a faceted jadeite, natural type A Guatemalan bangle. Well, I mean we look at we look at places like first dibs. Mm -hmm. You know, first dibs bring a fairly generic jade eye yeah, bangle yeah, yeah. for four figures and then yes. some. High four figures, yeah, if not absolutely. more. You know, if not more. But first dibs There's every time. There's nothing like this. Absolutely. And, and the same with, you know, incredible dealers like Mason and Kay. You're going to pay high four figures for, yeah. for jade eye bangles there. And that's because of the way they buy. You know, it will always say one of a kind or yeah. the last one. 
I've tried to get 200 of these. Yeah. You know, I'm buying a huge amount, you're practically directly from the mine. We're facilitating the carving and cutting of this material. We're taking a risk. And it, if when it works, we're able to do opportunities like this. We're at 10,000 pounds already. As I said, about a quarter of the stock has been allocated. Um, if, you, if, it, if you're showing interest in your baskets or on the phone lines, that is practically futile today. It is about, if you see it and you love it and you can afford it, at whichever point that is, just make sure you're checking it out. It Absolutely. is a ridiculously limited opportunity. Yeah. There's um, nothing like this, is there? No, absolutely nothing like this. I'm going to give you a 30-second clock again. Um, I want to look after everyone today. I want to do something special for you. I want to know that if, if this is to be the last Jade Out Bangle and one of the most important, if not the most important, then you've got it from us and you've got it for an incredible deal. When you go and get these insured, when you go and get these valued, when you mm. go and get these looked at by the jewelers that you trust and that you work with, and they say, oh my God, I've never seen a faceted bangle before. I've never seen Jade Out like this. Is it dyed? You know, is, is there some treatment to this? There's absolutely zero. It's all Mother Nature. Collector's just got three of these. I saw Hazel join yeah. us back again on the web and I was like, I wonder. You have to it's understand. It's insane, yeah. Hazel. When you're talking about three from a quantity like this, that's a massive amount. Yeah. You know, when people are multiplying twos and threes and we only have 75, this is why I said we cannot take into consideration. You know, sometimes we'll say we're over allocated. We're not going to do that today. I'm not taking into consideration the, the collectors that aren't checking out just because you're going to miss out. Mm. And I don't want to give you a false sense of security. So already we've got a whole host of you, a quarter of uh, the 75 that we had have been allocated. I know the swathes of you on the phone lines. I know it's filling up. I can see it in my peripheral vision over there, the, the queue. But this is your opportunity. Can we go straight down to two and a half thousand pounds? Straight down to two and a half thousand pounds. Fair, incredible price. It's more than fair, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes. You know, we've been, we've been, yeah, Ross is just saying in my ear, you know, what, two years ago? Yeah. When we first started mm -hmm. getting Guatemalan. Yes. Obviously, we didn't have anything quite like this. No. But a bangle mm -hmm. of this calibre, if you think back then, the rarity. Yeah. It would have been more than what's on your screens right oh, for now. For sure. I mean, right now, you're looking at this, um, I've sold bangles on our sister channel, intricately carved bangles yeah. on Gemporia for three and a half thousand pounds. I'm sure. And we are looking at something that we've never really been able to offer, never really been able to get quantity. It is a new source, an incredible location. It's showcasing a type of jadeite we have never really seen. That yeah. pure crystal black. And, and, and I'm saying crystal in the, in the sense that it's behaving like a diamond, yeah. like Swarovski like a lead-based glass, even though it's 100% natural jade. Yeah. This has to be the most exciting material out there. And I know a whole host of high jewelry masons like Cartier, mm -hmm. who love the black jade, are gonna be all over this. Yeah, but it's not coming One of the from reasons the we can't get 200. Mm. It's, um, this is probably a really crucial point in this presentation, in this offering, um, because it's, it's, it's now down to, there's hundreds of you tuned in, we know that. It's now down to you to decide, okay, is this the piece we want to own? What price are you happy with? And decide if you're going to trust us and make sure you're checking out. Because if you don't, there is a, a huge possibility that you miss out today. I will give you 30 seconds. Christine Wilden, you've just joined us. Patricia, you've just joined us. Middlesex, you've joined us. West Midlands Magazine, these are just people checking out. If you don't check out, we, we're gonna miss out. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. What an honour. And I said that at the beginning, Dave. It's an absolute honour to see something like yeah. this. Look at that. It's just going to constantly dance mm -hmm. with luster. For sure. Good luck, everyone. Five interest-free split payments. I mean, this is how seriously we take it. How, how we want to manage those payments to make it even more accessible to everyone. Straight from here, we're at two and a half thousand pounds. I think we can all agree we've never seen anything like no. it. No. Let's go straight down below a thousand pounds, let's go to 799. And it's not your price, it's nowhere near your price. In fact, this is gonna be in line with other jade uh, bangles here. Yes, yeah, so let's say we've maker. done That's we're a go. fairly generic, yes. I, I don't wanna describe any bangles no, no, no. generic, but I know you know what, you what mean. I mean. Mm -hmm. But one of our first bangles was yeah. 799, That's wasn't right. it? Yeah, and it should be, you know, uh, you'd be lucky to find anything 
um, below two, three thousand pounds, even for what we would consider uh, our average J yeah. bangles. You know, you, you don't find that material outside of the thousands. So we always know we're the best. We always know we're the lowest price is the best value. But this is on another level. The only caveat, the only problem, the only concern is the, the tiny quantity that we have for you today. Yeah. Remember, I've only got 75. That's ridiculously low. Tracy, you, get, you have to check out. Maker and Cumbria, you have to check out. Same to you, Judith. Someone trying to get to. Lynn, you're there in Ayrshire. This is your time to be converting over into owners of this, custodians of this material. Wow. Closer to the 5% is yes. actually successful in its actual uh, faceting. But again, the whole nature of how black jadeite forms. You saw it in the palm of people's hands there. That's why immediately when I heard that we had a black jadeite, Guatemalan jadeite bangle, that in itself, end of sentence, absolutely unbelievable. But then to actually have that methodical, that preci precise, mathematical, Almost like, you know, pattern across the surface of these. Absolutely astonishing. We've never, we have never had anything like this. And Dave, I guess it's a fairly obvious statement to say we probably will never have anything Yeah, like I mean, I, I want to be positive here. I want to say if, if the mines reopen and uh, this, uh, for, for some reason, becomes kind of affordable, if we can get another opportunity like this, which I doubt will be the case, but I hope, I promise you I'll bring more back because I should have had 200. And you know, if, if I can speak to the, the, the carver and say, when the mines are active again, could you at least give me the other 125? That would be amazing and I'd love to do that, but I can't guarantee it. There are no guarantees. We don't know what's happening. Um, I'm gonna give you a minute clock, 60 seconds. And I am gonna take hundreds and hundreds of pounds off this. It's gonna be a one snapshot deal. Um, anyone who misses out, we may never see the likes of this again. It's gonna be who's got it, who didn't get it. One special auction. Um, it's available for you today. It is a, a jadeite that behaves like a black diamond. It's 100% wow. natural. It's from a new mine. I've never seen jadeite be able to do this before. But it, it's the desirability of east and west, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, know? it's scintillating. But, yeah. I, I'm just gonna say this. You get the opportunity at this next price and we're gonna do a huge, huge uh, um, value deal for you. And then even if there's 10 left, if there's 15 left, I might just take them over to Gemporia today. Yeah. Uh, honestly, because this is one of those unique opportunities and I have a responsibility to all our collectors. I don't just work here at Jewelry Maker, I work across the whole partnership and I love that. We do have to share you. Yeah, no, and we have to share the, the opportunities. Of you know, that's the reality. We get, we get wonderful opportunities as a result of Gemporia and Gemporia Absolutely. gets wonderful opportunities as a result of, um, of Jewelry Maker. But I'm giving you first refusal. I'm not holding any back. This isn't an artificial quantity. It's not like we did order 200 and I've said, right, Al, you're 75 to Jewelry Maker customers, 125 next door. I'm saying this is everything that was delivered, everything we have. I've told you why. I'm at 799. I think, for me, I'm happy there. Yeah. And what I mean by that is I could go home, what a maker you've bought, you and I could go to bed tonight knowing that I'm proud of the, the incredible deals that I've done for everyone. 100%. But I'm governed by a very strict set of rules, really. And, and the rules are uh, arbitrary rules that were just put in place when this company formed. And it's like, we, we pay a price for something we put a tiny margin on. You know yeah. that, I know that. That's holy you know, sauce. Even if I would like to make more money right now. Right, let's just be honest. If, even if I would like to make more money right now and go, do you know what? This is an incredible deal. We're better than anyone else. You cannot find a better deal on a type A black jade at Bangle. Fact. In fact, I think you, you'd struggle to find a better deal even if you put a zero on the end. True. Right, seven, eight thousand pounds. And yet, I am going to take this lower. And not just a little bit, I'm not just gonna go, hi guys, free poster packaging today, we're gonna put that on for you. I'm not doing that. I'm not even gonna say, do you know what? I'll take 40, 50 pounds off so you can go and get a second opinion from Ankerset and that will cover the cost of the, the certificate, which would yeah. be amazing. Imagine if I said that, imagine if I said, do you know what guys, you get this and I know for 25p you can get a certificate. You know, I can take 50 pounds off you right now and with that 50 pounds, go and get this certified by the Ankerset Gem Lab. That yeah. would be amazing. Yeah. I'm not even gonna do that. Your deal right now, this is how good it's gonna get. I hope you've made your mind up. I see a lot of multi-buyers. And, and let me just say this as well. If you've multi-bought, because there's several of you that have done that, and I'm over the moon for you. I've heard just from Hazel who's getting them for her granddaughter. There's lots of others of you that maybe are getting them for yourselves. Maybe you're gonna stack them up, or maybe you're giving them to loved ones. If at this next price, our final price, you think, actually, I don't want three, um, like uh, Northumberland, I might just want two. Please drop it out in this auction, because this, it's all gonna go today. 
you know, if, yeah, if you already know, if you already know at this point that you you want to get three home, but you're only going to keep two, I would ask you, um, just just for the benefit of your your peers, for for the, the the collectors that are trying to get involved right now, if you have got, if you want to keep three, amazing. But if you're thinking I only want really two, but I'll I'll just get three home, um, then just drop it out today. They're all amazing. because there is so many collectors that oh they're all of the same caliber. Your deal today, four nine nine Ross, four nine nine on the majestic imperial black jadeite bangle, a hundred percent natural Taipei from one of the most talked about discoveries out of Guatemala. The material, by the way, that when it first first very first made its way to China, they were saying. It's being traded at the same price of Imperial Green yeah, Burmese, Stanley but it will never beat the final price because you don't get pieces big enough. How about this? How about 250 carats in a bangle? 499. Joanne, you can do it. Julie, you can do it. Makey, you can do wow. it. Cumbria, you can do it. Judith, you can do it. Ayrshire, you can do it. Alan's got it. Tracy's got it. Hampshire's got three. Hazel's there. Maker in Cambridge is there. Maker's got two. Christine in Tyne and Weir. Hampshire, you're there. Rupal, you're there. Maxine in West Midlands. California, you've multi bought. Well done. This is the opportunity, the only opportunity, and it's here right now. Yeah. And I, I wish I had 200. It would have. It would. We would be facing the same prospect of selling out. Yeah, I mean, when you 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 speak to the likes of Bernard, you yes. speak to the likes of Stanley. Chu, I speak to all, Jeff Mason yeah. of Mason and K. They're all on board, yes. aren't they, with what you do, Dave, in, in terms of bringing it, the, making the most yep. um, desirable gemstones, mm -hmm. valuable gemstones, and bring them at an affordable, uh, an affordable price. However, they must be right on, still guys. thinking that's crazy. Oh, that is sure. actually crazy. For the sure. mine is closed. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Stanley Chu's ever sold a piece of jade outside of five figures. No. Right, and, and uh, he's, he sells bangles for a million dollars. Yeah. And we're here right now going 499, black and jade. What the hell are we doing? Yeah, what are exactly. we doing? This is a, a unique opportunity. And do you know what? I'm going to do something special for everyone today. Oh. I already have, I agree. I think this is amazing. But I've only got 75. And so many of you have multi bought, and there's so many of you still uh, to check out. I'm going to give you 30 seconds, and I'm going to go even lower, miles lower. Let's just do it today. Your your legacy deal. It's if you've got one, come back in and get two. If you've got two, get three. I'm going considerably lower. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. It would have been wonderful to be able to sit here and say, yeah, they came back with 200 of them. We know the situation. We're always very vocal um, about situations of mines. Um, this one, it's not it's not deplete. However, we don't know the future. We don't know if it's going to operations are going to start up again yeah and even if they do or in a year there, there might be very different pricing in place and there probably should be let's be honest yeah um 499 is already too low can i can i just say this is the only time you're going to see this opportunity okay straight down ross take 100 pounds off i'm giving it to you today for 399 i my toes are curling at that price it, it is far too low i get that but I want to look after the multi buyers. I want to make it a little bit easier. Yeah, We've still got five interest free split payments on this. Yeah, exactly. That's absolutely incredible. Hazel um, get, uh, loved it so much, buying it for her daughter and her granddaughter. I mean, yeah. how incredible. It's amazing. The reality is, Hazel, though, you're getting those three for less than the price one should be. Oh, 100%. And then some. Yeah. As you said earlier on, Dave, you know, £7,990. Yeah. Be out, I just be... want to see what this interest, £79.80 on your interest yeah, free spend today. I, I, I don't think I've ever been part of an auction like this before. The, the best bangle, I've got to say, I think we've ever bought to you. Uh, do you know, you've just taken the words right out of my mouth. This is my favourite bangle we've ever and done. And certainly now we've made it one of the most affordable. Yeah. You know, Maxine's got that. two, Hazel's got three, Maker's got two, California's got two, I've got Hilmer in London, I've got Maker in Swansea, Maxine, you're coming in for another one, Zara, you're there, Joanne in Norfolk, Julie, you're there trying to get three, Maker in Cumbria is there, Lancashire is there, Lynn in Ayrshire is there. It, it I mean, is, if you get through, and I know it's hard to, to say that because it is very busy, please use our web and our app, that's what they're there for, but if you are queuing and you get through, just say, give me two of these. Yeah. If there is availability, make sure you're getting two. Dorothy, you've just got it. Uh, Hilmer in London, you've just got it. It's amazing. Maker in Cumbria, you've just got it. Wow. I mean, this is like, I, I can imagine this in somewhere like Cartier. Oh, uh, my for God. For the tens for of sure. thousands of well, pounds. Well, Cartier do be. offer black jade. Yeah. But they're yet to offer fasted black jade. Yeah. Yeah, and I have to tell you that like we did a close-up on one of their um, black jade rings. Can you remember, yeah. Ross? It's like £32,000. Yeah. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong. Half mm. of the jade is covered in diamonds. Yes. Like parve diamonds. 
but it's really pity. But did you see that guy? It's not really um, polished very well. Did you see the guy in South America who managed to buy two pairs of earrings from Cartier? Okay. Um, and they'd priced them wrong, and he got them for twenty-two pounds, and they sell uh, in individually at fifteen thousand pounds. And Cartier tried to get out well, on their website. Yeah, yeah. So it was an error, and he was like, "Oh my God!" So he bought both of them, and. Um, Basically, it was just on the news, like Daily Mail, ITV, everywhere. Really? Yeah, this is like in the last few weeks. And Hartier tried to get out of it. Yeah. And he had to like go through the, I don't know, the ombudsman or through through the courts or whatever. And Cartier honoured it. And um, there was like a screenshot of the price. And he'd already paid for it. We're doing that now. And we're, we're not trying to get out of it. But knowing you we're, so. we're actively doing it. <laughs> that people would, I can see people multibunking. And they've made a mistake. Dave don't know what he's talking about. I'll get three of these. I've got two of these. No, no. We're not going to We're not gonna try and not honour this. Uh, no. I'm saying to you, we are actively taking this too low. <laughs> I can't replace it. It is already irreplaceable to anyone because the mine isn't active. Whatever material, and there is material in China. They're saying to me, We've got it, but we don't want to supply it because we can't replace it. And yeah, we're only supplying it. Right now, there's a very different market value for this material. It might be temporary, it might not be. But right now, the, pr the premiums being paid for this level of material are sky high. Mm. Because the, 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 the fact is, it cannot be replaced as things currently stand. Well, no. Like, you don't find... Oh, do you? Do you find black uh, Kotan? Uh, no. You don't find black coat. You can find black nephrite, but it's from one location in, in southeast China. Okay. And uh, it, they've stopped mining that as well. There was actually a government oh, really? ban on mining it. So, of course, we can't get it from Burma. So, really, no. this is the only location then? Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. And that's not in operation. One minute clock, please. I'm going to do, not to close it out. Huh? I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to it do something. It is crazy already. You've just actually said, look, no, no, we're, we're gonna knowingly do This is going to be sensational. Well, let's just do it. Let's, you know, we're, we're making that statement that we know it's too low. Let's just give it a, a crazy send off, a sensational deal. JG, uh, uh, J I called you Jade. Jade yeah, I'll take that. Dave, <laughs> Dave, you've seen, mm -hmm. you know, Jade all around the world. I have. Genuine question, mm -hmm. have you ever seen anything like this? No, I mean, this is why we're so... Look at the response on the front lines. I don't think any of us have. And there's collectors here that have been on the front lines that have been in the jade industry for decades. Absolutely. Yeah, we've got California, we've got uh, collectors in, in uh, all over the world, but Caroline in Greater Manchester is a, someone who's been collecting jade for 50 years. Mm -hmm. Gigi in California will tell you that she's got a jade dealer in San Francisco that buys their inventory from us here at Jewelry Maker. And you're on the phone lines right now. Five interest free split families. I want you to remember that. Good luck. It's stunning. I'll be joining you on this, stop permitting. Am I allowed? I haven't If you're quick enough. Yet. Oh my god, I'm not I don't make the rules. Uh, straight down, take a hundred pounds off <gasps> Ross. Let's let's give everyone a crazy cra everyone who's already got it and multi bought. For instance, even from this price, Maxine, we've just put what? Uh, 200 pounds back in your account same to you julie hazel put 300 pounds back in yours yeah uh, we've put 600 pounds back from where we should have been that's how crazy this showcase has got be a part of it 799 sure i thought was awesome dave yeah, i agree 799 which we have done but here never mind comparing outside these four walls here we have brought you a guatemalan jadeite bangle in the past without a single facet um, yeah, it's a whole £500 lower. If you remember, the first ever Guatemalan bangle that was launched on Jewelry Maker on Christmas Day was 7 dollars And that's absolutely incredible. Pro oh, it's it's stunning. I, I will go as far as saying, and I've, I'm fortunate to actually be, uh, to have seen some of, a multitude of, uh, of Dave's amazing jadeite. However, this is my favourite bangle of all time. It's classic, it's timeless. It's, it's breathtaking, isn't it? Again, in that, what might come across as actually simple in that fasting is probably some of the most complex, I should imagine, because there is not a single millimeter room for error. Um, good luck, everyone. What a piece, Dave. It's my favorite of all time, I think. Well, I mean, you're not alone. Um, look how many multibars we've got. As I said, we've got West Midlands, you've got two. Swansea's got two. Julie's got two. Hazel's got three. Florence, you're there. Patricia, you're there. Gigi from California, you're there. Maker in Cumbria. Um, we've got... Um, how many have we got? 20 left, 20 chances remaining. Okay. So that means 55 of you have already got this. There is 20 very limited opportunities that remain. And you can do it, Florence, you can do it, Joanne, Julie, Maker in Cumbria, Judith in uh, Lancashire, Lynn in Ayrshire. 16 chances now. We, we are doing everything we can, everything in our power. 80. Yeah, it's just it's wild. It's ridiculous, isn't yeah. it? It, it really is, is actually ridiculous.
Catherine, great to see you this morning. Maker in Hertfordshire, great to see you. Um, this opportunity is open to everyone. You know how to get involved. You can yeah. use the app, the website, the, the free phone number. You're getting 250 carats of that majestic black faceted, which is insane. You yeah. know, diamond-like luster, oh, jade It's incredible. Bangle. It's incredible. We're actually over allocated. Okay, let's do a minute clock baskets. to close it out. Minute clock to close it out. Then I'm going to bring you one more crazy deal. Okay. But for the last 12, I'll give, I'll give you 60 seconds to check this out at this ludicrous price. Good luck, everyone. It's absolutely breathtaking. Can you yeah. imagine this as well in natural sunlight too? Oh my God, you wait. Each of those you just facets. wait until you see it. Oh. It'll be dancing on the wrist. You know, it's gonna draw a lot of attention with that subtle but um, impactful statement. Yeah. This is, and this is so globally exciting mm -hmm. as well. It's yeah. new to the, to the yes. East, of course, this, this sure. style. For us, it's you know it's our style, but it's with a gemstone we've not really been privy yeah. to. It really is recently. that, that um, east to west. Yeah, yeah, you know, fusion. Love it. I absolutely Seven left. love it. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. There's so Tanya, many. Tanya, you're there. Donna, you're there. Maker in Surrey, another maker in England. Doesn't narrow it down, but you're there. Maker in Hertfordshire and in East Sussex. Florence in Shrewsbury, Norfolk. You're trying to get three. Uh, we've only got six chances remaining. You're going to, have to take half the stock if you get through on the phone lines. Yeah, exactly. Four left. Oh my goodness! If not, wish list it. Yeah, wish list. Definitely. Well done. Congratulations. Wish list it. What an auction. And we went way too low, but you know, uh, sometimes we do that. Uh, look how many, look how busy it makes it. It's incredible. Now I've got one final auction for you. How would you like majestic imperial black rounds, 10 mil? They're insane. They're huge. Um, again, you're going to see that purity, that incredible crystal, that wet look. No, but this is like 100 oh, carats larger. Oh my goodness. And we've me. already messed up by going so low on the bangle. How many of these do we have, Ross? <gasps> yeah, you can take a look at this. There's this is the ultimate. 23. Let me bring this live. 23 chances, 10 mil rounds. A hundred carats larger than the bangle. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Um, 20 of these now. Well done. Let's go with the grey, yeah. Oh, Swansea, you're goodness. in. Congratulations. Lancashire, you're there. California, I can see you there hovering. We, we've got 20 chances now. It's as good as it gets. It's as big as it gets. It's a massive carat weight, and you already know what, what show this is. How low we've been. Middlesex, Rupal, you're there. Imagine the incredible jewelry you can make. This Swansea, you're there as well. Uh, look, I'm, I'm, this is my final deal with you. I always tell you, oh, I like to go out with a bang. I always like to tell you that I want to do crazy deals for you. Well, I have to every time. I put myself in a corner Water now. Of the stock's gone. Yeah. Do you know there's something, a thought in my head, Dave, right go now? On. You know that Cartier ring that I was telling you about? Yes. I don't know if you can find that to show Dave. It's literally basically half of one of these. Yeah. Because it's I, I know, it's a cabochon, yeah. Yeah. It's and a, it's matte, yeah. quite matte. Look, these it's are like... quite probably nephrite. I know reckon? Cartier work a lot with nephrite. Um, this is, this is jade, even more valuable, even rarer. And this is from a new source, a new find, and I've never seen. There you go. Um, it's lovely, don't get me wrong. Mm, it's stunning. Oh, 35, not 32. 35,000. But these are far. Yeah, that's you can see it, the pitting, about. yeah. Okay. I, oh, wow. Let me, let me show how crazy my final deal is going to get. Let's match the price of the bangle, which wasn't 499, 399. It was 299 we went to. Did we actually end up? We there? did. We ended up at 299. This is over 100. Okay. Well, it's just under 100 carats larger in 10 mil rounds. Extraordinarily wasteful. What do we always say? We say, and we know it, we've all been educated. But actually, the price of a strand is actually higher than that of that of a bangle. True. Right? Because of the amount of waste. And matching, I guess. Yes, the matching, the amount of material we've had to go through to create something like this. Um, this is my final deal. Let me tell you something. I'm going to ask you, for all of you that are there, if you want this look, I'm going to ask you to trust me right now. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to place your trust in me or miss out because I am going to destroy the price. This is an epic deal. I think we'll all agree. Hampshire's got two. Swansea's got two. Merseyside's there. Middlesex is there. Greater London's there. California's there. Lancaster's there. Herefordshire. Hertfordshire. We've got 20 seconds before I do this crazy deal. Oh, good luck, everyone. This is the most liquid black jade yes. I've ever seen. That's a great term. Yeah, it is. It's like it's like an oil slick. Yeah. You know. It doesn't look like a like a solid gemstone. It literally looks like a fluid. It's that mm -hmm. it's that lustrous. 
Oh, Dave, that's incredible. Oh my God, at the neckline it comes to life. Uh, Zara, you're there, Arthur, you're there, Maxine, you're there. Half the price, Ross. Just, just for the final few opportunities, we're gonna go to 149. It is my final deal. Always like to go out with a banger. Now, Elle has the most incredible show. There's an amazing masterclass coming up, but you have 10 chances on 340 carats of that Imperial Black Jade right now with the, the most, the, the largest sizes. Six chances remaining. 50% of the purchases have multi bought yeah, on this. Yeah, doesn't surprise me. Oh, can you imagine knotting two 38 mm. centimetre strands? Oh my God, yeah. So you've got, what, just under 80 centimetres. Mm -hmm. um, probably more with the Imagine knots. this interspersed with... Yeah, for sure, but imagine interspersing this with pearls. Oh, those pearls we had on previously. Yes. Those, like, blue, 100%. white pearls. Oh my goodness Swansea's me. got three, Hampshire's got two, Zara's got it, Maxine's got it, Cumbria's got it, Dorothy's got it, Rupal, you've got it, Surrey, you're there, Julie, you're there, Pat, you're there, Arthur, you're there, Paul, you're there, Maker, you're there. Four chances remaining. Good luck. £49.66. Yeah. Um, I'm Julie, you've I'm, got it. Well done. I'm actually kind of hoping this doesn't sell out, Dave. Yeah, well, you can hope. You can hope. Um, <laughs> I'll be positive. Well, you can be. I'm going to be positive. Yeah. Because, I, look... In the break, hopefully I can jump on them. Yeah, I'll tell you now, you're too late. I don't want to. Uh. I don't want to give you that false sense you of security. In the bubble. I, I don't want you to get too excited, and then you're going to be gutted. I'm just telling you, just <laughs> expect uh, the the reality oh. that this will be sold out. There is two chances left. Christine, you're there. Surrey, you're there. Lancaster, you're there. Highlands, you're there. Uh, California, you're there again. Hertfordshire, you're there. Maker, you can do it. Two oh, chances Dave, remain. Dave, as always. Just wow. Yes, Christine, you've got it. Well done. Wow, wow, wow. There is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. Um, you've still got, we've left that one with you, so do stay where you good are. Um, and good luck to each and every single one of you. Now, it's not just that, because mm -hmm. we have got two more oh, yeah, Guatemalan absolutely. black jade strands. Um, Dave, I've set the tone, you. though, so you can imagine how amazing these deals are going to be. Thank you so much, Elle. Um, I'll be seeing you all very, very soon but you can't go anywhere. It gets better and better throughout this show. Oh, it's always such a pleasure, isn't it? To have Dave in the studio, especially when he brings you beautiful spoils like that. Well done, everybody. Two final strands to bring you from the mine that is closed. It's not deplete, but closed. We don't know when or if it is going to reopen. We have 115 carats of beautiful rondelles. This is love, linear smoothness, an amazing. Do you know? Do you know for me, I'm. A, I'd wear the rounds if I was going to make for my husband. Then I would go for something like this. <gasps> That's gorgeous, isn't it? And it's all totally natural. I have forty of the rondelles to bring you. We're going to pop it on pre-order right now. So you've got two minutes on pre-order. The other, immediately after, and there's only two, only two, I have 30 of, in one of your most popular sizes, hang on, oops, the classic four mil round. I have 30 of these available. It's on pre-order right now, so you can get this during the next auction. So rondelles first, four mil rounds next. Yeah, do you know, I've always thought that about um, about black jadeite, but not all black jadeite, because that's a little bit too much of a general statement. The best quality, you know, if there was like a, if jadeite was a liquid that you could physically pour, it would look like this, wouldn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's that. Squid ink, yeah. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Are we ready? They're on pre-order. We're gonna do the rondelles first. I love this strand. Dave's just sent you a note as, you, as he left, yeah. Is he writing your notes? I'll show you. He's approved under 100 pounds on both. 
for something that's physically closed, even if it wasn't as exceedingly rare, you know that these are going to sell out. One minute clock and then your graphics will appear on your screens. I want to join you on this so bad. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. There's something so appealing about the rondelle. It's, it, it, I don't know, it's quite modern, I think, as well. You've got this wonderful fluid linen-like uh, um, design. You have to have, of course, the finest, that consistency, because remember, reference back to, to what Stanley Chu said, you know, there is only one thing more valuable than a, uh, than a bangle, and that is a matte strand. You can have a strand if it's not matched, then obviously it's not as valuable. But look at how beautifully polished, cut, and matched each and every single one of these rondelles are. So on the back of Dave's amazing faceted bangle, the first of its kind to our knowledge, I have two strands of type A Guatemalan black jadeite. It's rare. If you're thinking you haven't seen it before, no, quite possibly not, because it's incredibly rare. It forms in far, far smaller sizes, takes three times longer. Look at that. That's, that's perfect, isn't it? Perfection in a black jadeite strand. Already, Hazel, Rupal, Swansea, well done. Regular jade collectors who know probably far more than I do. Now, remember what Dave said on that little, little... Little notes that he said, under 100 on both. I think that's a D for Dave, I think. Under 100 pounds on both. First price crap. <gasps> £99 and 99 pence. For 115 carats of beautiful type A black jade out rondelles, I love the shape. I absolutely adore it. We're going even lower though, jewellery makers. Remind me, sorry, 40 did you say we have available? Started with 40, but I don't think there's people just going to be getting the one strand. I think there's going to be people who are going to think, oh, okay, well, if it's under 100 and you're going even lower, I might get two. I might get the two. An amazing opportunity to source one of the world's rarest gemstones. But even more than that, yes, it's available. It's not deplete, but it's not being mined. He didn't approve that, though, did he? Or did he? He did. Unbelievable. First come, first serve. He's got the Friday feels. That's what it is. Hazel's up to a quantity. Well done, lovely. I've got Pat, Patricia, Fiona, Kent, Mary, Swansea and Susan. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Look at that. Just so linear and perfect. It's a gorgeous tactile piece. Or would you incorporate it alongside the 10 mil? Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Definitely worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity. Out of the 40 that we had, I've got 16 left. In fact, I've got less than that, haven't I? Oh, from the 40, I beg your pardon. Um, hello, Maker. Hello to you, Pat. Hello to Pat Patricia, Kent. Uh, Derbyshire's there. Hello to you, Edinburgh. New customers getting involved. You can do it, but you need to be quite quick. Already the final, what, 20%? Probably less than that. Uh, seven of them left out of uh, out of the 40 that we opened this auction with. Again, the only Rondell strand that we actually have available for you, jewelry makers, and, uh, and the penultimate of this location. We cannot replace it. That's the thing. That's why Dave goes to the lengths that he does um, to obviously communicate with the beautiful, uh, with our amazing suppliers, the likes of Bernard and Stanley Chu. It is irreplaceable. For us to, they won't, they've got rough in china but they won't sell it they won't sell it because they don't know when it'll all start up again now we know don't we jewelry makers that the four mil round has become the new six it's your most popular size and i will also tell you that this is your finale for the guatemalan black jadeite we don't have any more 
This is the most limited of the entire showcase. I have 30. Six have already gone on pre-order, I'm not surprised. Again, certified, totally and utterly natural. Anywhere else, outside of these four walls, anywhere else outside of our wonderful little bubble, would not bring you a gemstone that unknowingly say, would not knowingly bring you a gemstone with in the bank, oh yeah, no, the, yeah, the, it, it's, it's very limited. It's far, far, far more limited than any other jade mine, which by the way, jade eye is now a single source gemstone. Um, and then go, oh yeah, but it's not been mined at the moment because, you know, obviously Mayan mask, of, in, uh, archaeologists have uncovered not just the mask, but whole tomb. So they don't know when that operation is going to be um, back up and running. It might be tomorrow. It might be three years, four years, a decade. Who knows? If at all. We don't know. This is irreplaceable as we, as we talk. The most limited of the entire acquisition and we have authority to take this under £100, which is precisely what's on your screen. But to close out a showcase on your favourite size of rounds, one that you can do so much with, can't you? <clears throat> Hang on, what did you say, Russ? Next. There's only 30 available, but if we are doing this, we need them to sell out. Okay, 30 seconds on your screens. If you are a collector of, of the world's rarest gemstones, jade absolutely is already on your radar. That goes without saying. Guatemalan jade was only rediscovered in the 1980s, but this is the rarest of the rare from that location itself. From that location itself. You've got to remember, you don't get imperial from Guatemala, do you? This was once an imperial green that has transitioned over that colour over a course of millions of years, if that makes sense. Kent, Swansea, Julie, Zara, new customers, multi-buyers, our finale of your Guatemalan black jade out. Again, cast your mind back to when we first introduced Guatemalan jade to our screens. You used to get little pots, the little plastic pots, and you'd have maybe four or five in there. Individual round gemstones or, or, or columns or something like that. You cast your mind back. So never mind comparing outside these four walls. When we first introduced Guatemalan jade, they were in little pots, weren't they? Obviously, our buying power has has grown obviously we have got uh, better relations now or we've built relations now so we were able to actually purchase at greater quantity that being said we cannot right now we can't do it right now oh my goodness me 49 pounds and 99 pence Kimberly, Catherine, Zara, Kent, Swansea, multi-buying, Fiona and Julie. I've got new customers. I have just been handed it out of my peripheral vision. I've just seen lovely Lauren put something on the tea bar before me. And I was like, oh my goodness me. Um, there is no more Guatemalan jade. That's it from that location. But I will bring you one strand of black jadeite. Which is gone. The mine is gone. 800 years done. Done. Because you're... I mean, as if this isn't an excuse. Because we haven't got 6 millimeter Guatemalan, we're going to bring you from the depleted location of Burma a special prize. This, this strand. I'd sit down if I was you. How many? There's 40. I'd sit yourself down. If you got the bangle... It doesn't matter about location. If you've got the cut, if you got the fasted bangle, you need this next opportunity. You'll see what I mean in a second. And we're going to do something extra special. Can you see that? If you got the bangle, you need this. Because these are faceted six millimeter rounds. Irreplaceable. The mine is closed. We launched it last year. In fact, almost a year ago. And it hasn't, sorry, been on air since. 
See what I mean? You need the two together, don't you? You need them. The first price crash. Oh my goodness. That strand's gorgeous, isn't it? Mesmerising. I'd put these with those pearls we had at the beginning of last hour. Mm. Or at the end of the last hour, I can't remember when. For straight away, multi-buyers on this. I've got 40 available, I don't blame you. We are gonna do something extra, extra special. It's a, di a different location. This is not Guatemalan, it's Burmese. But Top Jade is Top Jade. Remember those words from Stanley Chu? We're gonna do an extra special price for you, jewelry makers. I agree, Ross is just saying, of all the colors of jade, I, I think black uh, suits the facets the most. Yeah, that makes sense. It does add that extra mystery about it, doesn't it? Here's your should be. Really? Should it? But because, this is our excuse, because we have no more Guatemalan, we'll bring you the six million out of the Burmese location. Today, we're gonna half that price, just for today. If you see this again, I doubt you will. Please, please, please do not expect it to be anywhere near the price that we are bringing it to you today for. All that beautiful faceting, all that amazing light performance. If you want it, if you love this, if you got two, get four. Do you see what I mean? We're, anyway. We've halved that price. I can't, I can't say buy one, get one free on one of the world's rarest gemstones, but that's precisely what we're doing. 40 of them were available, but I've said it out loud. We're halving that price today. The dance of luster, that mathematic precision that is implemented to every single six millimeter round. And you've got to remember, it, it, faceting a bangle or a, or a round, whichever it might be, it's cutting carrot weight away. So I do get, I do understand why initially um, the suppliers were kind of adverse to actually doing this. Same as carving, I suppose, but there is not a single millimeter room for error in something like this. Crazy. That's, that's, that's probably one of the maddest deals we've done because it is Burmese, Jade. It is already gone. You know, it is already mined out. 800 years history done done and even if this was type b grade if it was type c if it was treated in some way shape or form it's not it's it's still type a grade it is madness that we're doing this absolute madness the reality is black burmy or black jadeite is rarer than any black diamond and that's that's a far lower price than what we would bring a black diamond strand for far 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 lower it's significantly rarer than black diamonds rupal kevin tanya jeanette wendy catherine swansea joanne maker julie jean kent you're there as well incredible absolutely incredible good luck everyone i only had 40 available opportunities though over half the stock has gone already just amazing and the rarest well, deplete now location. I didn't realize that until Dave actually said, this is actually a single source gem now. I assume that jadeite was found in a few other locations, but no, jadeite is a single source. Only Guatemala now is actually, has, has availability, but the mine's closed. While the Guatemalan government obviously explore the history of these uh, um, amazing the Mayan people. Well done, everybody. Margaret, Julie, Cumbria, you've got yours. Jean, Elizabeth in Belfast, June in Wiltshire, Karen in Hampshire. New customers, make sure you're checking out everybody. We could possibly sell out of that today. I'm not surprised at all. We've still got so much to bring you. Um, a, the master healer, of course, your beautiful clear quartz in a little mini showcase. And we have got a tool coming up with our gorgeous Charlie. Um, so if you are thinking of dipping your little toe into the world of silver smithing or metal smithing, um, then you've got the perfect person here in the studio. So do not go anywhere for your masterclass. Uh, make sure you check out your baskets. We'll be back after this. <laughs>
would you like to be part of an unofficial world record attempt and amongst the largest number of people making jewellery at one time? On Friday the 31st of May at 10am, Jewellery Maker will be holding the world's biggest make-along where over Zoom you can join fellow jewellery makers of all abilities as we attempt to break a world record. Whether you've never made jewellery before or it's your favourite hobby, you can join us. All you have to do is sign up via the link below. We will send you an email with the Zoom link to join us near the time. Go to www.jewellerymaker.com for inspiration and of course, how to sign up. See you on the 31st of May for the world's biggest make-along. Here at Jewellery Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you're all well and having a good week despite the dreadful weather we've been having. I'm here to tell you about my next show which is this Saturday the 25th of May. I'm going to be joining the lovely Elle, Ross and the team and I'm here to tell you about my two project hours. In the nine o'clock hour I have been really spoiled. I've been given a bundle of 12 strands of birthstone gemstones. Ruby, Sapphire, Tanzanite, Amethyst, My Stone, even Moonstone, which I've not seen for quite a while. Beautiful, beautiful bundle in the nine o'clock hour. And then at 12 o'clock, many of you may have seen my video that I posted at the beginning of the week regarding my 12 o'clock gemstone. Wow. Avocado, Alashan, Agate. The most beautiful, sublime pastel green I think I have ever seen. We've got two project kits, both containing sterling silver spacer beads. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm really, really excited to share this with you. And also in the 12 o'clock hour, we've got something for you gents. That's all I'm going to say. So that's this Saturday, 25th of May. Join myself, Eleanor and the crew. I cannot wait to share this with you. everybody <sighs> told you it was a nice Friday oh it's a great day it's a it's great a good day. day isn't it it's it always is. a good day here to be fair it is but to yeah. be fair and time goes so fast yeah it does disappear yeah. I looked at the clock and I said my gosh it's 25 past 11 already yeah where does it go because I told you I told we said it in the beginning of the show didn't we that they can say there I don't know you could say about this team useless <laughs> <laughs> Non-productive. <laughs> Definitely can't say we don't have a laugh. We have a laugh. No, I hope that I generally hope they don't say that about us. <laughs> I, know, I don't think <laughs> they do. Totally not. <laughs> anyway, we've still got so much to squeeze in between now and the top of the hour. Not top of this hour, the show, because we've got your beautiful clear courts coming up, and then an amazing masterclass, of course, with our gorgeous Charlie. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm 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 mesmerised by that quartz right there. This Never one? mind the metal smithing stuff. Yes. The one okay. I'm going to start with, yeah. actually. Oh, hey. I know. Oh, so 
in the world of Charlie, bigger is better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> more is more. <laughs> more is definitely more. Um, Charlie wants the big spark. I like the big ones. Shall we um, enjoy, you know, what is quartz? I mean, because quartz, I think, is one of those gemstones which is quite frequently misinterpreted. And let me just explain what that basically means is what I mean by that statement. We know that quartz is, of course, of, of the earth. However, there is some quite big differences when we're describing quartz. I want to show you how this gemstone firstly, uh, firstly forms. You know, these really wonderful prismatic-like uh, uh, um, sculptures that, can we show that? Um, that actually form. And, 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 and in this crystal structure, do you notice the spectrum of color on that one piece? That I always thought was similar to a diamond, you know, where light enters into, into your diamond, you, it creates what we call dispersion or fire. However, with a quartz, that's trapped water. Is it? During its crystal formation, trapped water will actually, obviously, stay contained and produce this wonderful spectrum. Huh. I didn't know, I didn't know that until quite recently. It was, do you remember Alex, Mineral Man, who actually educated me on that? So if you see a prism, it's water that um, has been uh, become encased in the crystal itself. So very, very cool. And you'll see that obviously faceting will add to it, but that spectrum of color is, is millions of years old water. That's amazing. Amazing. What an education hour. Well but done. let's read on because again, talking about this gemstone, which is quite frequently uh, um, confused, I'm gonna say. If you limit your idea of white gemstones to diamonds alone, you might associate white gemstones meaning with love and commitment, but white gemstones represent so much more. Although different white stone types vary in meaning, most symbolize clarity, purity, and ascensions. White and colorless crystals are great healing stones, particularly for awakening consciousness as their spiritual nature makes them symbolic of a higher state. Maybe that's why angels have white wings, why ancient Romans priestesses wore white, why clouds are white, why wedding dresses are white, or why the light shining in the early hours of the day is often white. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Isn't yeah. it beautiful? Uh, clear quartz is a transparent clear stone that reflects gorgeous colors when light bounces off it. Um, now that's referring to the luster internally that would be dispersion um although they might be see-through they're certainly not weak maybe that's why they're a zodiac stone for the fiery aries sporting a seven ranking on the most hardness scale clear quartz gemstones are some of the strongest colorless stones a fun fact clear quartz is one of the most mass produced synthetic stones so how can you tell if your kit uh, your quartz is real or fake it's actually quite easy genuine quartz has inclusions, um, gas, bu uh, gas bubbles, dust or liquid particles that we were just referring to, synthetic quartz will actually have none. So it is not a bad thing to actually have some inclusions, whether you're looking at diamonds, whether you're looking at rubies, sapphires, emeralds, quartz, whatever the gemstone, because it actually highlights pearls, you know, little blemishes across the surface. They actually show that they are a real gemstone, not synthetic, effectively. Consistent with white gemstones, ethereal connotations, clear quartz is known for purification in the spiritual, emotional, and physical realm. Known as the master healer, clear quartz helps you to amplify your intentions, soothe spiritual anguish and negative emotions, heal bodily pain, and meditate. Now, I have to say this is metaphysical. It's not scientifically proven. Um, but here is a gem that quartz as a, as a mineral is not rare. It make, it's actually the second most abundant mineral on our planet as a mineral. Quartz as a gem is rare. This is gem. The difference is all down to the clarity. And this is how I always describe it and probably have done for 10 years. You know when it snows and you have the snow wash up against the side of the road and looks quite murky and compact? That's quartz mineral. Quartz as a gem are these. Pristine, eye clean, colourless stones. They're insane, aren't they? 
But let's pop along, thank you, Lauren. Let's pop along to Wolf and Badger and show you one, what they describe openly as a capsule crystal pendant. It's a round in a, some sterling silver. 250 pounds for that. How about this, Chanel? Which I have to say, quite cloudy, but quite cloudy. I'm okay with inclusions, but that's almost opaque. Mm. Um, 2,100 US dollars, please. It's nice. Yeah. Clear quartz gemstone bracelet. Simple stretchy, it's the one at the front. 55 pounds. Natural aquamarine and clear quartz gemstone necklace. I like this a lot. And I think, I, I can't remember where I actually found this photograph, but I actually think that's underpriced. Yeah. Do you, know, do you see where I'm coming? I think that's underpriced, <clears throat> natural aquamarine and clear quartz. But the prism itself is the clear quartz. And you can see she's got kind of, or he or she has created it with sections asymmetrically. I think you could whack a zero on the end of that for that no, necklace. I, do you agree? Yeah, they've, they've made a boo-boo there, I think. Unbelievable. But again, this fascinating gemstone. That is quartz as a gemstone. Quartz as a mineral looks very, very different. These, oh my goodness <laughs> me. See, can you see the spectrum of color? Can you see that? That's what we were going back to. Synthetic wouldn't do that. It wouldn't produce a spectrum of color. You wouldn't see how the light almost pools. You see, as it, as it turns round, can you see how all of a sudden it glows yeah. white? You see that? A synthetic stone wouldn't do that. Mm. They're amazing, aren't they? Aren't they? Now, so we've established Beautiful. that Charlie wants the bigger sizes. Uh, yeah. I don't blame you. Yeah. How many do we have? Oh. Only 20. Can you imagine this, Ross, with that with the black jadeite that we had earlier on? Oh yeah, good shout. Or with some beautiful pearls. Mm. <laughs> Those white pearls that we had earlier on. <gasps> oh. Ah, oh, natural. Twenty exist. Look how the light reflects against the back of my hand. Can you see that? absolutely unbelievable i could just sit and look at this yeah. for ages breathtaking 49.99 sorry ross i did look up and saw that price tag it's not even the final price okay well good luck everyone the larger size that we have in your when i say crystal clear quartz that is pristine you still have got the occasional little flurry that's how i'm going to describe it a little flurry just to say no i am a genuine gemstone yeah i am a genuine gemstone but i'm perfection look how it almost illuminates blue from that spectrum of color 29 pounds and 99 pence the biggest that we have absolutely adore clear quartz there was a period of time when we had none do you remember mm. We actually, it was so difficult to get and we kept nagging Wayne for it, didn't we? I was like, Wayne, when can we do a clear court showcase? Um, but it was, it took about a year, didn't it? About a year to get hold of any. But we kept, I did keep asking him, clear court showcase, clear court showcase. It dried up completely. It's an internationally sought after gemstone for obvious reasons. Well done, everybody. Make sure you stay where you are on those phone lines. Next up. Lauren, yeah. you know those big pearls from earlier on this morning? Can you pass them to me? Because mm. I would put these with those pearls. Yeah. Oh, thank you, darling. Do you know what? What would you go? Asymmetry? Would you have pearls down one side, clear Ooh, quartz down the other? Oh, yes, definitely. You, know, you, you see them again and you're like, my gosh, they're yeah. insane. They're going to pull out the colours in the quartz, aren't they? And the quartz is going to pull out the colours in the pearls. Oh. They just work together, don't oh. they? I mean, that's just perfection, isn't it? 
I think I'd go asymmetry, you know. Why not? Why not? Maybe just with a single gold bead oh. just to break it up, maybe. Yeah. We're under £20. Oh. oh, my days. Yeah, that's nuts. Oh, my days. That's what I'm talking about. I need me some of those too. 30 seconds on your screens, jewelry makers, and we're going to go even lower. Look at that. Do you know what? Quartz, clear quartz as a gemstone might not be as rare as a diamond. Clear quartz as a gemstone might not be as rare as, I don't know, a uh, colourless sapphire. It's certainly as beautiful, though, don't you think? Oh. And don't you think that's fantastic that we've got a clear quartz, a, a clear gemstone that we can incorporate into our jewellery without the diamond price yeah. and still have that same astonishing performance? The fact we're going even lower is madness. How many did I have? 25. Oh. Ooh. Yes, please. I'm just designing a beautiful kit here. Oh, I'll take that kit. <laughs> yeah, and I'll put some little spaces in there yeah. of some variety. How beautiful is that? Fifteen pounds. Fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, it's a long Mental. strand too. I, go, oh. I know. Unbelievable. They go beautifully with pearls, clear quartz. Well, it goes with everything. They, I was just going to say, don't they? Just they're just one size fits all sort of thing. Yeah. Isn't it? It's going to go incredibly with the black spinel, go amazing with absolutely any gemstone that you might have within your stash. It's our diamond, isn't it? You know, that behind your head as it's rotating. Oh, it's distracting, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, I agree. It's like an aura, it's isn't it? Like looking past. So beautiful. Yeah, she's not, you know, she was looking at <laughs> you and they're, it out. they're really like this. <laughs> <laughs> Love <a dribble. laughs> Unbelievable. Make sure you check it out, everybody. Hello, Sally, Jacqueline, Avon, Angela, Swansea, Denise, um, Michael and Miranda, Christine. Hello to you. Michael and Cheshire. Cambridgeshire, you're there as well. Wow. I'm just going to load it up. That's what I'm going to do. Let's put that one there. Oh, graduated. Oh. Yeah. And then I'm going to add, hang on, I'm going to have to put that in there, otherwise it'll fall. Ready? Ooh. It's giving me butterflies. They're that pretty. Pristine. Yeah. You know those words we said earlier on? Purification, didn't mm. we? It's one of those gems. Was it purification? There, oh, there. Um, amplifying intentions, soothe spiritual anguish and negative emotions. You get that, yeah. don't you? You feel. You might not look. Well, the metaphysical um, is, is 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 something that you get on board with or not. You can look at this and go, yeah, it is soothing. Oh yeah, you can relate definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those, it doesn't bring out, it doesn't, you know, the negative emotions, it doesn't amplify those if no. you like want to look at it in the opposite way. It's stunningly comforting, I think, clear quartz is yeah. a gem. Okay, how many do we have of these? 40 available opportunities. We're going to go straight under 20 pounds. Mm. So again, you can see there's a graduation. <gasps> yeah, what about this? One, two, three, all clear quartz graduated. Chanel yeah. were charging over two grand for a full clear quartz. Actually, put those together. Because that, that, that Chanel piece, which we were like, oh, it's very cloudy. Yeah. There. Look at the quality of, our, of, of your clear quartz. Again, that pristine clarity. And look at it alongside Chanel Clear Quartz. Worlds apart, aren't they? For two two thousand pounds. Yeah. They are worlds apart. They are. Yeah. Am I saying that we're better? <laughs> 
I'm just saying, I'm just saying, listen, I am just saying, listen, your clear courts is far better clarity, I think better faceted. Yeah. And they're not 12 99 they're 2100 US dollars. Oh, look, I know you've got to make the piece of jewellery. But do you notice also it says gold and silver metal? That's not mm. precious metal. It's not silver. It's not gold. That's base metal. It's base metal for two grand. You can recreate that jewellery makers with far finer components. Yeah, I know, definitely. I know. Yeah, do you know what, though? Chanel, one thing, I, yeah, not one thing, but they were pioneering you know they introduced they introduced faux pearls they introduced costume jewelry it was it was coco chanel who really started what costume jewelry is all about you know and fair play to them but they don't charge the costume jewelry prices no you know like maybe was the idea behind costume jewelry if that yeah. makes sense um elizabeth zoe angela avon denise swansea michael and miranda yeah i mean i don't know i'd love to have a little uh, pick of brains about this one coco so why costume jewelry oh well because i wanted to make you know jewelry accessible to everybody okay coco so why 2100 us dollars yeah do you see where i'm coming from yeah it's unattainable for most isn't it, it? is well, you can have all of those for a teeny tiny smidge of that price can't yeah you? you could recreate that oh yeah With and these. obviously ours are bigger clearer, they're bigger yeah faceted nicer i think i don't even think they're not faceted. cloudy that's it not cloudy mm. i'd so, have, to have all of them yeah me Graphics on your screen are for this one here. I don't want to separate them. That's the thing. They look so nice together. We're going to recap these pearls as well, jewelry makers. £12.99 only to get hold of these. There was just 25 Um, I've got... A what? Yes, I've got some 8mm rounds. Should we just keep loading? Are you going to regret clear quartz purchases? Because it's one of those gems I think will work... It does work with everything, doesn't it? Everything. Pearls, your opaque stones. I'd love it with the um, black jade that you had earlier yeah, with the... Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Amazonite. Oh, oh, the ones this morning. Mm. <gasps> oh. That would be beautiful. Yeah. It will work with absolutely everything, won't it? Oh, look at all that. Can I have a graduated stretch here? Just all clear quartz. How uplifting would that be on a miserable day outside? Yeah. Oh. And if you sell your jewellery, which I know, Charlie, you're very successful with that, mm. but if you sell your jewellery, do people gravitate towards clear quartz? It's an interesting one, really, because I think it gets overlooked and it shouldn't, should it? I mean, it's, it's great in tiaras. Yeah. I've got to say, it really does light up what you're making. Um, and it's a shame, really, isn't it? It's an unspoken hero, isn't it? Not many people... Well, if you go into somewhere, as we've mentioned, tiaras, if you go somewhere like um, Swarovski, uh, it's cut glass. Yes. That's what crystal is. It's cut glass. You are not paying nineteen ninety nine for a Swarovski piece of jewellery. I know you've got to make the piece of jewellery, but let's call, keep it really simple, like a stretchy bracelet. If this were in Swarovski, oh. you're not talking 20 quid. No. And that's not a genuine gemstone, whereas this absolutely is. Yeah. Are you ready? I think so. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna leapfrog a price point. You're going to make my palms sweaty, aren't you? Mm. Oh. Nine pounds and 99 pence. Oh. I know, it's Sorry unbelievable. That is amazing. Can you see the spectrum of fire as well in some of those? Yes, I can. Beautiful. Right behind your head. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle. Uh, yes, that's exactly it. It's unbelievable. So you get, this is the thing with colourless stones, you get luster. Luster is the exterior. So same as diamonds, same as any, you know, when we're talking luster, same as your jade bangle, luster is the exterior. So your opaque gemstone, you'll only get luster, if that makes sense. Right. When you've got gems with clarity like this or with a diamond or with, I don't know, a sapphire, whichever it might be, anything that goes on internally is either dispersion or fire. So the white light bouncing around internally right. um, is, is dispersion or fire. Amazing spectrums of colours that you see in a zircon is dispersion or fire. Oh. I, yeah, so you're getting both with clear quartz. It's amazing. Michael, Wendy, Angela, Christine, John, Swansea, Sheila. Make sure you check out if you want those quantities, Sheila. Amazing. 
Lo I love clear quartz. We don't see it very often. No, you don't. I have noticed that. And I love the fact that it includes the little, what did it say? Gas and dust. Little gas, and, and dust, water. It's water. almost like you think about amber, don't you? And how yeah. you have got those little, I love that. I love that. And it confirms it's real. Absolutely. It's not glass. Glass Absolutely. is in an abundance, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Swarovski, um, you can make glass. Crystal for your tree. Yeah, exactly. We could all make glass. Yeah. Yeah. Can't exactly. Make a quartz. Well done. Well done. Well done. Sorry. I've got two. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, can I? I've got a size coming with you, uh, coming to you now that always flies. Um, we normally describe it as that. That topaz. That zircon, that clear quartz, um, you know straight away that is highlighting the quality that you get. So I'm just making a little display, if you like, of all the strands that I've brought you so far in this selection. Yeah? How about? I bring you probably the most scintillating, the most uh, dispersive, and the most lustrous of all. What you are about to, to be to see rather should be the most expensive of all the strands, because it is far, far, far more challenging to actually facet a two millimeter stone than it is a 10 millimeter stone. <gasps> Think Capriccio bracelets. Oh. Think tassels. Think weaving or kiss cross. Yeah. Think bridal. Yeah. Or one of those beady beads that you guys oh, do. Beautiful. Yeah. Like a weave mm. of Look, see why we're saying this is that quartz. You have a full 38 centimeter strand. I don't know how many we got. Do, you did say 60. You know, if we were look, bringing this to air during our birthday celebrations and we were able to, we'd have bought 500 of these, wouldn't we? Easily. It would have been a big early bird or a deal of the day opportunity and all 500 of them would have flown. This will, this is perfect. If you uh, to to add alongside something like your black jadeite faceted or rondelles, now if we had five hundred or six hundred, then I was about to say they'd be under ten pounds. You're starting how though? You're starting under ten pounds. It's a big quantity for this showcase. Okay. We're going even lower, jewelry makers. There's so much potential. I'm useless at knotting, no matter how hard I try. I use these as an alternative. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. I know they don't, you don't get the security, if you like, of knotting. However, visually, you've got that beautiful little pop of sparkle. Even more so. Probably float. It looks like they're floating. Yes. In effect. Oh, how beautiful that'd be. We're starting at $7.99. That's the, that's the price point I would expect for something like 500 quantity. Not 60. Straight away, Swansea's got three. Yorkshire's got two. Yeah. Herefordshire's got two. Carol's got two. Jane's got two. Christine, Denise, Elizabeth and Alison. Uh, Chantal and Jamati and Michael and Miranda and Zoe. And Lynn and Ayrshire. Well done, everybody. Knew you would love this showcase. Again, all that beautiful sparkle. There we go with those pearls that we brought you earlier on. Oh, they'll almost give the pearls a platform. Yeah, they will. Won't they? <gasps> $6.99. This should be more. Because yeah. it's harder to, to facet and drill. Half the stock's gone. Yeah, with those pearls, just one in between. And? It's still not done. No, oh, this is ridiculous. Yes. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Who wants this under five pounds, says Ross? It 
<laughs> oh yeah, it's Friday. It's Friday. Friday day. <laughs> it's Saturday, Sunday day. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Uh, we're at six pounds and 99 pence, we're going even lower. If we had 500, yes, under five pound, maybe. And even then it's only a maybe. A maybe, maybe. 60. That's how many we had. Had being the, yeah, down to the final 20. Good luck. Essex has just got four. Hereford's just yes. got four. Lancashire's just got four. Jamati's just got three. Four pounds and ninety nine pence only. Again, I'm sorry to keep doing this, but look, like Ch Chanel, you're talking two thousand four figures. For, but to be truthful, at least the clear quartz is of Mother Nature, whereas the rest of it is kind of, you know, usually they use synthetic stones. I'm, I'm, I haven't got beef for synthetic stones, but. Chanel really do actually use genuine gemstones. Two thousand one hundred pounds though, and they look to all right. They might be a little bit bigger, but they're also very sleepy and cloudy. Well done, everyone! If you love this look, <gasps> Burmese black spinel coming up tomorrow. All the sizes that you could team alongside oh. um, all your colourless clear quartz. It would go amazing together it is burmese spinel too so um you know burmese ruby they say it's got about two years left of mining if burmese ruby and, and sapphire consequently um when that mines out that also means that your spinel will, will be mined out from that location um sold out well done everybody but yeah think about your black spinel alongside all your colorless quartz i have one more opportunity which is brand new They're not tumbles, like a regular. Never been seen before though. A natural cut. Yeah, do you know what, I like that Adam, because you know sometimes like a certain crystal, Mother Nature will form in a, in a, in a way, I don't know if you look at that photograph of the clear quartz earlier on. But I knew a most, most, gemstone cutters will look at a piece of rough in diamonds case they'll put them into a computer and it will have like a little turny table the computer will map out the internal structure of the diamond and go okay your best being a round brilliant cut your best being a princess your best being an oval whatever it might be but what if that gemstone doesn't want to be that <laughs> what if they don't want to be that so these this is where i love this shape because it's where the lapidarist will actually go actually i'm not going to conform to a calibration it's you can have these irregular shapes and i really like that yeah i love that and they're becoming more and more popular look at these yeah they're lush aren't they i look at that they are brand new they've never been on your screens you see oh, so you have cool. facets unlike other sort of calibrated sizes i love this reminds me of that um necklace that we were showing earlier on which i said was massively underpriced uh, yeah well she had just one of those prisms at the bottom i mean you've got a full strand here but yeah we don't have to conform to calibrated cuts this is where the crystal tells the lapidarist i want a facet here a facet here a facet here and i'll be a slightly irregular shape but i'll be beautiful yeah huh I like that. that it's yeah. unique. It's really, really unique. It's a unique. very beautiful way of putting it, Elle. There's no boundaries. No. They've gone with the flow, aren't they? Yeah, because you might, you know, say, for example, if you imagine any one of these in their rough form, and they, oh, no, they have to be, they have to be cabochons, or they have to be round, brilliant cuts. Well, you might have some, I don't know, uh, big black particles in there. Yeah. So visually, yeah. that gemstone's going to look slightly less attractive. Whereas if you listen to the crystal itself, you're guaranteed to get the best quality. How many do we have of these? 40 available. Oh, it's new and we've only got 40. See how they pull light when you've got that quality of, of clarity. Yeah, they're huge. I think they could be individual um, prisms at the bottom of necklaces. But it adds that contemporary feel. 49 pounds and 99 pence, going right the way up to 15 by nine millimeters. Again, it's that contemporary edge. Yeah, definitely. 
Good luck, everyone. Is this the finale of the clear court? Good luck, everyone. Pristine clarity. Look at that, illuminating. 19 pounds and 99 pence. Again, remember the monochrome. It looks always amazing, doesn't mm. it? Clear quartz in monochrome. Um, alongside, I like it alongside your green jadeites too. I think that looks absolutely yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, definitely. Just one on its own. Yeah. Just a very long pendulum pendant style with a little, your largest stone and a matching pair of earrings. Oh, beautiful. And you only need the one, don't you? Only the one. The master healer. Yeah. So again, I know uh, the metaphysical side of things, obviously. Um, chakra is very popular within chakra jewelry too uh, make sure you're checking out your part uh, your baskets everybody i almost said parcels then check out your parcels that's a new one um pardon gonna go a little bit lower because it's a it's an introduction it's a premiere why not and it's been one of those amazing shows today hasn't it carolyn allison and jacqueline well done london bethan congratulations to you debbie margaret Edinburgh, amazing. Uh, we've got the most incredible masterclass, which I know you're all waiting for. Beautiful, beautiful um, inspiration from our wonderful Charlie. If you've always wanted to dip your toe in the world of metal smithing, make sure you're with us in the next hour then, because we've got some very exciting tools to bring you. Oh, yes. Not just hammers. Not just hammers. There's all sorts of goodies in there. <laughs> yeah, all Charlie said... Oh, I mean, uh, do you get excited of how is that? Yeah, well, yes, when I see what you create with them. Absolutely. They've got <laughs> new tools as well. I can get excited over a hammer. Can you? It's what you do with the hammer. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly, and not all hammers are the same. No, exactly. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Well done. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. <laughs> Just one on a chain like Wolf and Badger earlier on for 200, what was it, 250 pounds, something like that. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Right, can we do a little recap? Why, I've got two lots of pearls. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, these are, I, I, know, I know I said it earlier on, but these are so white, they're almost blue incredible absolutely amazing and they graduated beautifully too so again this with a silk put an 18 karat gold clasp on or whatever gold you wish or precious metal you wish but it strands like this that prompt me to say we should have gold I agree. here at jewelry maker it strands like this that make me buy from jewelry maker yes you know me too yeah me too I mean, it's it's pearls like this that I do buy from Jewelry Maker and I haven't done anything with yet. Yeah, I do But I the own same. them. Yeah, that's it. I own them. I've got, genuinely, this is the truth, I haven't got a studio or anything like that, but I've got pearl strands that I've bought from Jewelry Maker under my sofa. In a box. Well, if we burgle your house, we know where to go. You know where to go, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But the... Anybody else will They're there, Clever. they're safe. Do you know what I mean? That's a good idea. They are, and one day, I've knotted some of them, put them on the class, but I've got others, you know, that they're heirloom pieces. Yeah. The quality of our pearls. And again, I know I've, I've said this so many times before, but we, our team traveled to Hong Kong. They went for the first time ever this year, knowing, they went with their eyes wide open, knowing that they wouldn't be able to buy pearls because the pearl industry has changed significantly. We've never seen pearls more expensive than they are right now. That is not an overstatement. Pearls are at their most expensive ever, yeah? So we went for the first time to Hong Kong, and you go to Hong Kong not for your diamonds, you don't go to Hong Kong for your rubies, your sapphires, and that, those. you go to Hong Kong for two gems in particular, Jade, pearls yeah well we've just explained the situation with jade so we didn't buy any of that couldn't there was no guatemalan jade 
available in Hong Kong. Um, pearls were available. They were available. Take one more look at this. I want to show you this video clip and it's Dave literally discussing pearls of this caliber. Same, same. What she has, freshwater pearls. These are freshwater pearls. Hers are not South Sea or, or, or a koi or anything like that. They are freshwater pearls that she says are like South Sea. Check this out. <laughs> This is it. With my tail. Hmm? And what kind of price for this? Uh, which one? This one. This one? And what's the payment? This one. One thousand dollars, okay. Yeah. And what what size is it? Eleven to four? Eleven to fourteen, 14 mil. Yeah, yeah, 11 to and how much for these? Uh, everyone different. Okay. Yeah. Everyone different. Yeah. Like like this one. Mm -hmm. Shining. And uh, this one? Okay, I like uh, this one here, price? Uh -huh. This one. What color is this? This is pinkish with metallic. Metallic with yeah, a metallic. pinkish, pinkish, yeah. Pinkish. Okay. Pinkish. Hard, very rare? Very rare. Yeah. The, 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 the color very rare. You cannot get. And the uh, bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big size. Big size. And pearls gone very expensive now <laughs> in the market because of Nini and Yang Ni, yeah. the social media. Social media, yeah, 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 yeah. Very. US dollars. US. So for this strand, 18,000 US dollars. 18, and can you get how many? Um, maybe many years can get one. Yeah. Oh, five? Very. No, 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 I only, this color, only one, this size. Right. Yeah, maybe a little... Smaller? Smaller, but a smaller, not metallic like this. Okay, yeah. and, and if, if smaller? Uh -huh. Okay, so uh -huh. can you get more of this color? Yeah, this color can, no, two, maybe, two. Two, yeah. Similar. So, Similar so color. yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what price if I buy these two? Uh, if you... This one. These are smaller, right? Yeah, this smaller, this quality. $5,500 yeah, yeah. US. This quality. This all belong to top. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm interested in. Yeah. This one. Also special white top color, top quality, like South Sea. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is this more affordable? More affordable. Is this lower? No? This top, all top, lower is over there. So yeah. for the top white? Yeah, top white. And what kind of, what, okay, so uh, how many do you have? This one. Yeah. Yeah, this law is seven. Seven. Uh, seven. If I buy all seven, uh -huh. how much? If you buy all Natural seven, color, right? Natural color, yeah. natural color, all natural color. We all natural color. Just the golden and the black. We die. This is all natural. 6,200, okay. Now can you put clasps on and everything manufactured with? We can, we can clasp. If you have clasp, so we made it now, it's no problem. Okay, yeah. okay, perfect. Thousands, literally thousands. And did you notice when she held up the strands of white pearls? She had like seven, didn't she? Can you understand? And that's, that's their whole business, pearls, freshwater pearls. Can you understand why it's so difficult for us to be able to not only bring you pearls, but most importantly, bring you that quality that, we, what, that you've become accustomed to and bring them to you at an, at an achievable price. You know, can you imagine, jewelry makers, if I, we were to buy those pearls, we put them on air. We've got to make some profit. We're talking high four figures. Mm. 7,000, what do you reckon? 7,000 pounds. How many of those do you think we'd actually be able to sell? That's why we have to make a business decision and say, all right, then we'll, we'll have to draw a line in the sand for pearls for now. There is one saving grace. 
when we did buy pearls and they have always been one of our biggest sellers we did buy big and i do mean millions we spent millions across the partnership millions on pearls so thank goodness currently it is something we do have now we brought these to air earlier and i was saying they are that white they're borderline blue i have four left 20 altogether these go up to 13 millimeter now i'm going to bring the price to air and then put a clock on screen i can't believe we did that ross 24 of you have this in your basket for the final four um they are they are insane they're some of the most lustrous pearls i've seen and do you notice how, how again that lady was saying oh pink very pink like south sea blue is another so you get it's quite you can get a pink overtone not pink color not but body color so with pearls you have a body color which is like the overall most obvious color and then you have overtones as well so overtones are sort of the different colors that you might see across the surface can you see here it's quite difficult sometimes on our screens can you see almost like a blue overtone there i know they are that lustrous you can see dan i know amazing whereas other pearls you might have a different overtone you might have a pink overtone or you might have a gold overtone um or a papaya it just, one we've got to recap them they're too beautiful to send back to our vault again the purest white i've got two left but i have one more strand of pearls to bring to air these are smaller they're nine to ten mil these are rounds whereas the ones previously were your baroques it's all down to personal choice if you're looking for that classic regal pearl necklace Look no further because it's right here. Oh. They're lush, aren't they? That's perfection, isn't it? Audrey Hepburn. Yeah. Classic elegance, aren't they? Look how perfect they are. Yours are better than Audrey's, though. Perfect. Because yours aren't faux. Good point. Yours are real. Look at those, seriously. The graphics are live. How many, Ross? Ten. Freshwater pearls, the same as the, uh, as the lady was offering in Hong Kong today a few moments ago. Not a few moments ago on that video. And they were all thousands. Did she say at any point, oh, that's so many hundreds? No, they were all four figures. And she was like, top, top grade, like South Sea. You would be forgiven for uh, thinking these were South Sea pearls. The finest quality. Freshwater pearls, gone are the days where we can bring you freshwater pearls inexpensively yeah. the chinese will not export it at the moment because they have got such a booming economy for pearls an insatiable appetite for pearls but it's not just in china it's global i've got or had 10 already down to seven one price 60 seconds and then we'll go straight to break because we've got your wall effect oh goodness me goodness me yeah i'm all for jewelry maker doing the best prices that's how i own pearls as well however there is that that's beyond a joke isn't it really yeah. yeah it is they are could they be any better than what's on your screens right now seriously no five virtues let's go through <clears throat> them size they well they some of them reach up to a double dig uh double digit millimeter big they are big shape round is still the most expensive Every pearl that is cultured aspires to be around. That's what the that's what the harvesters are trying to do. Then you start talking about colour. Then you start talking about lustre. Um, sorry, nacre, and then also lustre. It ticks every single one of those boxes. Make sure you check it out. I'm gonna I'm gonna get one of these on the break. That's ridiculous. Coming up after the break, we've got Charlie's amazing masterclass, and of course your wall of fame. We're gonna be delving into the world of metal smithing. <laughs>
Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you're all well and having a good week despite the dreadful weather we've been having. I'm here to tell you about my next show, which is this Saturday, the 25th of May. I'm going to be joining the lovely Elle, Ross and the team. And I'm here to tell you about my two project hours. In the nine o'clock hour, I have been really spoiled. I've been given a bundle of 12 strands of birthstone gemstones. Ruby, sapphire, tanzanite, amethyst, my stone, even moonstone, which I've not seen for quite a while. Beautiful, beautiful bundle in the nine o'clock hour. And then at 12 o'clock, many of you may have seen my video that I posted at the beginning of the week regarding my 12 o'clock gemstone. Wow. Avocado, Alashan, Agate. The most beautiful, sublime pastel green I think I have ever seen. We've got two project kits, both containing sterling silver spacer beads. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm really, really excited to share this with you. And also in the 12 o'clock hour, we've got something for you gents. That's all I'm going to say. So that's this Saturday, 25th of May. Join myself, Eleanor and the crew. I cannot wait to share this with you. Would you like to be part of an unofficial world record attempt and amongst the largest number of people making jewellery at one time? On Friday the 31st of May at 10am, Jewellery Maker will be holding the world's biggest make-along, where over Zoom you can join fellow jewellery makers of all abilities as we attempt to break a world record. Whether you've never made jewellery before or it's your favourite hobby, you can join us. All you have to do is sign up via the link below. We will send you an email with the Zoom link to join us near the time. Go to www.jewellerymaker.com for inspiration and of course, how to sign up. See you on the 31st of May for the world's biggest make-along. having a little chit chat and I was like hey you two oh my goodness that is incredible Thank do you. you know like genuinely I mean this if you like you've got the Van Cleef Alhambra you've got the Panther of Cartier that could be like a signature design I reckon a flagship design I'll take that, definitely. I love this, Charlie. That's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. It is actually really straightforward make. Really straightforward. So you can make that at home and recreate it. You'd have to be so over the top. I mean, that's just how I roll. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Um, coming your way, uh, we've got, of course, your instructions, your projects and your tools to talk through as well. But first, <laughs> your wonderful creations in the Water Fame. Do you want to start us off? Yeah, of course. Okay, I like this. Mm. This is clever. This is from, oh, it's from Elsa. Hello, Elsa. Elsa Wood. Which way? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> up a bit, up left, a bit. Up, down, left, right. 
Elsa. Uh, 607. Hi all, this is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Jadeite Jade Donut with tube set garnet. All from JM except the silver chain, which is an old one of mine. Good luck to everyone. Aww. Elsa was in the competition, wasn't she? I, th I think that's the same, Elsa. Ah, Pink. Elsa, Pink. that's beautiful. Loving that. I have number 608, which is from uh, Brenda Chibnall Smith. Brenda, this is beautiful, a lovely little tree of life. Hi, all at Jewelry Maker. This is my entry to the Wall of Fame this week. I did this tree of life following Debbie Kershaw, Kershaw's demo, demo. Not quite the way I wanted it, but we'll um, have to work on doing the base better. Um, good luck to all Waffers, including me. Thanks for all the laughs and all the fun. Brenda, that's beautiful. I love that. With I the light that. coming through the window, that's going to look epic, Amazing. isn't it? Some great shadows. I think you've, you've done fantastic yeah, there. Well done. Too. So I have a fabulous set, 609 Lorraine Smith. In the right oh, place. beautiful. Hi, jewelry maker. This week's make is using the lovely Abalone Dragonfly pendant with earrings to match along with the shell pearls and seed beads. Was an enjoyable make with the help of Mark's very clear instructions. Think it came out well. All components, JM. Happy beading to all. Ah, that. yeah, so indeed. Cute. That's gorgeous. Love that one. Um, number 610, loving these. And it's from Vera Barini. Hello to you, Vera. Your number 610. Morning, everybody. I received the Mermaid Crowns kit. And it has so many elements to it. Lots of different shells, which I made up um, into lovely pieces shown here. It also has silver toned stars, a gorgeous clear uh, CZ strand and two strands of shell pearl. Like all jewelry maker kits, it's such great value. I had to buy another. Um, everyone out there, enter the WAF. You have to be in it to win it. Love that, Vera. Yes. Very well said. Because we get to see your wonderful pieces as well. So good luck to you, Vera, you're 6'10". She's got a beautiful name, hasn't she? I, 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 every time I read Vera's name, I always think she sounds like a Hollywood... Italian... Siren. Star. Yes. Doesn't she? Yes. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, I've got some beautiful pearls here. This is 611 Jade Cousins. Do you want to move this Do way Do I a bit? keep being not in there the There right you place? go. There you are. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. Yay, there we go. Aren't they lovely, those? Uh, hi, JM. My week, uh, my entry this week is a gold-plated rosary link water, uh, freshwater cultured pearl bracelet. Wire and pearls from JM. Good luck all in the drop. Amazing. Cute, Loving it? that. Love I was that engrossed in that in that piece of jewellery that I literally just poked myself in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> She's only like that. Oh, oh. <laughs> literally. Amazing. Um, last but by no means least, number 612 from Anna Winter. Anna, I love this. Morning all. I'm so pleased. Jewelry maker are bringing so many silversmithing items. Oh, well, you'll love this next hour. Um, it means I can progress my journey. This week's WAF entry is my first ever piece of silversmithing. It's a paw print ring using a shot plate I bought a while ago. Silver and all my smithing tools are from Jewelry Maker. Looking forward to the journey and that's from Anna Winter. That's amazing. It's fab, isn't it? If she's only just started and she's already soldering. Because, you know, the um, shop plates, they produce quite solid pieces. So she's done well there. She's well done, done really that. well. Loving that. Well done. Like I said, Anna, you'll love this next hour then because it's all about metal smithing. Um, and can I just say, if you're thinking, oh, I've never done metal smithing before, then hopefully in this hour, because we've got a lot of the components that you will need to get started, won't we? Yep, staple tools that you'll buy once and you will never need to buy again and you will use them pretty much daily. So they're, they're essential tools. Okay, and if you've, if, if you've never done metal smithing before, are there pieces here that you think, oh, actually, no, that's definitely for somebody that's more advanced? No. They're no, all, okay. this, this is this is foundations of pretty much all your jewellery and then when you move on to soldering, the next bit of kit is fantastic. Great for setting up, especially if you're a bit apprehensive about going near your work when you're soldering. You can set it all up and then heat it up from the back and you'll you'll be off. You'll be off you'll in a way. Off. And that's jewellery specific, uh, created by jewellery makers, it's so it tells me it's going to be a great price. Solid. It is solid. Um, Okay, so should you want to start with this, Ross, did you say? Because we've got 150 of these available, jewellery makers, so it's available on pre-order. Charlie, do you, mm. want to, do you want to talk us through how this works? Because sure. right now, I'm just seeing a lot of arms. 
try that. Can you see here ah, in the centre? Should we put it there so we yeah. can see on the uh, on the overhead? Oh, okay. Because obviously you couldn't put your hands there because you're going to be working with flames. Exactly, and obviously you can you can remove these so they don't have to stay there. I would just move them out of the way, but you could actually just take the wing nuts off and detach them, so they don't need to be there. And I have clipped. This is an example piece. So imagine you've made a very chunky bangle and you want to solder this. Um, cabochon prong set setting on the top but you're a little bit oh it's going to flip off i don't really want to go near me work yet clip your bangle into your crocodile clip. i mean this works with any piece of jewelry really but um clip it from the base and it'll act as a little bit of a heat sink and a good support mm -hmm. and then with the other side you'll notice i've not tightened any of the wing nuts so it might be a bit wobbly um they've oh, got little different. yes that's right so you've got two of two of the little pincer style and then you've got two of your crocodile clip. There we go. Right, so you okay. can pop your tweezers in there if you want to use your tweezers, but I wouldn't. Um, and then, because there's four of them, you don't necessarily need all four, so you can take them off if you want. So this is like the handy Andy, only bigger. Yeah, like super sized. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. And it's lovely and stable oh, too. Oh, it's rock solid. I mean, it's got um, this metal plate underneath. It's got holes either side. So you can actually mount it to um, an extendable arm if you wanted to, or you can mount it to your workbench. But I wouldn't. I tend to put my tools away. So I've got a lot of stuff tucked away. Um, so I would just get that out, do whatever I'm doing, pop my uh, piece of jewelry in the pickle part, and then put this away in the cupboard. Amazing. I now, know, right? I, yeah, incredible. And I, and I think, you know, even if you ha are new on your journey, this is something you're going to definitely... In fact, I would feel find it far less intimidating working with something like this. Brilliant. Not physically holding it yes. in my hands. I think that's the aim of the game with this. Yeah. You know, because when, when you first start soldering, you don't really want to touch it while you're working on it. So that's where solder paste comes in well, and you yeah. can set it all up for you, and you don't have to go anywhere near it. So, yeah, it's quite Love handy that. for that. Now, is it is it this tool that we get the instructions as well? I think the instructions come with every tool. With every tool? I think so. How amazing. And I can see it's it's quite a lengthy one. So all about fold forming. Um, we have 150 of these available. Let's introduce the graphics. I th I've not seen this before. No. Is I'm, it brand new? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. <gasps> I know, I was Brand new tool launch. Unbelievable. And the fact that you can solder multiple items if you want oh, to. Oh, indeed. Yeah, and I mean, if you want to string up chain or if you want to make, say, you need 100 head pins and you haven't got them there, you can literally pick up your arms, place a little wire in between the two and hang. Um, so you'd, you'd make some um, double length pins, yeah. fold them in half and hang each one across the middle and you can turn them all into head pins with just one blow of the torch really absolutely yeah. awesome so you've got this part as well haven't you mm -hmm. that you can solder on you can to. take that off too you don't have to keep that on there if you want if you want to um, change that up and use your own solder balls ones that you prefer using go ahead i've brought the turntable with me that we had last time so i'll pop that on there yeah, it's a, it's a really handy bit of kit. Wow. Solid, and isn't it? It is really solid. It's not going to topple over or anything sorry like for that. The posty. Whoever He's... gets these, the posty will be. Yeah, they, they, ah! are, they are heavy. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's still only one post and packaging all day. Now, these are brand new jewellery makers. If you are tempted to start in your silversmithing um, journey, then great place to start great it is a great place to start because we've yeah, got I lots agree. of your essential tools and also you'll get them at the most affordable price so if you go to cookson and gold a fantastic competitor of ours you can buy something similar they've there's only got two arms yeah is that right so you could double that price in effect couldn't you because you, you haven't could. got the support stand and you haven't got the second set of arms okay so so double that price double that price right oh but even 73 pounds i mean that's I know. No, that's it, that, absolutely amazing. It's, it's it. You know, when you first start out, you don't necessarily want to spend a fortune on one tool, which is why we all come here, isn't it? Yeah, totally agree. Yeah, totally agree. That's from Durston, so you know it's quality. This is from Jewelry Maker, so you know it's quality, yep. and you also know that it's going to be coming your way at a super affordable price tag. Plus, then, yeah, I mean, 
Yeah, 73 pounds, 10 pence, but you've got less with it, if that makes sense, because you don't get the stand either. This is brand new. We're already beating that price. Already. So this looks like it comes with, I can't work it out. Is that is that crocodile ones or the pincer ones? Looks like, yeah, it looks like the pins, doesn't it? These ones, yeah. Okay, so kind of like tweezers. But I would argue because they've got more uh, elbow joints, it's going to be faffier to set up theirs. There's okay. it's got more. So the less you have, the quicker you're going to be to set up. Yeah, and you don't need any, you don't need loads, do no, you? Because no, no. let's be honest, you, no. I can make my way all the way around that. Oh yeah. There's not a single part of this that one of these these arms don't reach. Yeah, yeah. And I'm... and the soldering yes. block is on the base. Yeah, it's already attached. It comes yeah. complete. Yeah. Comes complete like so, as seen. You're not paying sixty nine ninety nine though, jewelry makers. That's so good, isn't it? Yeah. Because with tools, I do kind of understand how to why tools are that little bit more expensive. Because the idea is, you know, you're gonna. It's not single use, is it? You'll use them repeatedly. Yeah. And probably for years, for years and years and years and years and years and years. Absolutely. So I do understand why they're a high price. I'm not saying that if we don't, if if we can't bring them to you at a more affordable price tag, then obviously we're not going to do that. But I mean, look at this. Amazon. Here we go. Helping hands, third arm, soldering workstation, jewelry, welding, fixture and two clips. Two clips. I'm not, I, I have to say that looks a bit flimsy. I was just going to say you'd knock that over too easily. You're not going to knock this over. It's it's heavy. Whereas that's got little feet, whereas you've got your bars underneath. So if you knock that or you drop something, there's a good chance you could flip your work over. Well, that's disastrous yeah. if you're in the middle of soldering. Whereas this is so solid, you're not going to knock that over. And even if you drop something no. on it. Okay. £63.87. pence. Here we go, one on Etsy, which does include the soldering bark. Again, looks quite robust. Still only the two arms, £118.28. What do you think about that, Charlie? Do you think... I wouldn't buy it. If Why? I'm, if I'm honest. Again, for the feet, the, the stability of it, and that gap between uh, your your base plate, I suppose, and your soldering board, you're going to create condensation underneath there. So as you heat your board up, it's going to heat underneath, and you're going to have problems in between. Okay. And it... it Without uh, the soldering board, what does that mean? Oh, that doesn't come with the soldering board. So it's the frame without the board. So it's the, the frame without that, that, that bit in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Yours does. Minute clock, jewellery makers. We're going even lower. So, you know, in terms of... Have you been part of this design? Because I definitely feel like this has had a Charlie I influence. wish I could say yes, but no. Yeah. No, this isn't, isn't one of mine. I have got some tools in the making, so keep an eye out for that. Um, but not this. But not this. It's solid. You can clip this into vices if you wanted mm -hmm. to. How amazing. You don't just get the two hands. You get... I mean, our description says third hand soldering station, but you get four, don't you? Yeah. Why is it called third? Uh, I suppose it's an extension of you. Oh, yeah, yeah. But actually, you could go third, it's fourth, fifth, arm. sixth hand. <laughs> sixth hand. Yeah, you've got multiples here. Um, could be, We could stop here. We're already massively uh, beating our competitors. You get the solder, everything. You get everything. You get the solder board. It's so robust. It's so well made. And if you if you don't want to have all four arms, you can detach them. They're not permanently attached, which is no. fantastic. Well, you can just move them out of the way, can't yeah, you? Yeah, that's it. Because they're, they're only wing nuts. Yep. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. There oh, you go. Oh, that was cute. There you go. Let's move them out of the way. Thirty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence jewelry. Ma oh, still not done. Wait, what was the most affordable one yeah. that we found? Sixty-three pounds and eighty-seven pence without your soldering block. And Charlie's like, no, I'm not sure about the feet. Doesn't look that safe. <laughs> Am I going to get an email from Amazon? Nah, he's all right. They're okay. But I, look, we would always endeavour, and it's not always possible, we'll always endeavour to beat the prices of our competitors. It's not always possible. However, I think we're completely obliterating them right now, aren't oh, yeah. we? <laughs> completely obliterating them. All because we've made it ourselves. Look, this is a jewellery maker tool. Brand new, never been on our screens previously before. We created, we built 150. 
Is this going to overtake the classic Handy Andy? I would like to think it would, yes. Can I just say as well, not if just I do a lot of gluing. Okay. And actually how you leave that glue should oh. let gravity do its thing. Yeah, yeah. These are Great so idea. good. Yeah. So you know, like you would put put your peg bale in there. Yeah, or there, whichever. Put your peg bale in here. Glue. Leave it overnight. Let gravity do its thing. Job done. And then it's not going to glue kind of wonky because that's happened before. I think that's a great idea. I'd not even thought of that. There you go. I have moments. Ready? <laughs> Amazing. £30 for all of this. What an incredible bit of kit. Oh, wait. Yeah, hang on a second. That's what that is. Yeah, just sleeves you've to got, protect you've got a little. You've got a little black sleeve and you've got a little red sleeve. Obviously, I'll adjust that. I mean, if you wanted to, if you've got... Um, a magnifier if you need need help seeing where you solder and you can always pop pop one on the end of the um, pincer you know the larger one so you can actually set it in there so you can actually still solder without um, having the heat you can see see more of your work mm -hmm. but not having to be so close to it so wow. that'd be quite handy don't forget with this purchase you also get Charlie's amazing instructions which of course she will be demonstrating too um, we have got other tools which we'll bring to air as and when Charlie um, if you want brief some yeah okay. um, so things like your hammers you've got your rubber block and your steel block which are must have they're aren't they? essential tools yeah and you can never have too many hammers and they all do different jobs so we'll, we'll talk about that amazing you've got we had 150 of them how are we doing on stock quant quantities well over half the stock's gone now jewelry makers so um yeah final third uh make sure you're checking out charlie over to you darling Do you thank you no 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 it's fine so i'm actually going to pop this out of the way because i want to talk to you a bit about metal farming if yeah. that's all right yeah so i'll just pop that out of the way is that all right there or is that going to be in play done uh no that okay can come and grab it okay so let's split that off start with you blocks Right, we've got these. Nice and straightforward. The best way to remember it is soft, including soft. soft hammers. Soft is for forming. Okay. Hard is for forging. So if you want to shape your metal, you would use your rubber tools, so your rubber block or your rubber ha uh, nylon hammer or your rawhide, all of that, anything that's a softer metal, and you'll form. Whereas on your um, steel block, or your steel faced hammers, you'll be forging. So you'll be spreading the metal, you'll be moving the metal okay. in a different way. Okay. So I've got some examples, but I actually have two steel blocks. They're quite quite handy to have when you've got two, especially when you fold forming. Now, if you aren't soldering yet, or you, ha you haven't dared start doing any of this, it allows some freedom. So the instructions are for the necklace, and obviously you can make the necklace if you want to, but try and use it as a training program. It's, it's a lesson. <laughs> it's getting familiar with how metal moves. So let's say for example, you're just doing a little bit of wire wrapping um, and, you've got your and you've got your tail ends. So this is just an example. These curls where the butterfly mm. antenna are and the curls on the bottom, some wire, right, wire wrappers might snip them off but why not use that to your advantage and, and make the curls and the curves and you can do that with your pliers obviously but the tail ends and the bottom of the butterfly have been flared out so it'll give you more of a facet so it'll pick up the light and it'll draw your eye in and it'll also add a bit of dimension to your work so if you've got so you don't say you this this isn't on a, a um, lever back let's say the ear wire is an integral part of the piece it's all one piece and you've got this ear wire here sticking out and it's nice and long so we'll just pop that there nice and long but you want to make it really hard now you can squeeze it with pliers but one of the problems with that is you'll end up with um, little pincer marks if you're too rough oh, yeah. you can hammer it but again it might make some little marring so a really nifty way of getting around that is to have two steel blocks. So you imagine your beautiful earring is on this end. Should I budge over a little bit? There we go. So you've got a beautiful earring here. This is like your little uh, butterfly, okay? But you want to make this really stiff because it's going through your ear, okay? 
So I would pop it, and you can't even see it, can you? So the metal is in there, just inside. Okay. okay. Now Make you a little sandwich. Yeah, just like that. So that it's you'll have to bear with me. It's the same the same process as dreadlocks, okay? So you roll. Yeah, I know. I'll tell you about it in a sec. And what you're gonna do with that is you're going to straighten your wire. You're gonna to have to do it a bit longer than I have. But the idea is, so the with a dreadlock, you will have your full lock and that you will roll, you will compress and you will roll. And we're doing the same thing with your ear wire. Okay. So what it does is it doesn't leave any marks on the outside. It yeah. keeps your ear wire beautifully round. There's no marks on it, but it makes it really rigid. And what it does is, is it's almost manually creating the molecules to line up. So as you're compressing and you're going down hard, yeah. and obviously with a dreadlock, you get work your way down. You're compacting the yeah. inner core and you're manually getting all of those molecules to be rigid. And that's what gives you the springiness in your ear wire. Love that. So super simple. You don't even need a hammer for those ones. <laughs> but if you're wire wrapping, that's a good place to, sp to start if you want to move forward with your forging and your soldering. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so talking about forging, do, do, are we, do we need uh, We've brought the graphics to air for your steel block, so you would recommend two? I would always recommend two, and I will show you another way of using two with a bit of sheet. Okay, um, now when you get your steel block, don't be surprised if it's kind of oily, I don't know if you can see on the end of my oh, finger there. Oh yeah, it needs there. to be. It needs to be, that prevents rusting. That's exactly it, it's in transit, it's got a long way to go, you don't want any moisture in the air, no. and there will be, and sometimes, you know, in the shipping containers, they'll have all sorts of stuff in there. Oh, yeah, so they're usually coming across on water, so. That's exactly it. Yeah. So, the last thing you want is moisture on your tools. You can clean it off, it's fine, so don't be surprised if it's super, super oily, you want it to be, and you yeah. just, just wipe it off <gasps> with a bit of paper. $7.99? Oh, that's a great price, isn't it? That's a great price. I mean, it is rock solid, isn't it? Yeah, right? it is literally a steel block, yeah. and I don't see how others could differ from this. No, well, you get you get slightly thicker ones, so my bottom one's slightly thicker than my top one. Yeah. It's absolutely irrelevant, but I actually prefer Jewelry Maker's one because the um, where they've been cut, it's so perfectly a right angle. I actually check square settings against the corners, oh, do you? yeah. So I'll make it in two halves, so you'll have a left and a right kind of thing, yeah. and you'll put them together. But to make sure I've got a hundred percent ninety degree angle, just pop it you against use the jewelry maker yes. steel block. Amazing, seven ninety nine to get hold of these jewelry makers. It looks like a really boring tool, doesn't it? But actually, it's so essential yeah. and so useful in the so workshop. So that's your forging. Yes. Yes. Right. Got that. Yay. Got that. It's sunk in. So um, that one's sunk in. Okay. Yeah. Are we good? Right, so I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about forging. We're gonna do a fold form, okay? Mm -hmm. So if we think about, to get yourself a bit of sheet and just stock up on it. And if you wanted to, you could make a massive one. So I'll just show you a few examples. So that's an example of fold forming. Can you see that? Yeah. Maybe pop that on that one. And that ring, is that forming? That is, that is still forging, yeah. yeah. I it's love not that. a fold form, it's still a fold, but it's not quite the same. Um, so it creates the spine on the back of the uh, twiddly pendant. So it creates that uniform line and you will get that from using the edge of your steel block. And the little earrings, they're done in the same way. They've got an off center fold. So what you can do is get a whole piece of um, copper, a great big massive one, and you can create lots of different folds and then punch out different shapes with your cutters if you've got them, and then make lots of different accents. You don't even have to solder the pin. I've soldered the pin within the fold, but you could just punch a hole in it and, and add a jump ring. Love it. So when you come to farming, there's so much information I want to try and get out there that, and there's so many goodies as well. So I'll quickly run through it and then we'll bounce back. Um, so I've got a little bit of sheet here and we're going to, I think it's about five centimeters. Don't worry about sizing it in the beginning. Um, sorry, Dan. Um, because if you if you always aim for five centimeters or 56 millimeters that's always a good place to start you'll always have overlap so and then you can just cut straight through that join and make a nice meeting point or you can leave it wrapped so that it's an adjustable ring so i'm not sure if you can see that i've marked the center yeah of this uh piece of silver and i've done that just with a metal ruler placed over the top once i've worked out where it is you know you make your measurements and what have you Make it as thick as you like, it doesn't really matter. Now I've got 
a scalpel here. Now you're not you're not scoring a line. It's literally just to highlight where you want to work. So you're just running down the middle. That's it. If you score it, you're going to create almost like an engraved line. Oh. And when you fold it over, what you've done is you've removed the metal. You don't really want to do that with fold forming. You want to keep as much metal with you as you can. So if I put this on the side of my bottom steel block and line up so I can see my scored line, it's more of a scribed line than a scored line, and place your um, second one on top, you'll get a perfect line. I'm sorry if my head's in the way. And really, you can just fold it up. I'm shaking a lot. Just fold it up like so. Just enough to get your line going. Okay, so we're just about there. <clears throat> and you've created, I suppose, a V, a V in your yeah. metal. Okay, now with that, let's just bring it up a bit. <clears throat> with your hammers, so you guys have got some lovely hammers. I call these jobbing hammers, but you've called them ball peen hammers. There's two, two sizes with those. These ones? Yeah, beautiful okay. little things. These are limited though, we've only got 40 available. Oh, right, yes, okay, so it's not limited. many. So these guys, these are beautiful. If you've been working with Yvonne and you've been learning how to do uh, filigree work, that's great for that because they've got a really small, flat face and you've got two sizes. So you've got your larger and your smaller. Mm -hmm. Lovely flat face and then your ball peen side, so you've got your rounded. So they'll make lovely te textures. Um, but the smaller hammers I've used on the necklace to rivet the pearl in place. Okay. So <clears throat> I would just lay, um, I'll use my example, lay the edge on the side of my uh, steel block and use my ball peen just to tap the pearl in place. That's it, it's just sitting on the top while well, I'm done. So, but obviously you can omit that, omit that um, stage altogether and just do the fold forming because with that you'll get familiar with how metal moves and why it moves the way it moves. So, you've also got your chasing hammer. Am I moving too fast? Oh, hang on. Let, let's bring the price on air for these two. So, there's only 40. Uh, 6 99 for two hammers. Oh, is that for the teeny ones? That's great. They're very handy to have little hammers. I'll show you an example. £3.50 each. In fact. For a hammer? Yeah, that's silly, isn't it? That's silly. All right, let's, let, yeah, here's the one that you were on about. Oh, the chasing hammer. What's the difference between a chasing hammer? Right, okay, so the chasing hammer you can use with your chasing tools, but I also use it as a planishing hammer. So a planishing hammer will smooth the surface. So say you've forged out with your normal hammer, and you've created, say, like let's let's say like a big disc pendant, and you've got lots of hammer marks on there. Now you could go in and use your file or your sandpaper and remove that precious metal, but you don't want to do that. You want to keep it all there and keep the weight so you can then pass that on to your customer. Yeah. You use your planishing hammer or your chasing hammer because they've got a lovely flat face. And what they'll do is as you go around your work. I tend to work quite methodically. I don't just whack willy-nilly. I tend to count and then turn and count and then turn. By doing that, you get a more even symmetrical finish. Um, you will remove all that previous hammer marks from before okay. without taking the metal away. Okay. Um, so again, crucial Oh, kit. yes, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to talk to you about the ergonomics of it in a second as well too. Um, there we go. We'll get the price in and I know I'm going too back fast. To you. No, I'm you're sorry. all good. Nine ninety nine. We can shop along with you, Joe, uh, with you, Charlie. It's That's all good. Nine ninety nine. That's amazing. It's so so far, hang on a minute. This was what twenty nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Six ninety nine. Steel block was what seven ninety nine. Nothing, wasn't it? Yeah. Like seriously, you can start metal smithing for these prices. That's unbelievable. It's, that's the idea. Yeah, get people on this journey. Staple pieces. You can forget the torch if you don't if you don't want it. You, all these little bits of kit are going to be really handy. Mm. Now, also with your um, little ball peen hammers, I'll call them a jobbing hammer. On this ring here. <gasps> so it, I don't know if you can see. Dan, can you? How close can you get to that? Am I in the wrong place? Oh, there we go. Right, there we go. So if you turn it that way around, can you see that it's tapered? Yeah. And it's flat, okay? And my middle one is the same, but my last one isn't. My last one is a half round. Which way are we? There we go, half yeah. round. But I want them all to sit nice and flush and be nice and smooth and 
nice feeling against your skin. And you see, I've changed and altered the shape of all three yeah. to make one flat band. I've used the little jobbing hammer. That's literally it. You pop Charlie, it. Charlie, that is absolutely incredible. That it's these little all. things. They're, they're not, you know, they're, they're basic tools, but you can make really professional, high end wow. finishes with certain things. So you would literally just slip your ring on and you're going to tap away. It's only had a half polish this. And you would just flatten out because you would have one, two, three bumps, wouldn't you? And mm. then the grooves inside. And I've removed that just by forging it out. And it gives you a really high end, high end professional finish, doesn't it? It's unbelievable. Think? That's absolutely unbelievable. And then with this one, I've left it. So that's a good example. I love that. So I haven't taken, sorry, Dan, I'm not very good for you today. There we go. So I've left all three in, so I haven't used the jobbing hammer on that. Oh, it's like a wave. I love that ring. That's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. I, I do I'm call it oblivion. Do you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you should, it should be like your flagship piece. Oh, thank I love you. It. It's I, very neat and tidy. And yeah. anyone, anyone can make that. Anyone Gorgeous. can make that. Honestly, I swear, first timers, you can make that. It's had nearly 2,000 views, and I did a really, really super speed video just to show what were coming up. Yep. And there was quite a few people saying, can you do that a bit slower, please? It was like, yeah. well, actually, it wasn't really a lesson, but we'll come back to it. So, where are we at? You're chasing hammer. Okay, we're going to use that now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tap over this edge just enough to make it meet, and then I'll talk to you about the actual hammer. So, we're just going to... knock it over and get it's it really is very satisfying yeah I'm just moving I like my that. fingers and what i'm going to do is just it doesn't matter if the two ends don't meet because the more irregular they are the easier excuse me the easier it'll be to open it up when you come back to it now if, oh, okay so you fold it and then you open it again yes so right. we're gonna we'll, we'll get to that so with our two blocks I would then again, this is why I have two of everything, I would lay this over the top and give it a really good whack. I've forgotten me. Um, don't, don't hit your steel block with your steel hammers because you'll mark your faces. So use your brass mallet or your nylon uh, mallet, whatever you've got. And you would give it a really good whack. In fact, I've got an old hammer here. I'll use that one. So you would line it up. And what you're going to do is kind of create a spine and it will close it down real nice and tight. Okay, now okay. the ergonomics of this hammer. Okay, with chasing hammers, they tend to be made with a slightly softer wood. And what happens is when you lift it up to, you know, you pull it back to slam down, the soft wood will flex a little, which will create more of a whack. So if you imagine, sorry Dan, if you imagine my arm is a hammer, okay? And it's got a short handle, this is the head of your hammer, and this is the arm of your hammer. So if you do it close, not much, not much of a kapow, is it? Yeah. Right, okay. Bit of physics, okay. If I extend that out, yeah, and we've got a pendulum action going on, and whack down. Uh -huh. ah, yes. That's what a ha that is a hammer. That is how you use it. You combine gravity, uh, gravity with the pull. No, you can't. If you're going to wax something, you're going to be there all day. Do you know what I mean? But if you extend it, obviously you create more force. Yes. And you're going to spread that metal so Amazing. much more. Amazing. Top tip. Okay, so we're just going to whack this down really hard. I'm going to do this side. Okay, so. It's really tough now. I've work hardened it. I'm yeah. gonna really struggle to get that open on its own. Mm. But before we move on, we're gonna forge it out a bit more. Now I am gonna use my old hammer just to speed it up, but I use the uh, ball, ball pin side of the chasing hammer, and then you can use your smaller ones again to create even more texture. Now, for, it's gonna, forging takes a while. I'm not gonna be able to show you all start to finish, but I'll move on to the examples in just a tick. But the idea is, when you work on a strip like this, imagine we're going to make a ring and it's going to be a fold formed ring. So I'm not going to cut any shapes out or anything. I'm just going to leave it as it is and it can be a slightly off center one. Now I've just got um, a riveting hammer, but it's literally just to speed up the process. So I'm just going to hold it out of the way and I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to work. So this is your fold edge uh -huh. and these are your legs or you can call it your open end and your closed end. So I'm gonna work on the open end. And when I 
work on the open end it's going to flare out that side so it's going to keep the spine in place but it's going to start to fan out and you'll be able to see it in the instructions so if i whack all the way move my finger to the top and you're going to go all the way to the top and then you're going to go back down again and you can feel it's really work hardened now now if you flip it over here's a tip let's say you want to keep the textures and all the lines that you've made on this side and you want to keep it there if I do that on this steel block with my steel hammer, I'm going to mute what's on the other side. Oh, so, okay, yeah. yeah. Stamp it back out again. That's right, yeah. So just by switching again to your rubber block. Now, bear in mind, it's, it's going to take some more force. Let's do it. We've got the rubber block. Okay, we'll bring the graphics slide <laughs> for that in a second. And so you carry on. just a tick. So if you move over to the rubber block, what happens is it's going to take you a little bit more effort to get that texture on because the rubber creates like a reverberation, if that's the right word, mm. a little bit of a bounce. So it does take more effort. So we'll just do a quick. And you can see it's starting to curl up. Oh, are next door going to tell us off? No. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's Friday. I'm doing it anyway. You go all the way to the top. And then you would go back down again, but I'm not going to because I'm making so much noise. So it's all curly whirly, and I don't want that. So we'll just go back with the chasing hammer and oh just gosh, tap it, it back down. It brings loads of luster to the metal. It as does, well. doesn't it? Do you know copper moves so much more freely than silver does? So silver, you'll be uh, annealing your work so much more. Whereas this, we're going to move on to that now. I'm going to anneal it because I want to open that spine up. So solder board whatever you've got you can use your um four hands we're gonna have to call it a new name aren't we yeah so oh we've have we got have we got a rusty yeah out? we've got a rusty yeah let's bring the how do, how do we have many rubber blocks 100 available these are like gold dust aren't they the rubber blocks yes they are it's um but they're so useful so wow. useful sometimes i'll use them you know when you're taking photography and you need an extra bit of height i'll just oh, pop yeah good idea yeah it's quite does, handy do you put them underneath your steel block as well yes does that does yeah. that help you know what you're working on yeah so you'll have like your i don't know what it's called polyethane poly, whatever that thing's called it's the skyscraper material we were talking yeah. about last time i'll lay that out then with my rubber block then with my steel blocks on top and all that does is is protects your ears protects your surface and it also stops the bounce yeah the yeah? reverberation 4.99 oh my gosh there are so many of you flying in for your rubber blocks uh, and oh, i can't so believe handy. how inexpensive all this to all these tools are you won't have to buy them again that's no. a beautiful thing and sometimes it's very handy to have two of things yeah, yeah. um okay 4.99 leave that with you back to you thank you so this is your first time using your torch and you're thinking oh i don't want to go anywhere near it honestly it's straightforward it's just away from your body and we'll talk to you about annealing oh that's not good is it oh never failed me yet there Dead. we go i was like did you not top it up out of that massive gas canister that you've got at home? <laughs> i don't know if it's i could like, do that charlie yeah you can't go can't carry that it's you would, though, on my trolley, yeah, I'd give it a would. go. You should have seen us when we were doing competition. I had a suitcase with me and everyone's looking at me like, what have you brought? Like everything, thank you. Yeah. So I'm going to need my work and I'm literally, it's far away from my body. I don't have to touch it. And if you look, you think, well, how do I know when it's annealed? So you've got the bright colours coming through and you want to burn past that until it's a dull colour. And that's when you know it's soft enough to go back in. So we're getting rid of those lovely colours. It's starting to go a bit murky. And that should be about it. Don't take long. That's it. So just to speed things up, I'm going to pop this on here. Right, massive, massive secret that I don't really tell anyone. And quite often, you know, I'll contradict some of the things. I don't quench any of my work, ever. How come? Because I know that is really satisfying. It so is. it's a bit sciencey. So and you can experiment at home. What you do is when you pop your metal into that into your um, water. water imagine dipping your toe in a really cold bucket of water you go oh 
don't you? And you can feel it through your whole body, but it doesn't change everything about you, does it? But you recognise that that won't okay. The metal is doing the same thing. So when you go tss, it's fizzing and it's shock, it's too much. So when you, if you're making a simple ring and you solder it, do an experiment, make two rings, solder both, quench one, don't quench the other. And you'll find that the one that you haven't quenched when you come to shape it and true it up, you will get an unbroken perfect circle. The one that you've quenched, you won't. Uh -huh. And the reason for that is because the outside has gone, oh, but the inside is quite soft. But then also when, um, when you, I've lost my train of thought now. Uh, quench it. Quenching, oh. oh, it also creates tiny, tiny little bubbles on the surface, which can later on lead to problems. So if you've had a customer come to you and say, your silver's blackened way faster than anything I've ever bought, it can't be that. What's ha happened is when you pop your metal into your pickle pot, obviously it's pickle, it's an acid, even when it's the nice stuff, um, it works into those tiny little holes that you've uh. created by going tss, Okay, and so then over time, and some of us have more oils on our skins, don't we? So yeah. some people will get that tarnishing faster than others. It'll hyper up when you've quenched. Again, top yeah. tip. Yeah, so I don't, I, don't, I don't quench anything. I know that's really dull and we all like that noise, but it makes it difference. Just have a go, it's an experiment. There'll probably just put be... it somewhere safe where, you know. Yeah, just not... honestly, just on there. I mean, you should be able to touch that now. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Literally, there's oh, yeah, just a really bit of cool. waffle. Pop to Lou, put your stuff away, you're all right, you're good to go. So, make a cup of tea, have a gin. Okay, have a gin. that's all I ever drink at my house now. Um, okay, so we're going to pry this open now. Imagine that if I work this more and more and more, and I use, I use the ball pin side, and you work the legs, and you're gonna keep going and keep going. What happens is, can you find it now? It'll take me too long to get it here. Ha, there. So uh -huh. what you'll get, is this flaring and it turns into like I've cut the ends off so it's a proper half moon but it'll start to curl like outwards pod. yeah that's right but actually if you if you're a bit creative with the initial shape I'll draw you one in a sec um pop open oh we're running out of time I'm gonna pry it open now you can use your little ruler just to get it going if you're working with silver massive top tip silver doesn't really mark silver it will if you're really rough with it or it's got a really sharp edge so i use a silk my granddad's silver letter opener so i will use that and wedge it in and open 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 and it's nice and soft so it's going it's going it's going now if you're struggling to open it get yourself your dapping set and push it over the top. Oh yeah. So you can flare it out even more. Oh, I've got a little nick there. Let's pry that open. So we're going to flare that out. Ooh. And then we'll pop it back on. I'm going to hammer it. It's going to have a twist because I've not done it properly. But you get the idea. Still forming. Yeah. Now this bit here is confirming your line. Ooh. So you're creating the spine. Now, if I wrap that over it, I'm going super speed, super speed, super speed. And imagine you're going to make it really pretty on the ends and you're going to spend time filing it and all of that jazz. Ring. Hey! Slay. <laughs> That's awesome. Literally. But the more you do it and annealing and things, you can create all sorts. And by using... Oh, look at that. Other tools. You, honestly, be be creative with it. Oh, and the one. fact... Yeah, sorry. No, you did amazing. Um, you don't have to apologise, darling. We've got everything in. You've got all your, your, your amazing tools. Let's just do a recap. This is $29.99. Brand new jewellery maker tool. <laughs> this is $4.99 for your rubber block. Steel block was, what, $7.99, something like that? Chasing hammer was $9.99. Will you be impressed if I remember them all, Ross? Will you? A little bit. A little bit. I'll be impressed. Six ninety nine. I yeah. <laughs> well done. Sometimes I surprise myself. Um, awesome. That was incredible. Now coming up on tomorrow's show, jewelry makers, <laughs> eight o'clock. We have the visor with the LED magnification. Oh yay! We always have fun with that. Yeah. Um, which is fantastic for intricate work. Nine o'clock. We've got a multi gem faceted rondelle mega deal. Deal of the day is your Burmese spinel. Eleven o'clock is your collector's deals. 
12 o'clock is Masterclass with our wonderful Mark. So looking forward to that it's with a nice Uber mix. Rear, Avocado, Alash and Agate. Also, it's Wayne's birthday this weekend. So he has said 20% off everything hey. for the remainder of the weekend. Um, and a free strand while stocks last, jewelry makers. Happy birthday, Wayne. -o. Happy birthday, Enjoy Wayne. your Bye. day. I'll see you later. Thank you.